Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Also, thank you, Ali uh, Alicia. Uh, hey, Weeby, I know the stream hasn't started yet, but I might not be able to see it, so I thought I'd already say hi. Thank you for the donation. That's so sweet. I saw that, like, right before I went live. I was like, oh, thank you for the donation, even before the stream starts. I appreciate it. Oh, wow, already 500 people. Ah, I'm so nervous, but I'm excited. I'm ready to be... ready to be Delulu. <laughs> I know, sorry. I'm a minute late. I had, like, the worst dream last night that I was, like, three hours late for the stream. <laughs> I was, like, so stressed out about it. Oh, gosh. I, like, woke up this morning and I was like, wait, what time is it? Like, what is the stream? <laughs> oh, man. But welcome, guys. Welcome. Lots of, um, F for Kiyokas. I know. It's so sad. It's okay, guys. She's still alive. Don't worry about it. She's just in Mexico. <laughs> She's doing great right now, guys. I promise. Her and, um, uh, her... Who do people ship her with, actually, now that I think about it? Not not Mitch. Anybody besides Mitch, basically. <laughs> basically. Anyways, thanks, guys. Welcome to the stream. Uh, as always, I want to give a shout-out to a couple of uh, posts on the subreddit. Let me get everything kind of uh, set up. And uh, I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous to see what happens with... Um, let me... Uh, wait, is this... Is this... Uh... There we go. Oh, okay, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> One second. I was a little bit behind today. Okay, there we go. So uh, this was made by Clover Wizard. They did um, some Art of Kanade and Hibiki and uh, Doki Doki Literature Club stuff because uh, somebody was playing uh, Akinator and it, I think it guessed uh, Monica as Kanade, <laughs> which is hysterical because uh, Maki loves Kanade and hates Monica. Oh, thank you. Danganronpa Annabella manifesting Mitch Yuroko polished. Hell no. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you, uh, Daddy Moto Clan Patriarch. Poor Redacted was gone way too soon, rip. <laughs> Are you talking about Yip or uh, Yuri? Oh, uh, thank you, Omega Panda. Hey, Weeby. So close to finishing Danganronpa Another, but I can't. Wait, uh, but I can't go see you play through this one. I'm gonna head out to not spoil anything, but I hope you have a good one, Mitch Dan. Sorry, Weeby. <laughs> have fun uh, finishing Dr. Rapa and Other. It's so good. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for this game, too, because it's so so freaking fun so far. Let me just realize my dimmer is on. And then uh, this one I liked a lot, too. This one was made by Mind of Hope, and the last one was made by uh, Clover Wizard. This one was uh, Mikado with Ducky Chan. Perhaps I like you more than a friend. I was just loving the uh, <laughs> the Ducky Chan memes. They were so great. But uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and start getting ready for the stream. Also, when I pulled this up, I saw Yuri and I was like, oh, that's so sad. That is so freaking sad. Let me um, double check that this is going to be right, though, because uh, sometimes... Let me double check something. Okay changes okay cool that should be good here we go okay cool looks good oh uh, thank you 11037 epta clover is an amazing artist also try one hype let's go yeah clover is an amazing artist i was really happy they made that the the good old doki doki crossover and yeah i'm excited for the first trial we will uh we'll see how it goes i just know that yuruko yuruko did not do it and if she's convicted, then I'm going to say that the game is homophobic. It's like, how dare they do that during Pride Month? Like, come on. Oh, hi, Weeby. Remember the fanfic you're going to read? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I've had, like, a few sent to me, though. I wasn't sure if I should do those during these streams or not. I was like, I don't know how long it's going to take me. I guess I can always try to go at the end. I don't think my throat should be that bad at the end of the stream, because last time I was going to do it, but the stream was, like, so long that I forgot and my, like, throat was killing me. But I will, uh... Yeah, maybe remind me at the end of the stream and I'll try to do that. I think I had like a few sent to me though, so I'll have to like organize them. Maybe I'll may have to do it next stream. I'm not totally sure, but I will get around to it eventually. Thank you, Yetis, for becoming an Omelander. And uh oh yeah, thank you. Dakiko Aro Knight. Help, the corpse is too scary for me. I'ma head out now. <laughs> no worries, no worries. The corpse is pretty pretty rough for this one. And I think it's not even the worst one, according to what I've heard so far. I heard like chapter three is like really uh gory, it seems like. Okay, load game. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you, Modki. Kanadi would never dress like the green-eyed devil. I don't know. I mean, I've found some evidence proving otherwise. So just going to say that <laughs> I think I think she might. Thanks for the donation. Oh, thank you, Omega Panda. 
Also, Satsuki will forever be best girl. I love her. And Mitch will live on no matter the game, even the canon ones. I kind of love that there's still a bunch of Mitch memes in the chat, even though, uh, even though we're on the second game. We're gonna get to like chapter like six of this game and it's still gonna be like people in the chat. Mitch did it, Weeby. It had to be Mitch. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. Okay, I don't know, Modkey. I'm seeing proof that uh, says otherwise. Let's just ask her. I love Monica, my best girl. It seems like Hibiki's not in her right mind after seeing the corpse. Guess my hands will be full taking care of her, huh? It can't be helped. I'll have to investigate twice as hard. I do like Kanade, though. She, she seems a little crazy. I like that in a woman. There's some sort of liquid on the ground. What is this? I wonder. It's like green. Interesting. What was it from Mitch's trial? He had that weird, like, uh, oh, there's no volume? No! Wait, okay, one second. It should be there now. I always forget that. Whenever I mute it, I always forget to turn it on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sean. Uh, rendezvous. Hi, Weeby. Can't wait to see your reaction to this trial. I think it's a great starting trial. Also, Hibiki is best girl. Oh, thank you for the donation. <laughs> I got the audio fixed now, guys. It should be good. Just let me know if it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's loud enough. I just, I forgot to hit unmute. I always do that. Thank you, Sean, for the donations. Sorry, I should have told him to kill Mikado. <laughs> I know, right? It's like nobody's gonna try to like kill him even though he's like the mastermind. I feel like Mikado, I thought I was gonna be like so badass, but then like he literally just is like the pleading emoji face, like as a person. He's like not intimidating whatsoever. But uh, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. And thanks guys for letting me know with the sound. I, uh, Tend to be a little out of it sometimes with uh, stuff. Didn't have the guts to taste it, so I just crouched down and smelled the liquid. Oh yeah, I was thinking it reminds me of that like, that piss liquid from Mitch's, from Mitch's trial. It smells like some sort of chemical substance. Say, Sora, what are you doing touching the ground? There's some kind of liquid Indeed. here. Ah, that's an anesthetic solution. I bet you know all about that, huh? Anesthetic solution. I, I use it when I'm like covering up my murders. It's no big deal. This one in particular is one quite often used in medical surgeries. It's used for general anesthesia. Okay. I was thinking too, so he said that like, also I know I was kind of out of it when I was like playing last time because like uh, I didn't realize that Yuri said that um, he had messaged uh, Yuki about it. I don't know why I just like totally didn't process my brain. But I was like, why would he message Yuki about it? He hates boys. And he was like even upset. I think when he like saw Yuki when we like showed up, he was like, oh, thank God my Sora's here. Oh, Yuki's here too, I guess. But you know, at least I got Sora watching me. But I was like, well, it doesn't really make sense for him to call Yuki. So it definitely seems like the killer lured him or they lured Yuki there for some reason. I guess they probably took his like iPad or whatever or mono pad or whatever. This one in particular is one quite often used in medical surgeries. It's used for general anesthesia. When I torture Hibiki, I usually put this on her. How do you know all that? Certainly. I've smelt it quite a lot. You can get really high from this. Did you spend a lot of time in a hospital or something? Moreover, the fact that if this is here, the culprit used it, right? But the liquid alone wouldn't be enough to render someone unconscious. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. I already went and confirmed that one of the needle shots is missing from the infirmary. Oh, okay. I went to go check it as soon as I found out that an anesthetic was involved. The culprit must have used the shot to inject Yuri with the anesthetic. That's pretty impressive, also, Kanade. Also, did you know that the shots can be precisely measured to know how much you want to- Girl, why do you know so much about this? In other words, even an amateur could control the amount of time that the victim will be unconscious. I think they might have done it at like exactly 3 a.m. last night when they, I think maybe she like starts telling like all the details of the murder case. It's like, Kanade, Kanade, are you sure, um, are you sure, are you sure you didn't do this? I don't know if the culprit utilized that, but it's definitely an important clue. I see. I'll add it to my notes, you sussy baka. But I have to say, you've completely changed, Kanade. Your actions and your way of thinking, it's almost as if you've, you're have you used to this kind of thing. I mean, after seeing Yuri die like that, I've hardly been able to keep myself together. I'm just really hyped up about it. Used to it? Oh no, I just read a lot of mystery novels. <laughs> I love Danganronpa, it's my comfort show. And if I panic, poor little Hibiki will only suffer more. Even though Kanadi's personality took a creepy 180 degree flip, her account definitely brings us one step closer to finding the culprit. At least she'll be helpful, I guess, in the uh, in the trial. But yeah, she definitely is a sussy baka. Wires. Hum, what's this? 
Some long thread-like stuff is scattered all over the floor. Upon touching it, it feels much sharper than a normal thread. Are these wires? They're so sharp, and you could probably cut your fingers just by holding them. I instinctively knew that this must be what caused the cuts on Yuri's body. Oh, okay, so that's what it was. I was wondering, it was like, they put it in the bell then or something? Do you have any blackened predictions? Not really so far. Um, I feel like, yeah, I'll probably have a better idea once I like do this. I figure it's probably gonna be a guy since, I don't know, I just don't feel like they're gonna give poor little Yuri his weird, messed up desire. I just think it would make a lot more sense if it was a guy, you know what I mean? But we'll see. But I don't really have anything too, too far. Kanani is sussy, but I almost feel like she's too sussy. If he was cut by these wires, it would definitely explain the state of his body right now. The cause of death was definitely for falling, so this isn't a murder weapon, but I just don't know if the killer would really be like, oh my god, yeah, I love, I love anesthetics. I just know a lot about this stuff. You wanna see my knife collection, Sora? Oh my god, I got so many of them. It still seems like it's important. I'll add it to my notes. Sharp wire, add it to the truth bullet section. What's up, Mikado? A murder at last, Miss Sora! You look really excited. Quite exciting. Oh, why would I not be? We can finally begin the main event of this killing game, the class trial. By the way, I plan to do my best to figure out the culprits and the murder trick as well. It's like he just sees us as fictional characters. He kind of reminds me of like Samugi. <laughs> if Samugi was more vocal throughout the uh, throughout the case, like the game, you know, like oh my god, finally a murder case! Oh my god, I get to finally pull my uh, my Kyoko, my Kyoko moment. The first murder has filled me up with so much fucking hope. Sure, do your best or whatever the fuck you do, you psycho. I love how much Sora hates him, though. Oh, God. It's Yuri Kagarin's corpse. How did he, no matter how creepy he was, end up like this? It was Mitch, 100%, everybody in the chat. Yeah, it was definitely Mitch, obviously. Either Mitch or his secret, uh, his secret twin brother bitch hiding in the school. Yuri, I will find the culprit, I promise. I guess I need to inspect the body if I'm going to find the culprit. I'm gonna miss his little, uh, text at night, though. Man, he looks so bad. Yuri's dead body was in a dreadful state. His whole body was dripping in blood, and all of his joints were broken and twisted in obscure directions. I guess it's because he fell from so high up. Uh, <laughs> that's so gross! The art looks so good, though, man. I can't... I can't get over how much better the art looks in this game compared to the last one. Like, uh... It's just so clear and pristine. I was like, it's a little messed up since it's so gory. But it still looks so good. Random thought, but Yuri's the kind of guy to listen to those dying as gay memes. But that didn't go too well. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> I wonder... Would he be, like, super homophobic now that I think of I don't know. I mean, I don't want to judge him. But it kind of would make sense for him to be homophobic since uh, he, like, hates men so much. I didn't even think about that. But I won't I won't judge. I'm not I'm not trying to cancel him. So Yuri stands. Don't get mad at me in the chat. I'm just, I'm just you know, just the, the wheels are turning my brain. I'm just thinking. I guess it's because he fell from so high up. But thank you, Upta, for the donation. There's a huge hook stuck inside of his left cast. Calf. It looks so deeply rooted that I won't budge when you touch it. And connected to that huge hook is a rope. So the culprit pulled Yuri with this rope all the way to the top floor, then dropped him. Yeah. I just don't know when he hit the wires exactly. I guess they fell down, so they're probably in the bell, right? Because that wasn't their first thing, right? Uh, even at a glance, this rope seems quite strong and sturdy. It would take a lot of force, force to cut this rope. I get that the culprit pulled him up with the hook and the rope, but... <laughs> What's with the wound on his right calf? Yeah. Oh. They really fucked him up, man. <laughs> I was like, who hated Yuri this much? <laughs> At first glance, it looks the same. It looks like the same hook that made this wound. But there was a reason to hook both. Was there a reason to hook both calves? I'm not sure what the culprit was thinking. They just really hated him, man. But I'll write this down just in case. He would be met. <laughs> The only person I know messed up enough to do this, the Yuri stands are gonna kill you. I was just kidding. I was just kidding, guys. I was just kidding, Yuri, cult leader. I was just kidding. He's a he's an ally, ally king, ally king. I was just memeing. Don't take anything I say too seriously, guys. I didn't find anything else that was already on the monocro file. I figured there might be some sort of big clue hidden on the body, but with the exception of the fact that the rope and hook were used, there was nothing like that. I guess I need to investigate some more. It's like the only person I kind of know who's fucked up enough to do this would probably be Kanade, but I don't think it's her. I feel like she's gonna last a while. But what do I know? Everybody I said was gonna was gonna live last game died. 
The victim is Yuri Kagar, and the estimated time of death is 7.30 a.m. They included a.m. this time. You can always be looking at that, looking for that from now on. The victim's corpse was found on the first floor of the Uehara Bell Tower. Somebody slayed! Oh yeah, his stomach is messed up too, and his mouth it seems like as well. Okay, just looking at the file a little bit more. The victim's left calf is pierced by a hook, and he has sharp cuts all over his body. He also has a pierced wound on his right calf. Other than that, the victim's bones and his neck, spine, right knee, and left arm are broken. Jesus Christ, poor it. I wonder if Yuri, like, while he was dying, I guess at least he got to see Yuroko in his five, in his, like, last minutes, his last moments. He was like, oh, yes. Oh, yes, I got killed by a beautiful babe. But I kind of wonder if a little bit of him was like, you know, maybe this dream wasn't that great. <laughs> he was like, oh, shit. Oh, this, this kind of hurts a lot right now. I don't know if this was really worth it. I mean, I'm seeing a beautiful babe right now, but I don't I don't think this is good. This immediate cause of death is blood loss and trauma from bruises all over the body. I can't imagine a worse way to die. I'm sure uh, this game will show me a new one, though. Soon. Sooner or later. Shinji, is everything all right with the crime scene? Ah, uh, uh, Sora! Uh, yep, everything is perfectly under control. Uh, if it was Shinji, I would lose it, dude. I guess with the- he's just- he seems too sweet. I see him more as a victim, I think, because he's just- he's so precious. I guess, like, I guess the only weird thing with Shinji, it's kind of like Sakura or somebody like that. It's like, how would you kill the buff characters? But yeah. I guess with three people watching this place, the culprit can't touch a thing. Okay. Uh, oh, but by the way, Sora, maybe- maybe this is just me, but... Uh, uh, about Yuruko, it's just kind of sussy. Um, excuse you, Shinji. Homophobic! Oh yeah, guys, uh, no, no spoiling. Spoiling equals ban. I forgot to put that in chat because I was, uh, no spoiling. If you guys want to ban somebody for spoiling, then go for it. Because I just don't want to deal with it. Oh, please stop stuttering and speak normally. It's hard to get anything out of you. I think it's cute, Sora. Uh, about Yuruko, um... I, I don't know, but isn't it a bit strange? Maybe that's why she's like so, she's so pissed. She's like, um, stop fucking stuttering, Shinji. Also, you're being homophobic right now because like my wife would never do that. Excuse you? You're saying she's suspicious? The thing is, she seems different. Don't, 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 don't. Honestly, if she's evil though, I'll probably just like her even more. I, I like, I like that in a woman. I've, I've been jogging with Hajime every morning, but today he was late because of some business. So I was spending time inside the monocruise. That's a little sussy. Then... And as soon as morning came and the door is unlocked, I saw Yuruko head outside right away. Okay. Yuruko went outside as soon as the doors opened. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have no idea where she went, but she was odd and she looks even more suspicious now, you know? She was kind of like standing right where the where the murderer should have been. Um, excuse you, Shinji. I'm gonna cancel you on Twitter if you keep going. If you keep going this way, I'm gonna create an anti-Shinji group chat. Oh, uh, thank you, Kua Uba. I wanna head canon that Yuri supports trans women and actively helps them feel validated. Oh, that's so cute! It helps them get their body as feminine to their liking. Oh my god, that's precious, actually. That is so freaking wholesome. Like, the opposite of what I was saying. <laughs> we we stand uh, ally ally Yuri. That's so cute though. That's so wholesome. I kind of want like some fan art of that. Aww, that's precious. Thank you for the donation too. Uh, I needed I needed some wholesome content after seeing Yuri's body like that. Come to think of it, we found Yuriko at the top of the bell tower. But there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing uh, weird about that. If by chance she's not the culprit. Then how did she, Sora, don't, don't turn on me, Sora. I can't be sure if she's the culprit yet, but she's definitely connected to this case. Thanks, Shinji. I think your account is going to help us a lot. Oh, the Sora, why are you grabbing my hand all of a sudden? He's so cute, dude. Ignoring the stuttering Shinji, I added his account to my notes. Oh my god, I think we're dating now. Sora's just gonna be like the ultimate girlfriend for everybody. Feels a little sus that Hajime didn't run with him, though, this morning. Uh, Shobai. Hey, there you. Right. Hey, you, the girl with the white hair. Huh, me? That's strange. You of all people calling someone over? That never crossed my mind. And white hair, isn't that a bit rude? Sort of makes me feel old. It, also, you got like gray hair too, dude. We're on the same page. You look like you're like 80. Well, maybe not 80. Solid 60. Whatever. I just want to tell you something interesting. <laughs> you were thinking that the hostess over there is suspicious, weren't you? Huh? Are you talking about- are you talking about my wife right, right now? 
Come on, you can't fool me. Your face says it all. Well, about that, there's something interesting I want to tell you. I am so sick of everybody trying to blame my wife. I just happened to see her walking over to the bell tower just this morning. What? How about this? Not only that, she was also holding a rope and- Jesus Christ! You're <laughs> I cannot- I cannot keep defending you! She was holding a rope in her hands. And she was also mumbling to herself, I'm gonna kill that bitch, Yuri. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not quite convinced that that's enough to evidence show by. So I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a little bit more. You know, like the one attached to the dead body right now. Mm, mm, uh, I don't know. I think it. I think Kanade is a little bit more suspicious. Excuse you. Thank you, Iris. I just realized both murders in Danganronpa Alpha and other franchise include a rope. Oh my God, Mitch double slayed. Yes, Mitch slay. I kind of. <laughs> I, it's a shame because I like everybody in this game. With Dragon Rafa Another, I was literally like, if they could just kill off Mitch, I'll be, I won't have to have any, I won't have to have any, any issues. I won't be upset at all. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Oh my God, it's Daddy. Yes, come closer, Daddy Moto. Simp, simp. Oh, thank you, MD Warrior. Good afternoon, Weedy. I hope the best, and I hope Dragon Rafa 4 comes out soon. Me too. I think we'll probably get that other game before Dragon Rafa 4. If we do get another Dragon Rafa 4, um, God, I forgot that name of that game though. The one that Kadaka was working on. It's like, kind of interesting. I've, we haven't heard any updates on that in a while. But thank you for uh, the donation. The culprit did that, but why would Euro? The culprit did that, but why would Hiroko bring? Are you stupid? <laughs> I know she's hot, but come on, Sora. Oh well, I don't know anything about that. I'm just testifying what I saw. Hiroko went to the bell tower this morning with a rope in her hands. That's like saying Yuroko is the culprit. <laughs> Sora's like, how do I, how do I be to Lulu about this? I'm, I'm with you, Sora. There's no way I can know for sure until the class trial. I'll take note of what Shobai said just in case. She gets executed, literally. Me and Sora just in the corner, like, mm, mm, I don't, don't, don't think that's what's happening right now. Like, wow, I can't believe Yuroko is buying her ticket to Mexico right now. That's crazy. This is spiral staircase. If I close my eyes during the execution. Did it happen? Did it happen? <laughs> I mean, I think I think that's that's got some validity to it. This is a spiral staircase that leads up to the top of the bell tower. It really goes up high. It doesn't even look like it goes that high from the outside. Yuri and I took these stairs up to the top floor. The only thing we found, I want to talk to her, dude, was Yuruko. I thought for sure the culprit would be there, or maybe Yuruko is the culprit. No, no, it can't be. I can't jump to any conclusions yet. Oh my god, you're so to Lulu, Zora, just like me. Whatever the culprit did, they definitely pulled up Yuri. So at one point, they definitely went up these stairs. If I consider the height of these stairs, it would probably take at least five minutes to climb them. So when did the culprit actually go up these stairs? Uh, since I'm to Lulu, since I'm to Lulu, I'm gonna like try to think like who would try to frame Yuruko. You know, I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> Who has it out for her? Huh, this is... Upon inspecting the spiral staircase from here, I realized something odd. What are those wires? Oh, so they did set up the wires. I guess, oh, that makes sense. They're kind of just like connected, like on each side of the wall. So when he goes up... Oh, why did they do it? So <laughs> he he would have died otherwise. Like, why do they have to do... Why do they have to do this much? What are those wires? I think there were... I think there were wires like these on the first floor, too. When I touched them, I could tell they were one and the same. They're connected to the walls along the spiral staircase. Yeah, that makes sense. Looking closer, they were... They weren't only strung from the bottom to the top. The wires were hung across the wall in intervals. They've already been snapped, so that means the wires from the bottom floor must have been hung up here before. These were definitely set up by the culprit, but why would they go out of their way to do this? Why did they hate him so bad, man? It's another thing that makes me think it's like a man, like... Would Yuri have done something to like offend one of the guys to make him like want to... I don't know, like, kill them this brutally and like horribly, you know what I mean? I have no idea, but I'll still take note of this. It's like, I kind of understand, you know, like, wanting to leave, but, like, why do you have to go? Why do you have to go this far? It's kind of like Kenji in the last one. It's like, guys, I did it for the children. It was like, did you really have to electrocute Inori? Make her cry in her final moments? Like, I can get, like, 
you know, like, oh, I gotta save the kids or I gotta escape to play soccer or whatever the fuck it is. But like, do you have to go through all this? You have to do this? It's like, what is wrong with this person? It's an enormous bell that decorates the top of the bell tower. Oh, thank you, someone unknown. Yuri would think he could turn a lesbian straight now. <laughs> oh, that Yuri disrespect. <laughs> oh no, and I made him the thumbnail, guys. It's okay, we, Yuri's, Yuri, I'm headcanoning he's an ally, okay? No more Yuri disrespect. <laughs> oh, there's something odd here. Oh, maybe Yuri did something after the party? Um, maybe. I guess, like, I was trying to think, it was like, who was there at the party afterwards? I think, um, Yuriko did stay late. Um, Seska stayed late. I'm pretty sure Yuri stayed late, too, but I feel like it would have to be somebody who stayed late at the party. Oh, thank you, Ellie. Only popping for a sec, but I hope you have fun. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you being a member. Let's see. What are those? They look like traces of some sort. Looking from the bottom, it looks like something was swept through the top of the inside walls of the bell. Swept through. I'm trying to think of like talents too, like how that would relate to to here, you know? I wonder what made these traces. I recall that before Yuri fell, the bell rang. Could it be related to that? I never looked inside the bell before, so it's possible those traces have always been there. I doubt it. It's probably like his blood or something, right? Even though I wasn't sure, I wrote down wrote down my notes. Marks on the bell. I can't really see exactly what the marks are though. I think it would be blood, but it kind of seemed like she was saying it wasn't. Oh, thank you, Tim. Well, the horny levels in chat are catastrophic as usual. Weeby, do you mind grabbing Kenji's spray bottle of holy water? Yes, we will We will yassify the chat as we always need to in every stream. Oh god, Monocro hasn't even showed up yet. It's already that bad. <laughs> thank you for the donation. Oh, man. Okay, was that it for up here? Uh, I think so. I took the bell on the walls. Where is, where is my wife? My sussy, sussy wife. Somebody say Yuri is alive. <laughs> I think you guys are more to Lulu than me if you're saying he's alive still. Setsuka, is the investigation going smoothly? Oh. Ah, Sora. Yes. Well, about that, I just found something strange. Something strange? Listen. Come follow me for a second. Don't you, don't you start framing my wife. This is the entrance to the bell tower. Now then. Do you see that thing in the bushes? You know, if this is like, uh, whatchamacallit, like inspired off of Kinji too, that kind of does imply that this has to do with like, not the Future Foundation, but like the Kizaragi Foundation, I guess, like the group that they were a part of. Cause why else would there be like a bell tower dedicated to Kinji? Oh my God, they're all, they're all Kinji simps too. I like how like he did like the worst, like the most brutal murders in that game. They were like, dedicate a tower to Satsuki, who was pure and innocent and did nothing wrong, or dedicated to Kenji, the best boy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thank you, Mitchy News. It's not me. I would never betray betray Queen Emma. I don't know, Mitch. It's looking, it's looking kinda like it's you. <laughs> Thanks for a donation. <laughs> she's that thing in the bushes. That thing? Ah, this is Oh, what the fuck? A life jacket. How's that? I'm pretty sure no one used this to take a swim. Do you think that this is something the culprit might have left behind? It's very close to the crime scene after all. Hmm. Why would they need to use a life jacket? Look carefully, Sora. There's a hook grappled to the life jacket. Oh. Huh. Weird. Ah, you're right. And this hook. Yep, yep the same one we found in Yuri's calf. Ca calf. <laughs> calf. I oh, think you, Kuba. Counter the Yuri turning lesbian straight comment. I think Yuri finds lesbian love more pure because there's no degenerate males taking part in it. Yes, see Yuri ally. <laughs> no more Yuri slander this stream. We need to, we can't, we can't mock the dead, you know? Thank you for the donations. You cannot silence, you cannot silence the power of simps, Kenji. I know. Even, even the people in game were Kenji simps. And that's why, that's why Ray and Teria had to pay the price for being simps. Thanks for the donations, guys. Yet the same one we found in Yuri's cap. I still don't know what exactly it was used for, but it was definitely used in the murder. Setsuka, by all odds, this is crucial evidence. Now then. I thought so too. Let's keep this in mind. A life jacket that seems to have been used by the culprit, but for what purpose? Hmm. I guess it was to, you know, they could use it to like do the do the, put up the wires and shit. It's like how did they do that by themselves though? It'd be kind of interesting if they did have like somebody uh, help them. 
I can see Mikado like helping like if you guys ever want to kill anybody just ask me and I will be there for you baby uh, Also, I can live out my Makoto dreams My Makoto pro tag dreams It's like a murder is going on and I'm like hmm. Where's my crypto crypto <laughs> crypt crow currency? Okay, I think I've done everything in here, right? Do 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 go to the world map. I guess so Where's um I guess maybe like oh? the house would oh ah oh, rah rah where are you going hello Setsuka I'm going to look elsewhere I know the murder happened here but there could be clues in other places right Besides. all right in that case I suggest you visit the guest house oh thank you Amon Yuri would also support gay men because they're go they aren't going after women that is so true see we we stand ally Yuri <laughs> thank you for the donations <laughs> Oh, Lifey, welcome. Thank you for becoming an Omelander. Appreciate it. Thanks for modding, too. All right, in that case, I suggest you visit the guest house. It's right next to the bell tower. You may be able to find something thanks to our party there last night. That's what I was thinking was probably going to have, like, the most evidence, you know? I see. All right, thanks. Okay. Was it this way? Or is it the other way? Okay, there we go. do. What's up, Kokoro? Hello. Sorry, so you decided to come here too. Since the guest house is so close to the bell tower, I thought I'd check it out for That's clues. Right. Good idea. This place does indeed have some clues. You should go look for them. Okay, queen. Uh, probably upstairs, right? I don't really think I see anything down here right now. <gasps> hey, girl, what's up? What's up, girl? What you doing? Uh, Sora, what, what brings you here? That's my line. What are you doing here? But. Nothing much, but you know, the murder happened right after the party last night, right? So I figured the party must have had something to do with the murder. Ah, I came here for the same reason. <laughs> hey, Sora, when do you think the culprit decided to kill Yuri? By when you mean... It's complicated. I mean, there were six people who stayed up late drinking yesterday, including me. Actually, there was a period where Yuri was alone. Okay. Maybe that's when the culprit took their chance? So Yuri was left alone last night. Yuruko, do you think you could explain in detail what happened last night? We're not gonna ask her why she was right there when the murder happened. <laughs> not gonna... So it's like, I'm not gonna bother. I trust her with my life, queen. Listen. Well, after we went... We sent you away, we kept drinking and partying. We got really drunk. Of course I wasn't drinking, but the others were drinking non-stop. They were fully drunk. Right. Eventually, nighttime came, so we were forced to head back to the Mana Cruise, but... Yuri said he needed to use the bathroom and that we should leave without him. So you left him alone. What were you thinking? I, I don't need it like Oh wait, that. he wasn't completely alone. The six of us were there together. I guess... I feel like if a girl would have told Yuri, like, Hey baby, I want to kill you, he would have been like, Yes, finally! <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm so glad that my dream gets to come true. So it's like, I wonder if he, like, almost was told by somebody that like, hey baby, I'm planning on killing you, Yuri. It's your dream. It's finally time for you to shine. And so he like, just kind of went ahead and went over there. I don't totally know. Wait, he wasn't completely alone. The six of us were there together. But we needed to hurry because if we didn't make it back before nighttime, we'd get locked out. To be honest, things were so out of control with me trying to take care of all the drunk people that I don't even remember some of the details. Someone definitely went with him, but I can't quite recall who it is. Isn't that... Isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient? So, you didn't check if he actually returned to the Mana Cruise, right? Maybe... Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't even know if he made it back. What's up with the monsters, too? Because we keep talking about that, like, in the prologue, but that hasn't really been brought up. I could have never guessed at the time that things would end up the way they did. I was being careless. I guess asking the other students if they saw Yuri go into the ship last night might be a good idea. Anyways, Yuri was definitely alive up until we all drank yesterday, so maybe that will help. Also, this is just in case, but... You're not the culprit, right? Right, best girl? What are you saying? Uh, of course not! Why would I be the culprit? I'm not sussy at all! I see. Well, I'm sure we'll all talk about this whole mess during the class trial. Thanks to Yurko's account, we might be able to know when the killer went for Yuri. 
I feel like it's probably not her, because, you know, it's too obvious for it to be her. She is definitely the most suspicious so far, but, it, you know, it's it's too obvious. It's gotta be somebody else, right? Glass bottles with some liquids inside of them. They're probably from last night's party. Oh, thank you. See, see the mess for becoming an Omelander. Appreciate it. The smell is still lingering. I don't know how people manage to drink this stuff. One sip and I was already feeling dizzy. I was smelling all the bottles when one of them suddenly caught my attention. Wait. Huh? Wait, this bottle. The inside of this bottle doesn't smell. Does that mean this isn't alcohol? Who brought the alcohol? Somebody like uh, trying to get them all drunk to make like their plan easier maybe? Instead of having the smell of stinging alcohol, the bottle I picked up smelled like nothing. After some hesitation, I drank it. It really doesn't taste like anything. This is just water! Ah, okay, so there was a plan with that, huh? A bottle of water was amongst the bottles of alcohol? Maybe someone wanted to drink water last night? But, <laughs> little sussy. I should take note of this just in case. Obtain, truth bullet. Okay, is that, is that everything? Man, that wasn't that much, uh. I agree uh... that you're all investigating so rigorously. Oh, here comes the simping in chat. Hello, chat. Does I monochro the sexiest bird on the planet? However, your time is now oh. up. The investigation has ended. I wonder if this class trial is kind of short then. Cause uh, Weeby, this is safe to say the monsters were canceled plot line. Oh, really? Originally, the monsters were going to be an option to earn the currency of the game that Lunouge took out. Oh, I wonder why they uh, didn't take out that line then about it in the prologue. Cause I was like confused. I was like, we're really not going to be able to <laughs> like not be able to like investigate or go out at night. I was like, that's when most of the murdering happens. We will now commence the class trial. So please, <laughs> gather at the entrance to the class trial room on the first floor of the monocruise. <laughs> I'm dead chat. Yes, Daddy Monocro. <laughs> Daddy Crow, I'm dead. Seems like the investigation time is over. We all did our best, but we can't be sure as to who the culprit is until the class trial. We need to do this. We need to trust everyone's abilities. We need to hope that we can solve all the mysteries of this case in the class trial. Monocruise is first floor. He must be talking about that door. I should hurry. Oh, man. <laughs> the chat's sipping for a fucking bird. <laughs> it's okay, I get it. His voice is just too sexy. You're all here. You're late. Uh, what did I... You're late, Sora. Last place again. <laughs> I'm late. Sorry about that. Well... Can we do a longer slow-mo time? Oh, I can, uh... I can try that. It's like, what is it at right now? Let's see. Slow mode. How long should it be? It's already at 60 seconds. Uh, maybe like 100 seconds? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. We were we were worried about you. Why were you so late? Totally thought you were dead. Oh, well, maybe that was a little too long, actually. <laughs> Let me do, um, let me do like 80 seconds or something. Okay. Uh, do -do. We'll do 80 seconds. I think that's good. Okay. Came as soon as I heard the announcement. Yeah, I think that was kind of more what I wanted. Hey. And maybe it's because you're the culprit, right? As if. Sis. Hey, Piggy, you can't just stay and say stuff like that to poor Sora without any evidence. It's like what Kana said earlier. Either we expose the culprit or we all die. Those are the only two outcomes. If we mess this up, we're all dead. I, uh, I, uh... What happened to us? Just yesterday we were partying. How did it come to this? That's just how it is. You don't have time to think about that. If we give up here, we won't be able to survive. Huh? Wait, this is the class trial room? It's not at all like how I imagined it would be. Good grief. No, no, this is only the entrance to the class trial room, dumbasses. See that elevator? We'll be taking that down to the class trial room. What did you say? Why is he such a simp for Danganronpa games anyways? Like, did he, uh... <laughs> did he, um... Whatchamacallit? Like, he watched the trial from the last game? This is stupid. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's get this over with. Hey. You're pretty damn laid back, considering all of our lives are in danger. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Everyone seems to have gathered, so let us waste no time in getting started. Oh, thank you, Blessed Crow. Now the real reason we're here simping for a bird. <laughs> thank you for the donation. Oh, I have to, guys, BRB is going to draw Yuri as the homophobic dog. No! <laughs> no, the Yuri disrespect. <laughs> thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Y'all can just let me know if I need to edit chat some more or not. Now, the thrilling 
the extreme class trial. Everyone, class please trial. enter the elevator in front of you and make your way to the class trial room. Just basically trying to make everything. As you might have already realized, you cannot escape from the class trial. I think when I do his voice, I just kind of try to sound as sexy as possible. <laughs> cannot escape from the class trial. Face it head on, using what you learned in your investigation. <laughs> It's like, we're all just going to come here to simp for you, Monocro, okay? Now let us begin. The first class trial of the Utsuroshima field trip of mutual killing. <laughs> Where's Kenji's holy water? Ugh. So we're really doing this. Hi. I don't want to go down. Um, Are we going to be able to find the culprit? It'll be really bad if we can't. Um. Raw, you know what? Bring it on. It's not like we can't escape this anyways. Yes. It's like what Big Bro says, if we put our heads together and discuss this, we'll find the culprit. I love Yuki and Shinji's bromance. The culprit who killed Yuri, let's find them no matter what. Kenjo in the corner, he's like, oh, excuse you, Yugi, uh, who you calling Big Bro? It's starting. Once we go down that elevator, there's no going back, no running away, and no giving up. But I am not alone. I need to survive through this with everyone. Okay, thank you, Isley Rage. Stop simping. He has a nice voice, but he's a bird. Thank you for the donations. <laughs> I think it's all memeing, to be totally honest. I'm at least memeing. Thank you, Daddy Moto. Daddies can recognize other daddies, crows or not. <laughs> so true. So true. Thanks for the donations. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Emma, what do you think? She hasn't been very vocal so far. I've been in a courtroom setting before, but this is my first time in an actual trial. Will I do well? I guess like a movie or something, maybe? Hey, Yuruko. I know you didn't do this. It's okay. It's okay. It's really starting. I guess I should put some thought into this. I should come up with a way to convince you guys. She's just like, I need to practice. Wait, sorry, sorry. I gotta practice in the corner. I'm shall we? <laughs> just like practicing looking cute. She's like, I gotta do what Kenji did in his trial. I'm shall we? Sora's like, I forgive you immediately, Yuruko. You would never do anything wrong. It was Mikado. Mikado did this. I don't want to die either, so I promised I'll do my best in this class trial. Okay. What's up, Hajime? We either do this or face death. What's done is done. If we can't avoid it, let's at least try to overcome it. Okay, Roha. This wasn't the school life I wanted. You guys really had to go and murder each other, huh? Let's discuss as much as we can based on what we found. We must find the killer. Glass trial, whatever it is, just bring it on! I'm gonna overcome it all. All, oh, baby! This is stupid. All of this because some. <laughs> I mean, God, it was Yuri, guys. It was straight Kamida, please. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Thank you, Kanban, Kanban. Step on me, Monocro. <laughs> Mono Daddy, more like it. Thanks for the, Thanks for the, uh, the donation. <laughs> What's up, Yuki, you sussy baka? We can't run away after coming this far. Let's find the killer. Don't worry, Sora. I got tons of experience with this kind of stuff. Will I be okay? Kanade, we'll get out of here alive, Indeed. right? Of course, you have me. All you have to do is stop worrying and wait for me to solve this for you, Hideki. Like, do you guys do this normally? Like, I, when other, Let's go. like, what other times were you guys in, like, a situation where somebody died and y'all switched personalities? Like, it's just, it's just weird, man. Let's go. Jackie vibes. Two words. <laughs> Let's crack this case down to size. Let's do it in a fashion, too. That way we can decorate the front page of the newspaper tomorrow with this juicy scoop. Nikkei, I got some bad news for you, bro. Newspapers are kind of dead. Uh, what? O only boomers read that shit, man. O what are you trying to say, Weeby? I'm saying you're going to be out of a job, home slice. Oh, thank you, Brian. Reminder that Shobai is best boy. <laughs> I can see a lot of people think that. I think... I think McKay might be my best boy so far. Maybe, well, it's kind of between him or Shinji, I think. Let me say, I love Shinji. He's so freaking cute, dude. <laughs> He's so adorable. Uh, I'm such a sucker for those types of characters, but I like uh, Nikkei too. He's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. I don't really have too many predictions on the culprit. I feel like it's probably, well, I was thinking it was a guy, but then I was like, kind of thinking it was a girl. I feel like if I could just remember who brought the alcohol, I feel like it makes it a little suspicious of Setsuka since there was like the water bottle, you know? Cause she was the one who like planned the party, but I don't remember if she was the one who brought the alcohol or not. But that, 
would be kind of weird. I can't remember who brought the alcohol though. I'm sure they'll tell me in there later. Not Mikado, probably not Yuruko, because she's my wife and also I think it's a little too obvious. After making sure everyone was in the elevator, we pushed on the button and the door shut. We felt the elevator begin to descend. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, cute, you can see them all. The elevator made a loud sound as it slowly but steadily descended. Normally everyone would have been talking to each other. Cause yeah, I was like, somebody thought I was a guy, but then I guess just the fact that Yuri like went out on his own. I guess he could have gotten a note being like, hey baby, I'm totally gonna murder you right now, but it was actually from a guy, you know? But we'll see. Normally everyone would have been talking to each other, but the vibrations of the elevator seemed to make us all mute. It alerted us of the class trial to come. The elevator sound grew louder, almost as if to make fun of all of our fear. Thoughts that we may never see the light of day crossed all of our minds. Do, 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 do. Well, we can let that happen. Whoever killed Yuri wasn't gonna get away with this. Not my bestie. I'm gonna miss his little, his little text messages he'd send me. Simping, Sora, my baby. I love you so much. Like, he just pretends to be my boyfriend. As everyone had their own thoughts of what may or may not happen, the elevator came to a screeching stop. I like that there's like a little bear or something on the elevator. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I do it just for you, Weeby. What? What? Is this place? I've never seen this before. Oh, Ooh, you finally arrived. Welcome to the most advanced facility of the Monocruise, the class trial room. Oh, -ho. oh -ho, I like what you've done with this place. Very impressive. Uh, I see the budget went to good use. I cannot wait to see that execution. Uh, what? Hey, this feels like an actual courtroom or something. Very well. I assume you're all ready. I also assume you all know there isn't any running away from this. Let us begin. No, no. Everyone, go to the stands with your names on them. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> Stop calling me Daddy, Weavy. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Excellent, your solemn expressions tell me you're all going to face this with the appropriate resolve. <laughs> now let us begin the first class trial of Utsuroshima Field Trip of Mutual Killing. Do, 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 do. Class trial is finally starting and all of our lives are on the line. Is she gonna do a little rap song too? I hope so. <laughs> if we win, we live and the blackened dies. If we lose, the blackened lives and we all die. In other words, no matter what happens, someone will face their death here. But it better not be my fucking waifu. I let those thoughts cloud my vision. I need to focus on the class trial right now. Oh man, Pure, poor, poor Yuri, dude. I was like, is it kind of ironic that he died from, like, falling, even though he's, like, an astronaut, you know, and he's, like, supposed to be ascending or whatever? Is that a thing, or am I just, I don't know, Delulu? Yuri, the ultimate space man. He was no longer with us due to his brutal murder. He may have been uncooperative, but he might have been a terrible person. <laughs> he may have been, he may have been the worst fucking person ever, but he was still my best friend. <laughs> It's like Whit Mitch with the last chapter. <laughs> like Yuki was like, you know, he might have tried to like assault Akane and he might have killed one of her best friends, but he was still my best fucking friend of the whole world. He may have been uncooperative. He might have been a terrible person to men and women alike, but I uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> just like, no, nah, never mind. I don't really care. Let's uh, just leave the class trial. Who, who gives a, who gives a crap about straight Kamida? He was still our classmate, damn it, and my best friend. It's like Emma said, if this killing game hadn't happened, we would have all been such good friends. Would y'all have been friends with Yuri? I like, I like Yuri, but he's kind of a character. I don't think I could have been friends with him in real life if he was hitting on me all the time. The culprit, the one who did this terrible thing to Yuri, is among us right now. Among us. Dee 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 dee. Ah, cute. Various thoughts intertwine and the curtains finally open. Here she goes. A trial of life and death. A trial of truth and lies. A trial of trust and betrayal. This isn't really a rhyme, Sora. Kinda gotta get your, uh, get your act together. Ah, oh, the twins, that's cute. A trial of fact and fiction. A trial of pleas and excuses. A trial of friends and foes. Ah, oh, you already looks crazy in this shot still. A trial like no other. The class trial. Dee 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 doo. Oh, you're a ghost. She looks so beautiful. Slay. Don't, no, cut. <laughs> Don't, I did not mean to say, I did not mean to say that you didn't hear anything, Yuriko. You didn't hear anything. I did not say slay. Just remember. Just remember I did not say that at all. Okay. I need to, I don't know. I can't remember, like, well, I don't know totally if it's going to be the same with this or not. Hopefully we can actually look at these. But in the last game, we couldn't look at these. 
like when you were actually in the trial. So I'm gonna take pictures on my phone so I can look at them later. Not that there's even really that much uh, evidence in the first place, but just in case. So I think like the last one, it was like Mitch's, or the first one for the last game was Mitch's. And yeah, I couldn't like look at these at all. I'm like, you know, just read again. Cause usually you know, they give kind of like hints and stuff, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it. She just looks so beautiful. She looks so beautiful. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it, guys. I didn't say anything. Leave me, leave me alone. I would never, I would never say slay. I would never do it. Never. She, what's the opposite of slaying? It's like something wholesome. Sora starts rapping, Yuki. Hey, that's my job. Sora, not anymore, Yuki. I'm the protagonist now. <laughs> she needs to kind of, you know, she needs to work on a rap song a little bit, though. Like, fiction and fact it doesn't really rhyme. It doesn't really rhyme that much, Sora, so it's like, whatever. Okay, um. Oh, wow. I kind of have a lot. Hospitality? Uh, I have a lot of skill points, don't I? <laughs> I don't have anything that I can really add, though. Increase max influence by one, I guess so. Enable saving after each phase minigame. Oh, that's dope. I wish I could actually add more than like three things. Recover one influence following each phase minigame. Sure. Is that it? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> that sucks. Well, at least I have this. I thought I remembered somebody saying that like, um, Nikkei's was really good. Can I not? I can't. I guess I probably had to do like his free time or whatever in order to, to do that, right? Oh well, I guess I'm screwed. Oopsie, let me just go ahead and save again. Cause I'm paranoid. Okay. Okay, begin trial. <laughs> Gosh. Yes, let's begin it. Let me know if uh, the volume's good for you guys too. Firstly, allow me to briefly explain the rules of this class trial. Okay, it looks pretty good on my end. Just let me know if it's not uh, loud enough. The results of the class trial will be decided solely by your votes. If you manage to correctly identify the blackened, only they will receive punishment. But should you vote incorrectly, everyone except for the blackened will be punished and they will be able to escape this field trip of mutual killing. I mean, everybody looks so good. Ah, gosh, they really, Lanouge really uh, upgraded in terms of like looks for this game. So it's begun, the class trial. One of the people here brutally murdered Yuri. Well, what, why could it have been Mikado? Foremost. <laughs> Wait a minute, Monocrow. There's something I'd like to ask first. Can we look at the body again? I just kind of want, just one more time. Just one more time, just want to look at it one more time. It's nice to see everybody's voices a bit more too. Oh, and what might that be? Accomplices. Can there be accomplices in a case? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it seems like this one would have an accomplice, but I feel like Yuri would probably be the accomplice. You know what I mean? Good question. Whether or not there are accomplices will be a huge factor in deciding the culprit. A good question indeed. I guess it wasn't specified in the rules. To be blunt, there can be accomplices. What? So it's possible? Yeah, I thought they might have mentioned that before, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But in theory, only one person gets to actually leave the island anyway. Yes, it's like, why would, uh, why would anybody, uh, why would anybody do that? Unless they're Yuri and they're a little freak. Oh, thank you, uh, thanks, Modkey. Finally, Kanadi's voice, insult me, maybe? Down bad. <laughs> wait, wait, I can do my Kanadi voice and insult you? Monica loves you very much, Modkey. You should, you should be with her. That's, uh, that's my, uh, comment for you and my Kanadi voice. I know it's not the same, but, you know, just for you. But in theory, only one person gets to actually leave the island anyway. Of course. The rules even say that only the first murder counts if more should occur. In other words, without any reward, an accomplice is no more than another tool for the culprit. Yeah. They'd gain nothing from assisting the culprit, after all. Even if they succeeded, they'd be unable to escape the island alongside the Blackened. I mean, Mikado would be somebody else that would, like very obviously help the culprit, you know, because he gets to do his whole, like, uh, I don't know, his whole Dr. Rapa fantasy. More importantly, they'd still face the same execution as the rest of us. Who do you stand, Mikado? Who is your favorite character in the last game? <laughs> He's probably a Kinjo stand. He's got that right. Same. 
Wait, what's that? Oh, that. You don't need to concern yourself wait, with it. Wait, 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 what did he say? I feel like I, I missed it. More importantly, I still face the same execution as the rest of us, yeah. So we got, we got that part. Ah, uh, man, I was talking. I think, I don't know, I feel like they're probably trying to imply that Yuri was the accomplice. That's it what I think happened anyways. It would have been anyways. Yuri Kagorin's seat, but it's rather sad to just leave a blank space there. That's an awful sense of humor you've got there. Wait, something's off about this. What's that empty seat over there? Whose is it? It's exactly what it looks like, <laughs> an empty seat. There's no need to concern yourself with that either. <laughs> Isn't that right, bitch? <laughs> bitch just like pops up. <laughs> yeah, no re you need to concern yourself about that. I will finally show up in this game. You're very interested in petty details, aren't you? Questions are fine, but shouldn't you be discussing the murder first? Right. This place is extremely unpleasant. I'd like to leave as soon as possible. So true, Queen. It might be the last place you ever see if we don't figure out who the culprit is. Say such terrible things! <laughs> Wait, all of you. Do you mind if I say something before we begin? Huh? What is a Kokoro? I know who the culprit is. Okay, Queen! Okay, let's... <laughs> okay, starting off, starting off strong this time. What? Uh, Are you serious? Is she gonna say it's Yuruko? I feel like she is. I saw Yuruko leaving the Mana Cruise this morning, talking about how fucking how much she fucking hated Yuri with a rope in hand. Who is it? Who's the culprit? I know who the culprit is, and I know exactly how they did it. <laughs> so I'll give them the chance to speak. Okay, okay, Queen, pop off. Give yourself up now. Perhaps then I may understand that you regret your actions. <laughs> Don't make me fucking fight you. You'll be found out anyway. And it's better to confess rather than have it dragged out of you. I feel like if Yuriko did die early, I could honestly see Kokoro becoming like the best girl. And Yuriko being like, being like a Kaede kind of character, like a, I don't know, like a character you think is going to be the best girl, but not, but truly, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But Kokoro does remind me so much of like Chiaki, you know? She's given major girl boss vibes as well, being like, I already know who did it and everything about it. It's like, uh, also, uh, kind of reminds me of Ray. Ray would be like, I know exactly who did and everything about it, but I'm not gonna tell you. Na 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 boo boo. Nobody's <laughs> confessing. Obviously. What kind of idiot would tell the truth? They'd be sentencing themselves to death. Just say it, girl. Just say it. All right. We'll do this the hard way. You guys telling her to slay? Don't tell her to slay. <laughs> what if like she's like, she sounds so smart and she's like, I know who did it. Who did it, Kokoro? It was Mitch. Ah, uh, damn it. I knew it was him. Oh, Mitch isn't even in this game. Shut up, Monocro. You don't know anything. So who's the culprit, Coco? I can't tell you that right now. Girl. I'm gonna pull it. Pull a girl boss Ray move, huh? What? Why are you screwing around? Just tell us. We don't know who it is, so just tell us so we can get this over with. Like Sosie said, I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Would you be able to comprehend it, even if I did tell you? Well, I mean, like, it could help. I guess she could be bluffing just to try to, like, see if somebody would confess, but I don't know. I would be lucky to be believed. I sense that a <laughs> few of you are suspecting me already. Yeah, it kind of just makes her look suspicious, honestly. Uh huh. Your powers of observation are truly outstanding. You saucy baka. This is a class trial. All of our lives are on the line here. We need to find a conclusion that everyone finds acceptable, so that there is no doubt who the culprit is when we all cast our votes. Figure it out for yourselves as much as you can. I'll help you if you get stuck. She really does remind me so much of Chiaki, but she is pulling a ray. She's like, I don't know, I just... I'll tell you later. Uh, tell him, Sora. Okay, okay, Kokoro. This is totally suspicious. <laughs> Ibiki, don't dismiss her when we haven't even started yet. What? What's with that condescending attitude, huh? Do you think I'm an idiot? Oh, she's about to put her in her place. Oh, sis, your <laughs> mood's back up again. <laughs> you guys are so weird. Yeah, of course. I don't want to sit around moping forever. I'm really scared, but I'll do whatever it takes to stay alive. I see. That's good, sis. Let's get started, then. Wait a moment. May I say something as well? What is it now? 
I imagine that some of you may suspect me simply because I'm the mastermind. <laughs> Just because of the mastermind, but I will assure you, Ducky Chan can attest that I was with him all night long. We we don't need to. We don't believe. We don't believe a squeaky duck toy. Um, excuse you, Sora. Um, I'm still talking. Your opinions on me as a person are inconsequential, but please, for all of our sakes, treat me as just another student during the class trial. We would all die if we reached the wrong conclusion, after all. I don't want to die either, you know? That's exactly what the real culprit would say! Mm. Oh, come now. This is a prime example of what you should not do. Shinji, I'm sorry, but he's right. If Mikado wanted to act as the mastermind, he had plenty of opportunities to do so before. Sora's so pretty. Everyone here is a suspect, including Mikado and I. The purpose of this discussion is to narrow down that list. I... Uh, I see. Uh, I understand. I'll... I'll try my best! He's so adorable! So, can we start now? Where should we begin? If you're confused, try starting with what we know happened in this case. I don't want to say it, because, like don't want to put it out into the world but in terms of like personality I do feel like Shinji and like Yuri would have been like the most likely to butt heads I can't remember if Shinji went back though early or not I guess we'll probably talk about that later it was like six people that stayed but you know Shinji just likes he like loves women and respects women he's like super shy around them then Yuri is like a freaking <laughs> horn dog oh my beautiful Sora please step on me so I feel like we were thinking in terms of personality, I could see that being like more likely, but shouldn't you such a sweetheart? I wouldn't want to put that into the universe. But I swear I was thinking earlier, like who would butt heads the most with uh, Yuri? I could see that being a thing, you know, like thumb butting heads the most. Do your best. My life's on the line too. So he's added to my suspect list, even though I don't want him to. We should probably start with what we know about the case. I need to try my best. Everyone's lives depend on it. Okay, hopefully, oh please let the hitbox be good. Okay, the minigame non-stop debate another is about to begin. The hitbox was good for the other game, except for the last trial for some reason. Would you like to hear an explanation? Non-stop debate, you have to point and counter the con contradictions in other students' words with the truth bullet. Oh, thank you, Exatix J. We may not see Ducky Chan now, but that's because he's napping under Mikado. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Mikado's hat. He's napping under Mikado's hat. And you guys can you guys can just ask Ducky Chan. He's right here. I'll have you know he has a very solid alibi for me. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. The upper left, uh, the upper left corner displays the speaker and the progress meter. And occasionally a student's lines will include a yellow phrase. Oh, thank you, Matthew, for becoming Nomalander. The yellow phrase is the weak point. Okay, I just want to know what to press. You can move your crosshair truth bullet to over this weak point and press confirm and fire a truth bullet. So it's probably like, I think last time it was like shift to go through it. Be free to fire truth bullets at regular text as well, but nothing will happen. Points will be deducted instead from your score. So maybe don't do that. The points is to fire the right truth bullet at the right weak point. You can press shift to change the load of truth bullets displayed in the lower left corner. Feature isn't available if you only have one truth bullet, however. Oh, am I only gonna have one for this round? Oh, Ducky Chan, 16th student confirmed. So true, bestie. If you successfully refute an argument with the correct truth bullet, a cut-in will appear and your score will be calculated before advancing to the next phase. You will fail to refute an argument if you attack the right contradiction with the wrong truth bullet. In this case, your focus gauge will take one damage, points will be deducted. If your focus gauge completely depleted, your fluids gauge will take one damage, and the game will start over. You will be able to aim properly if you're pressing an arrow key while securing, oh. If I'm still pressing the arrow key. I really get kind of moved last time. I guess we'll see, hopefully it doesn't do that. So release any held arrow keys before firing a truth bullet. You can also press S to skip lines and A to view a list of- Oh, thank God, yes! Yes, Super Duncan Roma, another two slay. <laughs> oh my God, you can do A to list all the truth bullets. That's so nice. I That was one thing about the last game that really stunk. Danny, Danny, Danny. I wonder if I'm gonna lose a point from going all the way through it. I don't remember them doing that in the other game. Like the canon games. Monocro, file one. Okay, what does it say? Okay, uh, victim, victim, your Gagran found on the first floor, the Slay Tower. The bottom of his left calf has been penetrated by a hook, and there are markings caused by sharp wires all over his body. Additionally, there's a deep stab wound on his right. <laughs> He's so messed up, man. Additionally, there's a deep stab wound on his right calf. I think it's okay if I tell the game to slay, you know? 
<laughs> I don't know if the game will slay. <laughs> How is that even possible? So I, I think it's safe, guys. Maybe, hopefully, <laughs> like they just kills all the all the uh, all the characters at the end of the trial. Besides his external runes, his neck. Besides his external runes, his neck and spine are both broken. In addition to both of his kneecaps. Ultimate, the ultimate, it get it, we the ultimate cause of death is a shock from trauma of blood loss. Okay. To begin, Riri died at 7.30 in the morning. So true, Queen. 30 minutes after the morning announcements. Is it true that Sora and Yuki were together at the scene of the crime? Yes, Yuri contacted me okay. after I woke up this morning. When I saw the message asking for help, I immediately ran to the bell tower. You're just such a good dude, Yuki. I saw Yuri hanging from a rope, badly injured. And before I could do anything, he was dragged up. His corpse fell to the ground moments later. There were so many cuts on Yuri's body. Could the murder weapon be a sharp object? New. Nope. Oh, wait. Really? Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this is not right. Uh, never mind. Wait, she cover was written on the file one more time. Shoot. Really? Oh, to fuck begin. me, dude. I thought Riri that was it, because it doesn't say that he died from, like, falling or whatever. Uh, Barbara Really? Only have the monocro file, right? I thought that would be it. Man. <laughs> I'm sorry I was born stupid. I feel like that would make sense, though. I'm gonna try by a hook, though, right? Oh, I just missed. Dude, don't worry, we future deaths get even more brutal. That's what I've heard. Did I just miss it? Is that why? Is that why? <laughs> okay. Is that why I was like, that seems like it would be what it is. Okay, come on. I'll try one another time then. I saw Yuri hanging from a rope. And before I could do anything. There were so many cuts okay. on Yuri's body. Could the murder weapon be a sharp object? Is that it? No, that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> that seems like it is. <laughs> it's okay, Weeby. I was born stupid too. Okay. Oh, I was too late. That's what it was. My bad. My bad. I just got too excited. I was like, I know. I know what this is. I know I can do it. I can answer it. No, no. Uh, Yuri couldn't have been killed by a sharp object. If you check the monocro file, it says that the cause of death was blunt force trauma. In other words, Yuri's death was likely caused by his fall. True, true. Oh, I see. There were so many cuts on his body that I overlooked that. Yeah, I think Roha is supposed to be a, a little a little dummy. <laughs> the game gaslit you. Then what are those cuts from? I didn't understand. I told the game to slay and then it gaslit me. The cuts are probably a result of that object. That object is... Do, 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 do. Sharp wires, right? Wire that's spread around Yuri's corpse so sharp that hurts your finger if you just even hold it. Assume the marking the bruises on marking the bruises on Yuri's body are due to Oh wait, broken wires? No, it's probably I was like it's a little, a little confusing, but I'm just gonna go with this, right? Got it. Okay. Oh you look so pretty, Zora! Oh my gosh. Sharp wires. Ah, I love her I love her art, man. Wires? Did you see all the wires strung in between the empty space in the middle of the spiral staircase? They just really wanted to make sure that, uh, they really wanted to make sure that he was dead. Yuri was dragged up by a rope and was cut by the wires as he fell to the ground. He fell very quickly, which is why the wounds are so thin and yet so numerous. Oh, so that's why the cuts were there. <laughs> just ignore me. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to stare at my little bunny picture. You never even checked the monocro <laughs> file? I can't believe you call that an investigation. <laughs> She's totally the Satsuki of this game. <laughs> Gonna see her in a corner dancing like Satsuki that one trial. Da, 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 da. I'm helping. It's like, yeah, Roha, just, just go stand in the corner and stare at, stare at a wall for a little bit. I hope she doesn't have like a Ganta moment though where somebody like tricks her into doing like a murder. I could see that though. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's okay, same. Same queen. Guys, I just finished drawing Yuri as the homophobic dog. LOL, it's on Reddit if anybody wants to see it. Oh my god. I cannot wait to look at that. Thank you, Epta, for, uh, for that beautiful masterpiece and for the donations. Oh my god. Hey, it was an honest mistake. Don't pick on her. An honest mistake? <laughs> it's rich of you to say that when we could all die from it. I can't leave my life up to you all if you keep acting like idiots. 
Leave your life up to us. Everyone's lives depend on the outcome of this trial. Not just mine, yeah? Did you do an investigation, bro? Also, I just noticed he has this tie in his pocket. I thought it was just like <laughs> floating for a little bit. Why, why do you do that, homie? If the rest of you work hard to find out the culprit. I don't have to waste my own energy. <laughs> I do it for my my fangirls and fanboys. I gotta show my chest, Weavy. It's very important. Very important to the validity of this case. What? You're basically saying that you're going to leech <laughs> off of us? I will intervene if I have to, but I'm not a fan of inefficiency. You're working to save your own hides, so isn't this a favorable outcome for us all? <laughs> He's so lazy. You're a degenerate ruffian! Have you never even heard of the concept of cooperation with someone? Now, now, everyone. We won't accomplish anything if we let ourselves be distracted by people such as Mr. Hashimoto. Guys, it, remember, he is the worst boy, not me, Mikado. Let's carry on with deliberations, shall we? Please, let's do the non-stop debate again. I've been dying to see that. But if the culprit wanted to kill Yuri by dropping him, why did they go through the trouble of installing all of those wires? I'm not sure. I think we'll have to talk about it a little more. You're super messed up, man. All right. So could everyone tell me what they were doing at the time of Riri's death? Like I said, Sora and I saw Yuri's death with our own eyes. So it couldn't be us. We were together, so does that count as our alibi? I was mm. alone in my room. <laughs> That's a little sussy. Oh, thank you, Daddy Moto. Slay King. Do what works for you, Daddy Moto. Don't tell him to slay. Don't tell him. <laughs> he'll he'll actually do it. He's definitely a character who will do it. Thank you for the donation. Honestly, I do think I see uh, Shobai being a survivor. Now that I think about it. I gotta come up with like a predictions list. Although generally it curses them, honestly, when that when that happens, but you know what I mean. Do I have to tell you? I was just wandering around the place. He gives me like vibes that'll be kinda like Ray, you know? Will like become friends with us and get a whole arc and become a better person and stuff. Mr. Kagarin died around 7 30 a.m. So everyone besides Mr. Maeda, Miss Sora, Miss Mitsume, and Mr. Hashimoto must have been in the dining hall. Okay. I'm only popping in to leave a donation since I'm still watching you play the first game. Have a good stream! Same shirt, by the way, base design. Ah, <laughs> thank you! I love this shirt. I got it at Akon. <laughs> it's uh, Kokichi. I forgot the artist's name, but they were like a big uh, Kokichi apologist because they had like a bunch of Kokichi on, uh, on their like stand. Thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. I was like, when I saw their stand, I was like, yes. <laughs> Somebody who's just like me. <laughs> no, Yoriko wasn't there. Okay. So... Trying to figure out like the alibis and stuff. So it was us three, then Yuruko, because she was, she was, you know, um, being a, a good girl, good girl, doing good girl things, right? Right? Yuko, where were you and what were you doing at the time? I, that's, I was mm. also at the bell tower. I met Yuki and Sora there. I was just chilling, just chilling on the bell tower and <laughs> nothing, nothing weird going on. The bell tower? But that's the scene of the crime, isn't it? I just had a rope in my hand and I was just, you know, kind of mumbling to myself about how much I hate Yuri and how I want to kill him and I can't wait for him to die. It's just, you know, it's whatever. If Sora and Yuki were there because of the message, Yoriko, what were you doing there? What was I doing? <laughs> I was just girl bossing, okay? Tell him, Sora! It's my queen was girl bossing there. Nothing suspicious to see. Kanade, just in case it comes up later. Yoriko technically witnessed Yuri's death with us. You heard the body discovery announcement, right? It's only announced when three or more people find the body. Sora and I saw it first, and Yoriko a little while after. Hold on, Mr. Maeda. You claim that Mr. Kagarin was hoisted by a rope? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah? I'm sure this was all set up to where, like, it could happen, um, kind of like with, um, whatchamacallit, um, Kenji's, where, like, it could happen at like a different time. You know, like the culprit didn't have to be there. I'm, I feel pretty confident that she's being set up. It could be my Delulu, but I also just feel like it's too obvious, you know, <laughs> too obvious for it to be her. But um, yeah, I think I think it probably was set up to where like, I don't know, the bell pulls it up or something, some way. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there's a freaking uh, cam bot or one of those uh, things in here. Oh wait. Oh no, I think I unhid them. Hide user. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think we hit that at the same time, Clover. Okay. Then it stands to reason that the two of you witnessed the culprit, no? Hmm. What? Really? If the black and drag Mr. Kagarin with a rope up to the top of the bell tower. See, guys, we're clearing her name this quickly, right? Our two witnesses would have immediately followed afterwards in pursuit. I see. Because the only way down from the top of the tower 
is down the spiral staircase. Whether the culprit went down or Sora and Yuki went up, they would definitely bump into each other at some point somehow. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. We did get to the top of the bell tower, but Yoriko was the only <laughs> one up there. Everybody's gonna totally suss her. That means Yoriko's the culprit. <laughs> case closed. No more discussion. What? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Like Emma said, the only way to climb up the tower is by using the stairs. And if you were there, you don't have a good excuse like Yuki and Sora. And you've been looking worried from the start. It's clear to everyone that Yoriko's the culprit. <laughs> Don't you think so, sister? You better agree with me, sister. Huh? But, Kanade, we just said that Ruko's a witness. Sis, please just think for a moment. Yoruko doesn't have an alibi, and she has no reason to be in the bell tower if she's not related to the case. I mean, like, I definitely understand why she's... Why is she suspicious of her? I do love her smug sprite, too. I... I guess. When you put it that way, Ruko does sound pretty suspicious. Hey now! Who are you calling suspicious? I would never, Queen. Okay then, Yuko. Can you tell us why you were at the bell tower? You and Rara just told us that they were there because they got a message from Riri. Tell us why you were there, then we won't have a reason to doubt you. That's... I don't know. I don't know why I was there. Somebody drug her? Cause like, she said she wasn't drinking, right? But like, hmm, I don't know. Just she wasn't drinking, but I kind of wonder if somebody did put something in like a drink and gave it to her or something. I don't know. Just because like, it's the only way I could see that she wouldn't remember any of this. What? Are you kidding me right now? Everybody's <laughs> just totally calling her a liar. Y Yoriko's situation sounds kind of complicated. Don't worry, I believe in the power of friendship. I thought she was the culprit at first too, but after I heard her testimony, I'm not so sure that's right. That's okay, you can understand. You're simping as well. Yoriko. Come down and tell us your side of the story. As I expected, it looks like everyone's suspicious of Yuriko. We need to discuss this some more to find out if she's really the culprit or not. She can never do this, ever! <laughs> Shinji's account. Oh, that's it? It's gonna be like a real tutorial kind of thing, huh? I went outside as soon as Monica's door think... opened. I think Shinji's account just says that, like, he saw her running. On the morning of the murder, Shinji waited for Hajime so the two of them could go jogging. While he was waiting, he saw Yuruko exit the monocruise immediately after morning hours began. Why did Yuruko leave the ship as soon as the ship's door opened? Okay. I hope I'm not having to do- I feel like this just makes her seem really suspicious. I'm, like, hoping to defend her, but I'm like, mm, this evidence doesn't really seem that good for you. Sorry, guys. Guys, Monkey is freaking out over Kanadi in the Discord server. Send help. <laughs> That, I kind of I kind of felt like that was gonna happen when I saw the sprite. Thank you for the donation up to Smug Kanani, Smug Kanani, down some pills. Yep. Yeah. Breathe, breathe in and out, in and out, Modki, in and out. You, you can make it through this. We believe in you. <laughs> I went to the crows the Mashu's door. Please open doors. I start my morning investigation before breakfast began. Then someone attacked me from behind, and I lost consciousness. When I woke up, I was at the top of the bell tower next to Sora and Yuki. Do you have any proof? <clears throat> For example, someone who saw you leave early. What? No, nobody saw me. There we go. No, that's wrong. Yay, we are defending her. <laughs> it's like even though I feel like uh <laughs> I feel like kind of just made her look a little uh a little sassy, but it's whatever. Okay, I guess I'll just keep saving. <laughs> Resume. Actually, there was someone who saw Yuriko leave early this morning. Shinji, you said you saw her, right? Oh, uh, uh me? Well, yeah, I, I definitely saw y y Yuriko leaving early this morning. You guys sure do get up early, don't you? What were you guys doing? I <laughs> like how nerdy uh, his voice is in the case. Hajime and I go jogging every morning, you know? I woke up early, so I was waiting for him in the hallway. Hajime was late because he had to use the bathroom. I saw Yuroku leaving as soon as the monocruise door opened up. Okay. It's like I said, I'm not lying. However, while we've proven that you left the ship early... I feel like it doesn't really help her that much, unfortunately. Can we really be certain that it was for the sake of investigation? What? Doesn't that just make you even more suspicious? The murder did happen this morning, after all. 
And the culprit who killed Mr. Kagarin definitely wasn't in the monocruise this morning. That's true, but... So, does that mean Yoruko really is the culprit? Wait a minute! Why is everyone <laughs> accusing me when I haven't done anything? Poor Yoroko. I told you! I don't know how or why I was there! I lost consciousness right after I left. Assuming what Yoruko says is the truth, the culprit attacked her and moved her to the bell tower to pin the blame on her? I guess was everybody else at the dining room when that happened? Like, uh, when she got hit on the head, you know? Because I'm, like, trying to think of, you know, how she got, like, uh, bonked. <laughs> like, one time she got bonked, basically, and, like, dragged and stuff. So I was like, is everybody in the dining hall at that time? Was it just, um... I guess I'll keep thinking about it. But then there's no explanation for how Yuri was pulled to the top. I feel like determining the alibi could be important for that part, but I guess we'll see. Maybe the culprit was hiding somewhere at the top of the tower? No. We looked around for a bit, but it's an exposed area with almost no furniture around. It would be very difficult for someone to hide themselves up there. You know, I was like, they would have to set her up there and then like leave pretty, uh, whatchamacallit, like pretty quickly before... So they bonked... Okay, so they... <laughs> Bonked uh, Yuruko, Yuruko and then dragged her up there, set her up so she would look like the culprit. Then they went down to go, I guess, get like an alibi. And then um, they texted us maybe with like Yuri's iPhone or whatever, or crow phone or whatever it is after that. I think so. I guess that's kind of how it's um, being set up. If Yuriko can't explain herself, we have no choice mm. but to assume she's the culprit. Damn, Kanade. Oh, thank you, Kev. I appreciate the donation. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Yeah. Wait, that's not true. I'm not. Don't jump to conclusions. Ooh. Yoriko isn't lying. Oh my god, Kokoro, are you stepping in on my GF right now? Um, excuse me, that's my job to defend her. Coco. Listen to her voice. She's telling the truth. Okay, so it wasn't, uh, I was kind of unsure if Kokoro was thinking that it was, uh, Yuriko who was the culprit or not. I know you're a psychologist, Koro, but how can you be so sure? The method we're using to deduce Yoriko's alleged culpability is far too short-sighted. We'll look at the bigger picture instead of focusing solely on her. Such as... Why Yuri was killed, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Why was Yuri killed? Because <laughs> he was kind of insufferable. <laughs> Speaking of which, didn't Yuri lock himself in his room after telling the girls to kill him? It'd be awfully difficult to drag that guy out of his room. Unless you were a girl. Hardly. If he was serious, a girl would only need to knock, and Yuri would open his door. Uh, are you saying that the culprit is a girl? So, like, doesn't it all point to Ruko anyway? <laughs> I'm not good at thinking, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not me! I'm just gonna go with my sis says, okay? Wait, everyone. If the culprit were a man, wouldn't that make the crime that much more ingenious? Yeah, that's true. The obvious answer would be that the culprit is a woman. But if it was a man... I'm guessing, like, they could have just written a note to make it seem like, you know, it was, uh... I'm like, I think it was, like, the note in, uh, the fourth chapter. I, like, read it in Kazuna's voice. Like, you know, just to make it sound like, Hey, baby, what's up, Yuri? I'm, like, totally planning on, like, killing you or whatever. So, like, come to the bell tower. A slay, heart. It'll be like, oh, yes, my, my lovely Hibiki is planning on killing me. But then it's, like, you know, a dude. They would be able to exclude themselves from the list of suspects for that reason. That's a total Mitch move, dude. But Yuri's the kind of guy who hates even being spoken to by another guy. <laughs> I remember, like, Mitch on the first trial kept being like, Oh my god, it has to be a woman! There's no way it can be a man, guys! As long as Yuri had locked himself in his room, a man would have never been able to lure him out. I'm gonna see if anybody's pulling that crap. Huh? I what Emma just said. A man could have been the culprit if Yuri hadn't been inside his room. Yuri locked himself inside his room for two days, and he left it for a single occasion. That occasion was... Oh. Okay, about to begin. Okay. I hate it, Man's Gambit. No, it's okay. Let's hear it. It has to be Mitch. It's the same, the same exact, uh, the same exact setup, too. Hey, Man's flashback. Try to catch a thought... Pass through your mind in a flash, get it? I love how they have the answer up here, party. I wonder what it is, guys. Oh my god, I'm just totally on my, totally on my toes. I just, I have no idea what it could be. I'm gonna have to keep an eye. I'm gonna keep an eye out though if anybody's like, oh my god, there's like no way it could be a man. There's just like no freaking way. 
<laughs> if I pull some niche. So the cards will also appear in the middle of the screen. The card will initially be shown for about five seconds, during which you should memorize letters and arrange and, and arrangements. Next, you must fill the blanks, the keyword from left to right. Try to call the letter, be fit in the most blank first, then select the card, holds the letter. After choosing your initial card, blah, 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 letter matches. I mostly just want to know what I need to press, if it's space bar or if it's inner. <laughs> if you manage to match a pair correctly and their mutual letter correctly fills the blank, the space will be filled and you can move to the next blank. You'll receive a penalty your score to your score and you'll take damage if your letter is incorrect or the cards don't match. Lower right corner will display the time limit. The timer, if the timer reaches zero, you'll receive a penalty to your points and your focus gauge will take damage. Oh, okay. I don't think there was a time limit in the last one. If you're concerned that this game is too difficult, don't worry, we gave you the answer in the tutorial. The cards will also be shown against, again briefly before you run out of time. Okay. So try to use these resets as guides for all subsequent attempts. <laughs> Literally, I watched the mention duo. Why is he hiding it? Hug. Like in the non-stop debate, your influence gauge will be damaged. When the game will start over, focus gauge runs out completely. Okay, I guess I can just press, okay, space or Z. Because remember that was like, the one thing I got. <laughs> okay. Um, where do I? Okay. A. Okay. Okay. So that's what it is. This card is already flipped. Wait, what? Maybe I should have read through this. I just kind of thought it was gonna be like the normal hangman's gambit. Uh. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to find the A and the Y. I thought I was gonna do it one at a time. I'm gonna lose, no! <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I did not pay attention to where the Y was. God damn it! <laughs> okay, whatever. What? What am I supposed to do? Oh, it's a match pairs game? Oh, okay. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry I was bored too, but I was not. I was so big in the tutorial because I thought it was going to be the same thing. Wait. I'm totally fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought it was going to happen. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Sora. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know how a match pair works. Okay. I just did not understand the rules because I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, I got it. I see a, I see a, everything is daijobu. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was born stupid. I wasn't paying attention to the matches. Oh, God damn it. I have to, I had to look at the Y too. It was nice knowing you when you still had clout. Thank you. I didn't know I was supposed to look at the Y too. <laughs> Where was the Y? Okay. <laughs> Shh, guys, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Don't worry I about it. <laughs> I didn't look at the. I didn't look at the screen to to check and see what would have what it was. Shh. Damn it! I just assumed it was gonna be the same, so I didn't really read it. Okay. Save 14. <laughs> oh gosh. The party last night. Yuri was at that party, wasn't he? Didn't he drink late into the night too? Oh yeah, he was there. So then if someone attacked Yuri right after the party ended, it could have easily been a man. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I looked at the screen. I was just you know, messing with you guys. I'm sorry, I didn't look at the freaking thing. I didn't look at the instructions that well, so I didn't know what I was supposed to exactly be doing. I'm sorry I was uh, born stupid. You're taking that into account now? Quick, I always take a screenshot Charlie. when the game cards are shown to tune this game. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the donation. You it's all good. I just was a little confused on what I was supposed to be doing. Discussion. What? Do you want me to help? That'll be a million crows. I'll figure this all out for you then. Oh my god, he's still gonna be like that. Shut up, you scrooge. If Sora's right, a man really could have attacked Yuri, but that's no reason to rule out a girl as a culprit. <laughs> 
Of course. She said that the culprit could be a man. Not that they couldn't be a woman. For a man like Mr. Kagarin, the idea of him giving up his life to a woman that approached him during the festivities is all too plausible. Yeah, for real. Yeah, but I'm curious about something. The party was last night, right? Yuri died this morning. If the culprit attacked Yuri after the party, wouldn't that mean the culprit was inside the monocruise during nighttime? I feel like... Um... Mm, I don't know. The monocruise doors lock after 10 p.m. Yeah. If the party was last night and the murder happened this morning, there's a huge gap of time missing between them. I feel like they definitely set it up last night, you know? So the question is... If a man really did attack Riri after the party, what was he doing until morning? But didn't all the people who were drinking late into the night return to the monocruise before 10 p.m.? Um, that's... Uh, <laughs> I can't really remember. <laughs> you guys get that drunk? Probably. I was the only sober one there. Probably. Although, Yuri was late. He told me he'd be stopping by the bathroom. I get it. That was when somebody kidnapped Rin, Rin then. Oh, thank you, Daddy Moto. I'd pay to have Daddy Moto next to me right now. Down so bad. Down so bad, man. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the donation. No, that doesn't make sense because the murder happened at the bell tower just after the morning announcement. The culprit would have been locked inside the monocruise. They wouldn't have had any time to prepare for the murder. <sighs> You're assuming things again. There's no rule that says you have to stay inside the monocruise during nighttime. What? But the rules? State that the monocruise doors close at 10 p.m. And that sleeping outside the dorms is not allowed. That's all. Yes, yeah, so you can stay out as long as you don't sleep, I guess? If the culprit never boarded the monocruise, they would be free to wander the island after the door was locked. If they stayed up all night, they wouldn't be breaking any rules. Being outside the monocruise at night isn't a rule violation? Is that true? Yes. I've done it before. No. Oh, guess you decided to test it out. I wondered what would happen if I slept during the day and stayed out all night outside. Hmm, interesting. Oh, was it that night? And nothing happened. The doors opened in the morning, and I was able to board the monocruise as usual. Okay, man, she's smart. But didn't Monocro say that monsters would be wandering the island at night? You still could have been injured, Coco. We are gonna talk about that plot point. I was fine. I stayed on the main roads and never ran into any sort of monster. Mm. I just lied about that, you know. Although, I do wonder if something may be hidden in the forest. If Kokoro is telling the truth, it's possible that Yuri never re-entered the monocruise last night. According to Yuriko, he did return, just much later than everyone else. But isn't it possible that he was attacked and then placed in the bell tower until this morning? Mm hmm According to that theory, the culprit is one of the people who are drinking late into the night. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It's <laughs> like, I don't know why Nikkei was thinking it was the opposite. What do you think, Yoriko? You're one of the people who stayed behind, aren't you? <laughs> so, that's true. But it wasn't me. I got back to the monocruise with everyone else. <laughs> I knew it was Yoriko the whole time. Man, she's really got it out for her. It's about that. None of us were exactly sober, so we don't really remember that. Sorry, Yuko. Okay. So Yoriko, Setsuka, Shinji, who else was staying up late? I think the twins, right? So it's like five. And then Yuri, I think, is that six? What? They were all drunk as skunks. Indeed. And none of them can recall a thing. I think they said it was six, right? Speaking of which, I don't recall seeing any alcohol during the preparations for the party. Yeah, I was like, who brought the alcohol? That's who I think is the most suspicious. They for real went, I love spreading misinformation. <laughs> I'm dead. Thank you for the uh, donation, Moon. <laughs> Nikkei Cold Eater. Oh, you're right. And yet, there was alcohol abound in the beverages by the time the party started. It wasn't Monaco that brought it, right? I believe this is no mere coincidence. Are you saying that the culprit put alcohol in the drinks in order to get everyone drunk and look for someone with eye bags? I guess that makes sense. Wait. Is it possible spoiler. that someone impulsively committed a murder because they were under the influence at the time? No. You can tell by looking at the crime scene that someone put a great deal of thought into this murder. They were a total lunatic. It doesn't fit an intoxicated cover-up. Yeah, that's true. It has to be the person who was drinking the water. If the culprit brought the alcohol, doesn't that mean they helped organize the party? Who are the ones no. organizing the party? 
You, Rara, Mac, Yuko, Mikado, and myself. It can't be Mikado. Wait, who is who's Mac again? Mac? Uh, you, Rara. I was like, wait, who, who is Mac? I don't know all the names quite yet. Oh, Yuriko, Setsuka, Shinji, Hajime, Yuri, and Emma stayed late. Okay, so Emma stayed late. I guess the twins didn't stay late then. I guess I was wrong about that. Uh, yeah, I guess they were talking like they weren't really there late. I just remember them getting super drunk. <laughs> Yuko, Setsuka, Shinji, Hajime, Yuri, and Emma. Okay. They get... Yeah, I was like, who... How'd that happen? <laughs> Why are you gonna say that? <laughs> the nicknames, dude. Oh, Mac is Hajime. Okay, okay. I was like, I don't remember their... <laughs> like, Macklemore? When, when did Macklemore become a part just of this game? Just the six of us. Yoriko is nothing but suspicious. <laughs> Freaking Kanade, dude. Just got so out for her. Um. So the culprit's someone that helped with the party and stayed out last night. Okay. And they would have to be sober. That's what you're saying? Hey, wait a second. The only person who wasn't drinking last night was Yoriko. She said she'd be chaperoning dry since we had to get back by 10 p.m. No, I mean, that's true, but... <laughs> Mac is Mitch in a wig. Lamau. <laughs> that's... The evidence all lines up. <laughs> Damn, you guys are really trying to convict my wife. I will not take this. Yuriko, can you explain what happened in more detail? We just want to believe you. You're not listening ah. to me. Oh no, I'm not good at this one. Aren't you taking this a little too far? Look, I'm innocent. To be accused as the culprit because of a series of coincidences. It do be a lot of uh, very, uh, <laughs> very, um... Convenient coincidences, but I don't think you did it. I don't think you did a queen. I do not think you slayed. You would never. I can still defend myself, you know. Listen to me before you start talking. Oh man, I hate this minute. I'm so bad at this one. Let's start again. We like to hear an explanation. Let's just hear it. Okay. Oh, use the arrow keys to move from lane to lane. S to shoot your opponent's words down. Okay. So it's like a little. Oh my god, it's like a little um bow. That's cute. Okay. Use keys. S to shoot your opponent's words down. Killing to hit lines depletes the gauge at the top of the screen. Isn't there like usually there's like the shooting at and there's like the super shooting thing. Okay, rebuttal showdown. The goal is to shoot down your opponent's arguments and refute them. There are five lanes at the center of the screen. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> like really trying to make sure I <laughs> process this this time. You may switch lanes using the left and right arrow keys. You can launch an arrow by pressing confirm. So it's S for confirm for this one, I guess. I think opponent's arguments will disappear within one to three seconds after appearance and inflict damage. If you fail to shoot them down, before that happens, the rebuttal gauge at the top will move to the right. It's either an S or a Z. <laughs> if your opponent takes over the entire rebuttal gauge, your focus gauge will take damage and points will be deducted. On the other hand, the rebuttal gauge will move to the left every time you successfully shoot your opponent's words down. Okay, you shoot with Z. The tutorial is actually wrong, I believe. Okay, I was wondering, because I was like, I feel like S is kind of random. Thank you. It's like, I think last time it was like Z, and then for like the super, you know, thing, S loads the truth bullets. Okay, cool. So S loads the truth bullets, and then Z is to shoot. Okay, that's uh, kind of awkward with my hands, dude. Let me try to, maybe like, more like this. Okay. You take down double the damage if the rebuttal gauge is in your opponent's favor. So do your best to not miss shooting down any of their arguments. Sora will have a chance to say your counter arguments as the rebuttal proceeds. Okay, shift a notch. Okay, just like non-stop debate, there are yellow phrases which contain weak points. Here you'll use and shoot a truth arrow in order to refute your opponent. Select the appropriate arrow with shift. Okay, so wait, select the appropriate arrow shift and notch the arrow with S before firing. So wait, you do you do uh, shift to select the appropriate arrow? I guess so. I thought shift was like slash last time. Here's a weak point. Here you go. So I'm trying to make sure I get this, so I don't embarrass myself again. Notch, notch the arrow with S before firing. Okay. Afterwards, the rebuttal gauge will return to its limit initial position. Like the nonstop debate, you can. Refute yellow text in your opponent's arguments. No truth bullets, you can give truth arrows, which must be equipped on the bow in order to refute the argument. Press shift to change your truth arrow and S to equip the currently selected truth arrow to the bow. Okay, that makes sense then. Okay, so it's just equip. Once you equip a truth 
arrow the bow will turn red and you will not be able to change truth arrow. Oh, <laughs> so make sure you like what you got. Press S again to remove, okay, okay. So just press S again to remove it. And then I guess just uh, Z to shoot it or whatever. When truth arrow is equipped, you can not shoot down ordinary marks. You'll only be able to refute yellow text. If you want to shoot ordinary marks, remove the truth arrow first. Okay, so I can't. Okay, so I don't want to have the truth arrow until... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just so nervous. I feel like I'm always so bad at this one. Clues by pressing the A to the non-stop debate. You best keep your combo going. Counter your opponent's rebuttals. Okay. I'm so sorry, queen. Don't worry, I'll probably lose anyways. Show by his account. Okay, cool. I know I have to accede to your unjust accusations. Oh god. Oh hey, no. Really okay. Do you really think that I go about it this way? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I can never understand what they're saying. There's no reason for me to wait until the party. Okay. No okay. Okay. Uh, is it S or something? Crap. S. God damn it. Okay. The culprit may have waited until the party because of their plan involving the alcohol. Okay. Like we said before, they used it to dull everyone's memories so they could easily get away with their plan. The fact that Yuri attended the party in itself could indicate that he was working with the culprit. So you're just saying that I could do something? It's oh my god, come on, girl. Girl, girl, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Shift, 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 S. Oh, god damn it. Ah, damn it, was it? Ah, I suck so bad at this. Ah, man, I'm just so nervous now. Oh, uh, gosh, I get so nervous with these let's plays, especially when I like mess up first, you know? It's just like, uh, I can't get on my head, and yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm like shaking, I'm like not. <laughs> so it was S2 equip, I think, and then Oh yeah, Shift was just going through it. I just like got sidetracked or something. Okay, so I think um missed F. I didn't remove it. Um I got confused. S is to attach it, so unequip and equip is S. I think I just got a little uh thing. We be dead again. Throw a death counter. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. <sighs> Man, I just think I just need to like breathe for a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the? <laughs> Thank you. Um, what? Did it just exit me out? Oh my gosh, really? No. <sighs> Man, I think it just kicked me out of the game. Oh no, what do I have to save? Uh, where did I save last? I think at least... Man, yeah, I think it crashed. Um, damn it. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to go through that much. How do I go fast in this game? Okay, don't fail or the game will crash. <laughs> okay, uh, resume class trial. Wasn't it like control or something? Or... The party last night. Is it control that does that? Yuri was. Oh yeah, he we? was there. Control and enter. So yes. Your take. Okay. What? <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Yeah. The part. If the the mono. Yeah. So, but, it might be kind of um, nice to reread the instructions a little no, bit. It's a little weird too because it says Z, but I kind of prefer using space. Yes, I can. But did, I can't tell if I was doing okay before that or not. About what? I'm gonna be so bad at that one. I have to actually <laughs> go through information. Wait, it doesn't. If who you does the <laughs> any day now, any day no, now. That, yeah, but you're a, you just you're not listening. Shouldn't to have me. told the game to slay. It literally did slay me. God damn it. I'm taking this a little to be accused, and I can still just. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. It's okay. <laughs> um, I just wanna like. Okay, I think I, I think I was getting confused because it says S to shoot your opponent's words down, but I'm pretty sure later it says that it's not S. It's like to lock it. Yeah, yeah, it says that later. Yeah, you shift with the select it, but I don't think I have to do any selecting. I think that was what I was getting like. It just stressed me out because it's just going so fast, man. And I just like, I'm just trying so hard not to fuck it up, man. I have a very low self-esteem. <laughs> 
so I get very nervous for these games. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Supposed to like turn red or something? I feel like it just goes so fast. I know I have to proceed to your undead accusation. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. No, okay. You really think that I go about it this way? Like you said, you and Wood have done anything for a woman, even die for her. There's no reason for me to wait until the party to kill him in such a complicated manner. <sighs> what? Okay, I didn't read it. I just tried to. Damn it! Damn it! So that wasn't it. I just have to keep going. Okay, I just have to keep going. Ah! I just got so excited that I knew the controls. Same thing with the real life. So I had to go. Believe in you, Weebie. Have a fun stream. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, it's okay. Shoot. I know I have to achieve your unjust accusation. But if I'm really the culprit, do you really think that I go about it this way? Oh, wait. Uh, I'm not equipping it. That's what it was. Okay. Anything for a woman. You can die for her. Damn it. There's no reason that was what you guys were trying to tell me last time. Kill him in such a complicated manner. <sighs> what was Shobai's account again? The oh my god, can I pause it for just like a second? Plan involving the alcohol. <laughs> I'm just gonna pause it. I'm just gonna pause it. I'm just gonna pause it for a second. <sighs> <laughs> I hate this one, man. I've always been terrible at this game. What was Shobai's account? I'm just gonna look at my phone. Because I'm scared. This account. Shobai is a year. I saw Yuko going to the bell tower with a rope. Could it be the same rope that was found by Yuri's body? Okay, so something... Something that has to do... <laughs> <sighs> okay. Like we said before, they used it to dull everyone's memories so they could easily get away with their plan. I might die again. The fact that Yuri attempted <laughs> to I didn't, I'd the equip it. could indicate that he was working with the culprit. So you're just saying that I would do something as stupid as intentionally going to the party? If I was the culprit, I wouldn't go about it that way. If you two weren't at the power with me, you, you wouldn't be suspecting me. Is that how it is? Just because of that, you're suspecting me. It's completely... I don't know, is that it? Okay. 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 Oh! <laughs> A 50%. Oh god. Okay, okay. I just need to pause it for a second to collect myself. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not just that, Yoriko. Shobai told me that he saw you going to the bell tower this morning. W what? Yeah, it is a really ridiculous uh, amount of coincidences. He also said you were holding a long rope in your hand. A rope? The same rope that Rinrin Rin was tied up with? Shobai, you were telling the truth, right? Huh? <laughs> I was. At the time, I didn't know that woman would be so important to the case. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for being nice. <laughs> I'm a very nervous person, and uh, I'm very insecure. <laughs> I get very nervous when streaming sometimes. I was wondering what she was planning to do with something like that. Now that I think about it, that was a really important piece of evidence. Honestly, I feel like it usually is just the first case that it gets like hard for me because I just like tend to, uh, I don't know, like second guess the control so much and stuff. Wait, he's lying! Shobai isn't telling the truth! He really was attacked by someone as soon as I left the monocruise. He's trying to slander me. He's the culprit. That does sound really sussy, but, but, um,. Whatchamacallit, um, Shobai is like very money influenced, so I could see him lying just because somebody gave him money. E even if you say that. Yeah, all the evidence is stacked against you. It's almost undeniable. Or maybe you're just an idiot, Yoriko. <laughs> Jesus. W what? <laughs> Why are you all accusing me? Why me? Damn, Kanani's out for blood for her, man. Mr. Hashimoto's testimony is the most damning thing here. How do you plan to defend yourself against that? Yuko, are you really the culprit? Wait, Shobai really is lying. Okay, I bet somebody did pay him off. Dude, you really take money to die, bro? What? Sora, did Shobai mention when he saw Yoriko leave? That's... Yoriko left right after the morning announcement, so wouldn't that be around 7 a.m.? I was on the second floor of the library at the time. Okay. And I saw Shobai climbing the stairs from the second to the third floor. <laughs> He's seeming kind of sus now, actually. Shobai, even if you did see Yoruko leave, 
Unless you knew her destination beforehand, you'd have trouble figuring out she was headed for the bell tower. And didn't you say you saw Hiroku holding <laughs> a rope? <laughs> Damn. Shobai, were you lying to me? Um, shall we? Jeffrey in the chat. I forgive you immediately. <laughs> so you got me out. <laughs> See, Jeffrey. Jeffrey forgives me, guys. I didn't do anything wrong. Sorry about that. But I wanted to test you all. Test us? Oh, what the? Like I said, if you clear the class trial for me, I'm good. <laughs> Thank God, what is this Tagami bullshit? I was testing whether you could really do it without my interference. What? I'm gonna be joking! Just a little bit of perjury, really. I didn't think the psychologist would realize. Well, whatever. I'm counting this as a win. Well, she's got a really good talent for this game, honestly. You asshole! <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Settle down, Mr. Kasai. Violence is against the school rules. Calm down, Shin. You can beat him up after we get out of here. Th that proves my innocence, right? Shobai's the one who lied. He's even more suspicious than I am. I don't know. <laughs> His testimony might be false, but you're still the most likely suspect. Damn, Kanade. I had a feeling she was going to come up next and be like, um, not so fast. But... We're being cruel to Yoriko, aren't we? We should talk about this some more. No, no, Ruko's definitely the killer. I, I don't want to suspect my friends. I want to believe everyone instead. Oh, thank you, Brian. Shobai is just trying to help us. He's a great guy. <laughs> he said he was sawi, so it's okay. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's okay, I forgive him immediately. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Well, this is rather complicated, isn't it? We seem to be split right down the middle. If that's the case, let's decide with a proper debate. Please remain calm as your seats uh -oh. are rearranged. Oh my god, are we doing the V3 thing? Whether Yurko's the killer or not. We'll have to discuss about this some more. Let's try our best to convince everyone. Oh my god, really? What the hell? That's awesome! Would you like to hear an explanation? Oh my god, that's so cool! Scrum debate team with two opposing sides. Listen closely to the subject of your opponent's argument. When the class becomes divided on an issue and splits into two parties, a scrum debate occurs. While it's usually a free-for-all during non-stop debates, scrum debates have students competing in teams. All students will participate in either Team Solar or Team Luna. <laughs> oh my god. Members of the opposing team will take turns presenting their arguments. That's so cool, dude! Oh my god, that's awesome, man. I can't believe that! Selecting, select the magic keyword, matching keywords of the arguments are refuted accordingly. Identical keywords can differ in content, so think carefully. Selecting the wrong keyword will damage your focus gauge points. We'd be slandering me. Time for a worker strike. <laughs> hey, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just saying the truth, man. Thanks for the donation, Jeff. I mean, have you or have you not been simping for uh, Daddy Moto in chat? <laughs> oh, is Yuki on the other side? You guys only want to went to the party and fits all the criteria. We still need to figure out if the party is even relevant to the case. So the magic keyword of the argument, refute it or accordingly. Identical keywords can differ in context. So think carefully. Selecting the wrong keyword will damage your focus gauge and points. Members of the opposing teams will take turns presenting take turns presenting their arguments. Okay. I'm like trying to remember this. It's so long to play this game. Although not clearly labeled, each argument has a keyword. Okay. Each member of your team will be represented with a keyword as well. Identify the keyword in the opposing arguments and present the argument of your team of your teammate that matches the keyword in order to refute it. Okay. Argument your teammate that matches the keyword in order to refute it. Okay. Switch keywords with the up and down arrow keys and press confirm to refute the arguments. If you attempt to refute an argument with an innocent key incorrect keyword, <laughs> innocent points are deducted and your focus gauge will take damage. Okay. Like party. I guess we'll just look. Slay, Yuki, slay! No, don't tell him to slay! Don't do that! <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Keywords that were matched correctly before will be labeled on the opposing team's side. So use them as a guide if you have to repeat the process. Okay, um, before we get into this, I'm gonna take a small break and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, guys. I don't know, um, I don't think I, get, like, I, don't think I have a plush set up for you guys to look at. Uh, I'm so messy too right now. <laughs> I'll be right back, though. Uh, let me mute it really quickly too. I just need to go to the bathroom and then I'll come back, but just in case uh, I get copyright claimed or something.
Okay. Chair. <laughs> oh, I need to get a new chair, honestly. It's kind of old. The chair is the killer, obviously. Thanks, guys, for, uh... <laughs> For waiting. You've got it wrong, Weeby News. There's nothing to forgive here. King is just being king, as he should. Read the Burger X Broker fanfiction on Discord for proof of Hashimoto being the ultimate daddy. Oh, yeah, you guys had a bunch of, uh... Oh, thank you for being a member for 15 months. Oh, my gosh, it's kind of wild. Weeby's away. Everybody praise the almighty crow. <laughs> you guys simping in chat while I'm gone? I'm dead. Hey, slay, Yuki, slay. Let me get the audio back on. I just, like, I remember what other thing it was, like... The copyright issue, just want to be safe. Thanks for being a member for so long, uh, Jeff. Appreciate that. Okay, um... Okay, so I think I was just, like, up and down and inner, basically. Crouch? Crouch bind? A crouch bind state will occur after you successfully refute all of the opposing arguments. After all the points have been refuted, you'll enter a team race. Oh, cool! Oh, they look so cool right here. I love that. The full counter. Why does Setsuka look so evil? <laughs> Weeby, do you mind looking at your DMs later? Yeah, sure, I can uh, look at that in a little bit um, once I get done with the stream. Thank you uh, for being a member, by the way. A crush bind state will occur after you successfully refute all the opposing arguments. Press the key shown on the screen repeatedly. In order to assert your argument, being completely pushed away by your opponent will restart, oh God. I think I do remember this now. Okay, so it was like X up there. Okay, then two teams will begin a final push for victory. Press the button displayed on the screen in the center. I hope it's not something that's a bit random, man. Like, it's G, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit, where's G again? Okay. Push away the argument of the opposing team. The button displayed will randomly change. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It will randomly uh, change over time. Okay. I'm about to slay myself. You will have to start the scrum debate over again if your team's argument is pushed off screen. Moniker. You guys still freaking, uh. <laughs> freaking, uh. Zip in for him, so don't lose your footing. The opposing team's argument is pushed off screen. You'll clear the debate scrum with a full counter cut in featuring your team members. So flashy. You yassified game. Opt in or opt out. Oh, thank you, NBA Highlights. What's up? I'm late, finally here and excited. Can't wait. Thank you, Flava. Setsuka, best girl. Hope you enjoy the game, Weeby. It's really good. I am enjoying it a lot so far. Oh, Team Lunar! Thanks guys for the donations. Okay, Team Solar, the twins. Of course, they fucking hate Yurukawa. <laughs> Defend my wife time, baby. Yuruko Kazuya, the culprit. She's the culprit. Hell no, she's not the culprit. Queen would never. Yuruko is the only one that went to the party and fits all of the criteria. Wait. No, Yuri, the killer has to be a woman. Oh my god, he fucking made shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god. But, Yoriko, weren't you the only one who handled the food at the party? Okay, so it's She could have taken advantage of the fact that we were drunk to forge her alibi. Yoriko is our only suspect, so there's nothing else we can do. Okay, so that's gonna be that one. Okay, we need to counter... <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mitch bullshit, bro! <laughs> I'm fucking dead. It has to be a woman, guys! There's no fucking way! It could be anything else, man! <laughs> oh my god, is he really Mitch in disguise? <laughs> Mitch Kenny? <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. I can't even focus on the rest of the game! <laughs> guys, really, a kid, there's just no fucking way it could be a man! <laughs> Stop looking at me! Oh my god. Haja Mitch. <laughs> I'm dead, dude. <laughs> we encounter our opponents before they even get the chance to finish what they're saying. Okay, I can't remember what Yuki's was. I think mean, totally got, <laughs> got sidetracked after that. Counter each of our opponents points logically. It's true that Yuki looks suspicious, but there's still so many mysteries left to solve. It's too soon to decide if she was the culprit. Yoriko is the only one that this one's mine and still need to figure out if the party is even relevant yeah. to the case. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you, uh, Daddy Moto. No, Yuri, the killer has to be- Emma, we've already established that the- Hell yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Mitch. <laughs> I'm dead. Vuko's the only one with a soup Yoriko. Kokoro and Chobai don't even have alibis. <laughs> Why are you accusing me? Back off! But, Yoriko- Weren't you the only one? Kokoro. Else, 
Yoriko was not the only one who handled the food at the party. She could have taken advantage of the fact that we were drunk to Shinji. Yoriko wasn't the only one who wasn't drunk. There so we go. Suspect the Slay! Others? Slay, guys! Yoriko is our only suspect. <laughs> Hell no! Aroha. I love her, but she's kind of a dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Crouch found. Z! Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Z! Oh my god. S Z. Okay, Z. <gasps> okay. They're next to each other. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, thank god. I was so scared I was gonna be like Z, then like P or some shit. I was gonna be like, oh no. Please, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I finally did a good job in a minigame. I'm so happy. Oh, man. It's all because Hajimich. <laughs> I just get with that, man. That was so funny. That conclusion has continued to evade us. At any rate, it's wrong to conclude that Yoriko's the killer when there's still so many unanswered questions. We need to discuss this some more. Sora. Okay. Aww. I don't want to doubt my friends any longer either. So cute. She was crying, man. I love that. Rua's doing her best, Weeby. We should appreciate and support her. That's pretty funny. It's like ending with her. Like, it's like, okay, guys, I know you're not trying to have a Roha. Like, <laughs> hold up your argument. She, like, is not even. She's like, I think there is, there is something, right? There is something going on that makes her suspicious. Live, laugh, love, Mitch. Oh my god, he's still here. Imagine if he's a Mitch skinny. <laughs> I'm dead, dude. He's not as bad as Mitch, but that was like just the exact shit that Mitch said in the last trial, man. Let's drop the subject. Oh, the gosh. And discuss some other things first. I do kind of think he's the most suspicious because he was like gone, or he like usually runs with um, Shinji, but he was like gone and like, um, uh, what's her fate? Oh my god, I cannot believe I just called you what's her face. Ruko, please forgive me for my sins. Oh my god, I did not mean to disrespect you like that, queen! Queen! But um, anyways, Ayuriko, she like, you know, went missing, and I was like, I feel like it was kind of around the time that he was missing. I was like, I don't know if it was like totally enough time to like, you know, bonk her and like have that all set up, but I think he's probably the most suspicious, because he, on the committee, he was one of the people that stayed late. He had the time to bonk her. He keeps <laughs> saying that <laughs> it has to be a uh, girl. I think, I think that makes the most sense. Wait. So we're back to square one. And um, well, I don't know if like uh, we will be seeing if somebody's tired because they stayed up all night, but he has sunglasses on. Good thinking. Unlike a regular trial, a single misstep will result <laughs> in tragedy. <laughs> Step on me, Kokoro. I didn't know you simped for her, gamer bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, <laughs> thanks for the donation. We need to keep She's pretty awesome. This until we reach a decisive conclusion. She's very smart. I mean, Kokoro, don't you know who the culprit is? <laughs> Can't you just tell us so we can call it a day? You all currently believe Yoriko is the culprit. Would you even be able to accept it if I named someone else? You can now, girl. So you don't believe Miss Kabuya is the culprit? All right. So instead of who they are, let's talk about how the culprit did it. How they did it? We're not sure whether the culprit attacked Riri this morning or after the party. Oh, that song is cool. Is this from one of the Dog and Rafa games? Did you forget what the culprit did before they killed Riri? Before killing Yuri, she talking about the object that was attached to Yuri's body. That object would be... Okay, what's the hook with the rope, right? Like there's nothing else, right? Right. Yeah, okay, cool, just double checking. <laughs> Okay, hook with the rope. Got it. Uh, she looks so good there, man. I love that art. That was embedded in Yuri's calf. Yeah, you said it was already embedded when you first saw him, right? I'm trying to think of um. Oh, thank you, Monica Dev. Oh my God, Slay! Thank you for joining, Monica Dev. I know you know how to slay too. <laughs> Little uh, Monica. Oh my God, Monkey's gonna be so excited for you to join the Discord. You guys can finally be together, Slay. <laughs> Thanks for becoming a member. Yeah, you said it was already embedded when you first saw him, right? Yeah, I was wondering if the anesthetic would uh, come into place, like, uh... Because they would have to get it from, like, the monocruise, right? The lab or whatever. Even if Riri was drunk, he wouldn't have just stayed still while the culprit stuck that thing into his leg. Yeah, for real. They would have had to restrain him by any means possible. So you're saying we should discuss how the culprit went about doing that? You said slay. I was telling Monica to slay, you know. She she's already slayed, so <laughs> there's no uh no need to be uh no need to worry about it, you know. 
How will the culprit restrain Yuki? We have to figure this out. Whew, okay. Okay, was it shift that goes through these? I think, <laughs> please. In aesthetic solution, right? We might have all been plastered, but... Riri wouldn't have just stayed still while someone stuck a hook into him. Maybe they stunned him by hitting him with a blunt weapon? Okay. No, they wouldn't risk Yuri dying right there. Regardless, it's certain that the culprit did something to immobilize Yuri's... Perhaps he was so drunk that he passed out. Wait, no, that's dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, Queen. It's okay. I was born stupid too, sweetie. I know. Weeby, do you know what the culprit is? I'm leaning towards Hajime right now, but I mean, I don't know for sure. It just seems like he's the most likely. I guess besides Yuruko, but like I would never, I would never suspect her, Queen. How the culprit restrained Yuri. There must have been evidence relating to the method they used. I'm not, I'm disagreeing, right? Because I feel like um, it's kind of a, there was one I like agreed with. I'll just, okay, let's think back on what I found during the investigation. We might have all been plastered, but Riri wouldn't have just stayed still while someone stuck a hook into him. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Maybe they stunned him by hitting him with a blunt weapon? Oh, really? No, okay. they wouldn't risk Yuri dying right there. Regardless, it's certain that the culprit is- Am I agreeing? Or wait, am I- Okay, wait, maybe I just missed that other one. I thought that Shoot. I- Okay, God damn it. We might Whatever. have all been plastered, but- Okay, I just missed it. Damn it. Okay. I think it was Riri supposed to be disagreeing with what's her face still then. I just got confused. Maybe okay. they stunned him by hitting him with a blunt weapon? Right? No, that's Okay, wrong. cool. I was like, I got so confused for a second. I was like, what? minus one point? <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, okay, okay. I just gotta make sure that thing highlights or whatever when I do it. Okay, save progress again. Oh, uh, oh I already used all the saves? Wow. Quite the feat. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> So I was gonna say, I was like, I didn't think I was supposed to be green. evidence that the culprit didn't use such a straightforward method, Hibiki. We found traces of an anesthetic solution on the floor of the bell tower. Anesthetic solution? Kanade told me that it's similar to the kind used in the operating room during major surgeries. How she knew that, we don't know. My name has an unrelated backstory. LOL, Slay. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Thanks for becoming uh, an Ovalander. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, you can get some from the infirmary. I was like, do you have a game you're maybe like developing? I was kind of curious. Or I guess it could just be like Monica as a game does and just got like the headset on. Its presence at the bell tower leaves no doubt that the culprit used the anesthetic to subdue Mr. Kagari. Oh my god, the Monica cult. That's so true. We need a wedding. Oh my gosh, that should be the next. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh, that should be the next uh, opening meme for sure. Thanks for the uh, donation, by the way. Wait, do you think that's the same thing the culprit used when they attacked me? That'll be uh, the next opening meme. Oh, I guess that can make sense too. Maybe, but that's besides the point, Yoriko. So be quiet. Girl, she hates Yoriko. I, uh, fine. Girl, don't take that lying down. And there's one more thing I know about the anesthetic. The other thing I learned about this anesthetic is, oh yeah, the injection thing or whatever. Kanade is a count. How she knows, how this little weirdo knows all this, we don't know. Scale syringe, what missing, the firmary. We're gonna control the length and potency of the ascetic by noting that- It's like, girl, you already know all this stuff, too. You're still going after my girlfriend. Got it. I will not take the slander. Kanade went to the infirmary after finding the anesthetic, and... <laughs> she went into excruciating detail. She discovered that a single syringe had disappeared. A syringe? Yes. You can use that particular syringe to conveniently calculate the sedation time using the scale on the barrel. It's like, it perfectly would fit into Yuko's hand. It's like, can you just stop, stop pitting the culprit? It's pitting me as the culprit for two seconds, Kanade. Uh, that's great and all, but how do you know all this? It's like, why does she want her to be the culprit so bad? Unless she is the culprit, but I don't think it's her. She doesn't really have, like, uh, the circumstantial evidence. She just loves framing her so bad, you know? I watch a lot of medical dramas. Is there a problem? <laughs> like corpse party. I'm not saying there's a problem, but... It's just a little weird. No one found a syringe or anything like that while investigating, right? That means... The culprit still has the syringe with them. Could be like in their pocket or in their room. Should we frisk everyone here? <laughs> I doubt they'd be idiotic enough to have it on their <laughs> person. But 
We can be sure that they hid it somewhere. <laughs> you, Yuki, Mitch is not in this game. There's nobody stupid enough to do that, okay? If they used a syringe with an anesthetic solution, they could subdue Yuri even if he wasn't drunk. Hmm. There's one thing that's really bothering me. When Sora and I last saw Yuri, he seemed convinced a woman was trying to take his life. Saying things like, not everyone gets to be killed by a cute classmate, <laughs> and being born a man and achieving my dream. <laughs> no, I just like imagine the culprit has like a uh, passed out like Yuruko. They're like doing like a girl voice. Yes, Yuki, it is I, Yuruko, the beautiful, here to kill you. It's like, oh yes, this is totally nothing weird about this. Just, I'm going to ignore Hajime moving her body <laughs> from behind. He was about to die. <laughs> yeah, he was a little weirdo. So if he said that, does that make the culprit a woman after all? We <laughs> still like messed up like a, a like what was it like a weekend at Bernie's kind of situation <laughs> with like her doing that. The thing that's bothering me is that Yuri told all of us that he would cooperate with the female culprit. Oh, thank you, Sora Urasatsuki. My wife is innocent. I think Kanade is gonna have to get killed here. Bye bye, Kanade. <laughs> I do love Kanade, even though she really is like totally uh <laughs> totally framing my girl over here, man. But thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh my god, weekend at Yuruko's. Basically, <laughs> like that was enough to convince him. He's like, Yuri, guys, I think we're underestimating how dumb Yuri was. But they restrained him and waited until he was drunk. If the culprit was a female, that wouldn't be necessary. Okay. That's what I've been saying since the beginning. Yeah, that's true. It'd just create more evidence, right? Let's review. Assuming the culprit is male, he would only be able to target Yuri after yesterday's party. We still have no idea what happened before nighttime, though. Assuming the culprit is female, she would be able to get to Yuri at any time inside the monocruise. Okay. However, she wouldn't have had enough time to prepare for the crime in the morning. Like the other scenario, we still have no idea what happened before nighttime. About what happened before nighttime, doesn't it seem possible that the culprit's preparations took place during that time? Yeah. What? Like Kokoro said. Anyone can stay outside the monocruise at night using the loophole in the rules. Okay, Kanani, I'm finally, I'm finally agreeing with you, girl. We can't explain how the culprit prepared for their crime during the short time frame in the morning. So we can just assume by default that it took place at night. Yeah. That's almost nine hours. Would it really take them that long to prepare for the murder? Wait, did you look at the evidence, bro? That it was a pretty crazy murder. I'm not sure. They just need to prepare the hooks, the rope, the anesthetic, the wires, and that's all. I think. Girl, did you can look at the evidence? Right. None of you can possibly think that the culprit simply dragged Jerry up with just a rope. Uh, do you? Are you guys seriously that stupid? What would you do without me? Huh? Oh my gosh, she's definitely the girl boss of this game. Uh, I did think something was amiss <clears throat> when you began accusing Yoriko. Yeah, they definitely set up something to where it would just like pull automatically. I feel like it has something to do with the bell. Like, did the bell go off every day or something? I think so. You've been mistaken from the beginning. What are you talking about? The culprit didn't just drop Yuri to his death after dragging him up from the bell tower. Then, what else did they do? Oh, I see. It was so obvious that I almost missed it. In hindsight, it's clear. Let's see. Think. Yuri was short, but it's physically impossible for anyone to drag him hundreds of feet up to the bell tower. I doubt even Shinji could do it. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Daddy Moto. Why are people in the trial talking like Mitch? <laughs> I'm dead. They're just all Mitch Kinneys. Oh god, that's like my execution. <laughs> I'm dying off a game with nothing but Mitch Kinneys. And thank you, uh, Melodious, for becoming an Emilander. Thanks, guys, for the support. I appreciate it. Really? If you use a lever of sorts, it might be possible. Yes, it's possible. However, we were wrong in our initial assumption that the culprit was the one who pulled Gary up. Oh, is that the markings on the um, bell, maybe? That's probably the evidence that has to, like, solve it or whatever. Our initial assumption is wrong? So what? What's the problem? The culprit didn't pull Yuri up. They moved Yuri using another method. What method did they use? I've definitely seen something that can solve this. Oh! Oh no, not one of these again! No! Oh wait, never mind. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to do with the mini game, <laughs> the slash one again. Think, Sora. You've seen the evidence too. I can remind you if you don't remember. 
Okay. Minigame logic refresh is about to begin. Would you like to hear an explanation? Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, okay, that's good. Another one. Classmate is working to help you reach the right conclusion. Avoid their words in white and collect blue truth bullets. All three shields in the lower right corner, dissipating with result and damage to the focus gauge. Logic refresh, someone who supports your arguments. We'll give you hints to help you out. Okay. There are five lines similar to Rebuttal Showdown, and you can use the up and down arrow keys to switch lines. Okay. Is that at the bottom? Fiam? <laughs> Fiam? I, I don't know. Your supporter will say in their argument point by point, and your task is to avoid contact with their white statements. Okay. You will suffer damage when the midpoint of the comet in your line passes through the vertical line at the right. Sweet. I just don't want to highlight it when she's saying it, basically. Avoid their words and why it collect the truth bullet, blue truth bullets. These shields in the lower right corner dissipating what was old damage to the focus. Sheet. Okay, I see the, I see the things. Okay, reverse, reverse rebuttal, basically. <laughs> You'll suffer damage when the midpoint of a comet in your line passes through the vertical line on the right. I don't know if I totally understand what's saying here. Comet. On the other hand, blue truth bullets that appear in the midst of comets should be collected. So I'm trying, so am I shooting it down? Or am I just avoiding it? I think. On the other hand, blue truth bullets that appear in the midst of comments should be collected. Blue, tr blue truth bullets can be collected when their midpoints pass through the judgment line in the same line as you. So the judgment line, this thing right here, it's the judgment line, so, okay. Avoid the white words, avoid them. <laughs> it's like. This one's way easier, you'll get it. Let's see. We'll see about that. Truth bolts can get collected when their midpoints pass through the judgment line, same as you. I'll be shown the lower left corner. Unlike white text, you will take damage for failing to collect them. Okay, so I want to collect them. So I guess I press space or whatever. You'll proceed to the next step if um, you avoid text unless it's truth bullet. Okay, that makes sense. The next step if you collect all the truth bullets shown on the lower left of the screen. You must choose the most appropriate truth bullet for the present situation from the group of bullets you have collected. <laughs> Consent! Yay! After collecting the truth bullets, <laughs> Kasuna doesn't know what that word means. After collecting all the truth bullets, select one that applies to the question at hand. The minigame will start over if the wrong bullet is selected. You choose the correct bullet, your supporter will fire a truth bullet to you, and you'll clear the game with a cut in. Yay! Okay, your highlighter should be in the same lane as the truth bullets, not the regular stance. That's kind of what I thought too. It's like, it doesn't seem like I'm pressing anything. And an incorrect choice will not only damage your focus gauge, but it will also deduct points from your score and restart the minigame, so do be careful. I think I get it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> White text good, blue text. Oh wait, no. White text bad, blue text good. Yuri was dragged to the top of the tower at a great speed. This is an impossible feat for a regular person to accomplish. Okay. How was the culprit able to achieve this? The speed in which Yuri was dragged up indicates something was pulling him down from the other side, don't you think? And you didn't find anyone on the top of the bell tower, so therefore you can figure this out for yourself. Oh, fuck. Okay. <gasps> Whew! Almost didn't get that one. Marks in the bell tower. Wait, marks in the bell tower, right? Really? No! Not the marks in the bell tower? What was the other one? Shit. What was the other one? I feel like the other one. I just assumed that was it, man. Tethered life jacket. Oh, tethered life jacket, maybe? I looked over. I guess it was that one, maybe? Hmm. Okay, well, at least I'm not too bad at the that part. Yuri was dragged to the top of the tower at a great speed. This is an impossible feat for a regular person to accomplish. This How is was the other life jacket able to achieve this? Tethered life jacket. The speed in which Yuri was dragged up indicates something was pulling him down from the other side, don't you think? And you didn't find anyone on the top of the bell tower. So therefore, you can figure this out for yourself, can't you? I have a timeline with this. Marks the bell tower, tethered life. Marks the bell tower. 
Okay, I guess it's this one? I agree with okay. that. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was the... I don't know, I just thought it had to do with the bell pulling her up. Oh well. Okay, save, please. Okay. It's possible that Yuri second. wasn't dragged up by the culprit. Maybe I'll make the, uh... I'll change it back to 60 seconds. Wait, come on. There we go. I'll change it back to 60 seconds for a little bit. It's kind of like not showing up for a second for me. Okay. It's possible Yuri wasn't dragged up by the culprit. It's more logical to think that he was pulled up in reaction to something else. <laughs> You're now Kokoro's girlfriend. I am okay with that. What are you talking about? Oh, so the other person put on the life jacket and then like got them hooked up so I could like, uh, hmm, maybe something like that. There was a hook stuck in Yuri's calf, which was attached to a long rope. Okay, so I guess probably the killer had the uh, life jacket on and that was what, we what did it. We thought that someone pulled Yuri up by that rope, but... That makes sense. They just kind of like use their body as like leverage. If you think about it, it's physically impossible for someone to do that on their own. Yeah, it's pretty high up. Huh? Are you sure? Furthermore, I discovered something with Setsuka earlier. Oh, you're talking about the life jacket, aren't you? Yes. Someone had left it hidden outside of the bell tower. I like that minigame, though. It's like a lot more, uh... <laughs> it was a lot more, uh... A lot more chill. We found the same kind the of hook one. that was stuck in Yuri's calf embedded into the life jacket. Mm. And that hook was attached to a rope. However, the end was cut off. So, what does that mean? Oh! So in other words, Yuri was connected to the life jacket by the hooked end of the rope. Yeah. If the culprit jumped down from the bell tower while wearing the life jacket, Yuri would be pulled by the other end. Seems kind of dangerous for them to do, too. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, whoa, no way. Thank you, Michelle, for becoming an Omelander. Exactly. That's what the culprit did. Wait, I don't get it. So why was Ruko at the top of the bell tower? Somebody was trying to frame her. Well, according to Yuriko, she was attacked and found herself unconscious, and then awoke at the top of the bell tower. When Yuki and I met Yuri on the first floor, the culprit must have been waiting for us at the top of the bell tower, along with the unconscious Yuriko, of course. That explains why Miss Kabuya was the only one there when Miss Sora and Mr. Maeda arrived. Okay. She was a red herring. The real culprit couldn't have been there. Yes, that is so true. She would have never done this. Guys, I told you, she would never slay. She would never slay. After all, <laughs> they were already outside the bell tower when Mr. Kagarin was pulled up. <laughs> the science lesson with Yuki. He said it's so weird. It was just like, oh, no way. Oh, one reaction always has an opposite reaction. Whoa, the seesaw effect. Oh my god, dead. After all, there was already... We were there, they were already outside the bell tower when Miss Kagarin was it pulled up. It makes sense in theory. But I don't think he'd be able to be pulled up so easily. Why not? There's tons of other factors involved, like friction and whatnot. Sora, do you remember the bell ringing as Yuri was being pulled up? Yeah. Yes, and now I think I know why. Yuri was pulled up as the culprit jumped down, and his body must have hit the bell. And the evidence that proves that is... <laughs> Uh, I think it's the marks on the bell this time, right? Right. <laughs> Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> the culprit threaded the rope through the hanging bell and used it as a fulcrum. Still haven't done the um, other wire thing yet. That's like one of the last ones besides the water, I think. I can't draw that well, but I'll draw you a picture to illustrate. Ah, uh, Sora draws. Aloha. May I borrow your sketchbook? Oh my goodness. I feel like it's gonna be terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ultimate artist. I think we figured out her talent, guys. <laughs> think we figured it out, baby. This is how the culprit did it. As you all know, the hole in the top of the bell is very small. Small enough that the hook can't pass through it. I suspect that the culprit attached the hooks after first threading the rope through the hole. That's really high up. How is that even possible? Oh, well, I get it, but... Sora, your drawings could use some improvement. Um, excuse you. Wait. How 
did the culprit adjust the length of the rope? It sounds simple in theory, but they could have easily fallen to their death if they'd miscalculated. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, that's pretty dangerous, uh, dangerous setup. I believe they practiced it beforehand. If you look at the marks on the bell, they don't look shallow enough to have been made by a single attempt. I always think it'd be cute if like her art was like really cute. She said like <laughs> little bunnies and like kitties drawn in it too. It's like, did you really need to draw the bunnies and the kitties? Yes, it's very important. Very, very valuable to the case. That would be like me if I drew it. Pick the marks of the bell. They don't look shallow enough to have been made by a single attempt. Okay. Don't look shallow enough. So Are multiple you proposing times. that the culprit practiced this act many times before committing the actual crime? <laughs> Dang. Yes. The hooks that were connected to Yuri couldn't have passed through the hole in the bell, so the culprit wouldn't fall. Okay. Oh, man. The marks on the bell are probably from the friction caused by the rope. Okay. And also from the metal hooks scraping against the bell. After the culprit used the correct rope length to reach the surface, they could cut the end of the rope attached to the life jacket. And Yuri would fall to the ground due to the shifting weight and balance. Okay. This is the truth of the crime scene that Yuki and I witnessed. Wait a moment. Even if the culprit accounted for the length of the rope, the bell tower is far too tall. If they fell while hanging from just a life jacket with a hook, the force from the landing would dislocate their shoulders. Hmm. And Tescanati says the culprit would be severely injured without anything to cushion the impact. Something to cushion the impact. Is that why the culprit installed that object? The stuff on the walls? Really? I don't know. That object is... I don't know. <laughs> Broken wires. As used in the tower, there are cut wires along the walls, various heights. The culprit probably set these wires using the stairs and pulled Yuri up to the tower to cut him using them. But why spend the time setting up these wires if they were just going to drop him to his death? I guess it's... Uh, I don't think we've done the spiral staircase either, right? We've done all this. We've done Shinji's. No, we did Shinji's, yeah. We did all their accounts, I think. Uh, I can't remember if she actually did hers account. I think it probably is the wires then, right? Broken wires. First floor. The stairs are the only way to get the to top since the tower's quite tall. It takes at least a few minutes to get to the top, no matter how fast they are. Whatever the culprit did on the top floor when they did it. So I can see they got up with the staircase. I think it's this. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Not really. Emma was wondering why the culprit would go through all the trouble of setting up those wires. Because, yeah, I thought it was just to cut him on the way down, you know, to, like, make sure he was dead. But I guess it makes sense if it has, like, another meaning to it than just, you know, being cruel. The answer to Kanadi's question is probably the broken wires. The broken wires? Yuri was cut by the wires as he was dragged up at a high speed. The resulting friction in the process may have had the effect of cushioning the impact. Now I get it. The wires weren't meant to kill Yuri, but rather to lessen the impact of the fall. Okay. This explains why the culprit went through the tedious work of setting up those wires. Okay, here I thought they were just a douche. <laughs> Without a doubt. Um, there's something bothering me. It's okay, Roha. Just sit in your corner and draw, draw bunnies. If the wires were sharp enough to slice through flesh, why didn't they cut the rope? If it really was that sharp, it should have cut the rope attached to Yuri, too. Oh, that does make sense. That rope was made from special materials. It's a tough one from the mart that won't break unless you carefully cut through its padding. I thought it was cool, so I took note of it. Oh. I didn't expect it to be used in a murder, though. Aww. So, Ruko's not the culprit? Then who could have done it? That's what I've been telling you from the start. I'm a victim here, too. That's too bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I was so looking forward to your execution. I was like, wow, like a, a hostess execution? That's gonna be so dope. I guess we'll just have to try for chapter two, right? Right, Yoro? What? What do you mean that's too bad? <laughs> oh my god. Why does she hate her so much? Now we have to suspect everyone besides you as the culprit. And I like everyone besides you. Damn, this sucks. How are we supposed to narrow it down to the culprit now? Uh, I see. So we're back at the start? Not really. We did learn something from the previous discussion. The culprit should have been outside the monocruz during nighttime after they kidnapped Yuri. Huh? How do you know that? Think about it. If the culprit was able to do test runs to adjust the rope's length exactly as they needed, then they must have had enough time to do so. 
Being outside during nighttime with no one else but Yuri gives the culprit plenty of time to run trials without anyone finding out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, they definitely did it like all at night. Good point. Someone surely would have noticed the culprit if he was doing trial runs during daytime. <laughs> Not doing anything weird here, guys. Just gonna be jumping on and off of the sleigh tower. No, nothing weird. Furthermore, there was a prevailing misconception that no one could exit the monocruz during nighttime. I only just noticed that she has like a British accent. Maybe I should give her one and I think about it. I'm sure the culprit thought there would be a good time to test their plan. Yeah, I'm surprised that we still held that belief until now when people like Kokoro already knew that wasn't the case. <laughs> God, we're stupid. Well, I just stayed up all night once. Based on the previous discussion, we can infer that the culprit is a man. As we already know, a woman would have no reason to use such difficult methods. It's true that Mr. Kagarin's death would be automatically attributed to a woman due to his previous outburst. Yeah, I guess uh, they wanted to take advantage of that. That makes sense. So, should a man have committed the crime, the very act of murder itself would become his alibi. A rather clever ploy, I must admit. Much more clever than Mitch's idea. <laughs> Did you guys see that shit? Oh, that was fucking crazy. So now that we know that, we can just narrow it down from all the guys here, right? In that case, we already know the culprit. It's either Mikiro or Shobai. It's okay, Shinji. <laughs> it's okay, you're cute, so I forgive I forgive you for being a little a little dumb. Shobai doesn't have an alibi, and Mikiro's the mastermind. <laughs> oh, Mikiro? Is it Mikiro, not Mikado? No, but then that doesn't sound like avocado. I have to get rid of his nickname. <laughs> Please do not forget my sincere wish for a class trial free of prejudice. <laughs> I am being bullied once again. Isn't that right, Ducky Chan? <laughs> You're the only one who gets me. It should be unquestionably clear that I'm giving it my all to unveil the truth. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> fucking dead. <laughs> Ashoe is helping too in his own way. I was getting boring. We be kept failing at like mini games and shit. I was like, I'm just gonna take a nap. Mm. Huh. Still not over. You must be crazy. <laughs> Our lives are at stake right now, and you just dozed off. Hey, you've got all you need. I know the whole story, but you guys don't need my help to figure it out. Uh, so when you're saying that, uh. He was saying it wrong on purpose. I guess it makes sense since Shinji's maybe not the brightest. The culprit would have, have to be much heavier than Yuri to lift him so fast. That excludes someone light like Aroha or Yuki. Yeah, for sure. I could definitely see that too. <laughs> Poor Mikado. He's being he's being bullied just because he's the mastermind that put them in the killing game. Thanks for the donation, by the way. I haven't been getting a lot of <laughs> sleep lately. Wake me up. <sighs> When it's over. I spent a lot of time jumping from the bell tower last night, so you know I didn't give a, get a lot of sleep. <laughs> That's not suspicious at all, homie. He's insane. Anyways, <laughs> Shobai or Mikado being the culprit seems unlikely, big bro. It big bro. The culprit must have stayed late at the party last night to kidnap Yuri. Oh, they both they both left, right? But neither Mikado or Shobai were included in that group. Uh, but you know, can't Mikado use magic? Just use magic to appear there, man! You've seen him flying around like nothing. Kidnapping Yuri with those abilities would be a piece of cake! <laughs> I may be as o OP as shit, but come on, man. Nox's second law. All supernatural and preternatural agencies are ruled out as a matter of course. Uh, what the heck is that? An absolute code of logic in detective fiction that cannot be violated. It forbids supernatural or unrealistic phenomena from interfering with murders. Okay, I was kind of wondering if he could be... If he was like able to use that stuff or not. Oh, I know that. Isn't it from Umi <gasps> Neko when they cry? Oh, I need to play that game too, actually. I like Higurashi, but I haven't played Umi Neko. I give you my most sincere, emphatic vow that I do not use my magic for matters relating to murder cases. I was actually thinking about maybe playing that as one of the one of the games after I beat this, maybe. But I still gotta play uh, Laps too. Snaggles Dex to Daddy Show by Amon. <laughs> down bad, guys. <laughs> Y'all are all so down bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Thanks for donation. But yeah, I heard Umineko is really good. I think it's like a murder mystery kind of thing too. It's uh, it seemed like it would probably be something I would uh like. I'm not sure I get it, but how can you be so sure? Do you really think we'd ever believe the word of the mastermind? <laughs> it seems I am left with little choice. I will have to have Ducky Chen vouch for me. Come out, Ducky Chen. Monica, I humbly request uh. that you add a new rule. Mikado Sanoji cannot use magic for any purpose relating to a murder case. Hmm? 
Are you sure about that rule? <laughs> Come on, man. That takes out some of the fun. Yeah, I've heard really good things about laps. So I definitely want to try that out. I'll probably try that one out next. <clears throat> that was my plan, at least. Kenji is so smart. I love him so much. Stan a bi king. Oh, is he bi? It'd be cool if he was confirmed by it. Oh, I see you have the bi flag actually as your uh, backdrop. Oh, that's cute. I love Shinji. He's so freaking cute. I don't know if he's super smart, but I support him regardless. <laughs> I support him regardless and I love him for it. Thanks for the donation. Absolutely. I've already resolved to seal my magic. <clears throat> And its very existence seems to be a hindrance to the natural progression of this tribe. Everyone's just gonna blame me! I wish to use this opportunity to clarify my position within this killing game. Thank you, Flava. Justice for the mastermind. Mikado did nothing wrong. So true, bestie! He just wanted to host a killing game. Is that so- is that so wrong? Roha's the fandom reference girl, like Samugi. Oh, that's cool! Thanks for the donations, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was kind of cool that she said a reference. Very well. The regulations will be updated once the trial is over. Oh, Higakuma, Luca, oh, Luke Alfie. Weeby, please play Mineko. It's a masterpiece, my fave. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I really like Higurashi. I've only seen the anime, but uh, I did like Higurashi a lot, so I've been meaning to check out Umineko. I just haven't gotten around to it. I think especially because I think the anime might have had, like, more mixed reviews, but I heard the game was really good. Mikado Sanoji cannot use magic for any purpose relating to a murder case. As a reminder, the penalty will be execution should you fail to comply. Oh, dang. I understand completely. You have my deepest gratitude. So, so Mikado can't be the culprit. Why are you trying to make this problem <laughs> harder than it is? Can you just stop talking, please? Please? The answer is already out. There's a suspicious individual who satisfies every condition. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the guy I'm thinking of. I think it's probably Hajime, because he seems to have, like, because I think they said that everybody else was in the dining room, too, like, when um, Yuruko would have been, like, bonked and uh, drugged and all. I guess she was actually drugged, not bonked. I just like saying bonked. It's just fun to say. Bless Crow, didn't Mikado slay Rei? I... Um, I believe I remember him buying her a passport and tickets to Mexico, all fees included, to a resort um, in Cancun. So, like, I don't remember that. I don't remember him slaying. I remember the Mexico trip buying. So he did nothing wrong. We, I forgive him. I forgive him. He just wanted Ray and Teria to enjoy a romantic vacation in Mexico together. And can we blame him for that? Like, it's okay. It's totally good. Totally check out Laps. It's only 10 hours in total, but it's another really good fan gan. I posted about two characters from there on the server. Yeah, I noticed that too. Epta, you're definitely one of the people that's uh, made me want to check out Laps because you uh, have been really passionate about it. It's only 10 hours long too. Wow. Man, it's going to be done in a couple streams. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Okay. Haja Mitch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I think it probably is him because yeah, he's the one who meets all the conditions and then like, I feel like even an extra condition we haven't even like talked about with the two to conclude <laughs> hopefully ho well i don't know i don't want to judge him too hard yet he he might uh he might be trauma trauma dumping on us he might have a good reason for it but yeah who the answer is already out there's suspicious individual who satisfies every condition huh? come on guys huh you spoke about the conditions to be the culprit beforehand think it over the individual you refer to is in plain sight Conditions to be the culprit. The conditions that we brought up were the culprit was among those who stayed late at yesterday's party. Yep. The culprit was also part of the group that prepared the party. Yep. Additionally, we figured out that the culprit is a man while discussing the life vest and the murder rehearsals. Yep. The man who stayed late last night and helped prepare the party. Let's list them one by one. The group that stayed up late was. Setsuka, Hajime, Shinji. I thought I was gonna make me say it. I was like, I do not, I do not remember. I do not remember who each person was. Exactly. Oh, not Hajime, my suburban soccer mom looking boy. No, it can't be him. We'll see, we'll see. Thanks for the donation. But it got, it's kind of seeming like it's him. Setsuka, Hajime, Shinji, Yuri, Emma, Yuruko. Yeah, so out of those, it's just Hajime and uh, Shinji, right? Yeah. The group that prepared the party was Setsuka, Hajime, Yuko, Mikado, Yuruko, and myself. Yeah, Hajime is literally the only person in both of those. Then could the culprit be... <laughs> it's not fair, they don't even have Mitch as an option. How am I supposed to choose the correct person when they don't even have Mitch? <laughs> oh my god, he's probably hiding underneath the podium. It's gotta, it's gotta be that, guys. It's gotta be that. <laughs> 
I kind of love it if I just chose Mikado as like a as a meme. It's gotta be. I wasn't even in either of those groups, you bitch. I'm sorry, homie. It's just it's kind of lame that they like trick you. They don't even list Mitch as a culprit when he's so obviously the culprit. It's like I can't even choose him. It can only be sorry. you. Sorry, Haja Mitch. <laughs> Was it you? Oh god, he did the same the same same shit as Mitch too. The guys, it has to it has to be a girl, guys. There's no way. There's no way it can be. Are you Mitch in disguise? Are you really maybe Mitch in disguise? Was it you, Haja May? Or should I say, Haja Mitch? It's like, oh no, damn it. Weeby, I just loved you so much. I came back. I came back for you, baby, in the second game. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm just kidding. Hajime, he might he might be okay. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad comparing anybody to Mitch, honestly, because Mitch is just so bad. <laughs> but Mitch is already an option. You just chose him. Oh, you're saying bitch is actually Hajime in disguise. Haja, Haja bitch. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Hajime Makinochi. Oh, I know. I was going to make Shinji sad, though, because they're like besties. <laughs> Trial suspended. Oh, really? Is that... Are we really just halfway through it? Oh my gosh. I was like, I feel like, I feel like we're basically at the end of it. Beauty like, handbook. Let's just go ahead and save. Like, what do we, what evidence do we have left? Just like the uh, alcohol, I think? I thought I heard a noise of some sort. I was like, I don't think we really have anything else besides a uh, spiral staircase. And then, I think that, right? I think everything else we've done, so. Oh man, I didn't do any of his free time events. That sucks, man. Okay, Zoom trial. I do not want to do PTA, man. I suck. I'm so bad at PTA. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it you, Hajime? Oh, the non-broken wires? Do we, did we do that one yet? I guess we didn't do that one, right? Uh, what? Oh, wait a minute, Sora. Uh -huh. Do you think Hajime's the culprit? I don't want this to break Shinji. There's nobody aside from Hajime that meets all the conditions to be the culprit. He helped prepare the party and stayed late to drink with Yuri. Mm. He's the only one who was in both groups and is a man as well. Oh, uh, didn't I say it can't be a man? Oh. Uh -huh. Come on, dude. I have been suspecting Hachime since the beginning. Okay, so that was who you thought too. How'd you know right off the bat? I'm a genius. You will remember my question at the start of the investigation. Even Yasification can't fix Mitch. No! <laughs> he seems so much more likable, man. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I asked, how do you feel about this murder? Ah, yes. But how is that relevant? I can figure out whether a person is lying or not just by hearing them talk. I was like, man, her power seems really... Her, like, talent seems so, like... <sighs> so powerful in this game. Like, she's just like, yep, I know exactly when they're lying or not. I'm like an eye... <laughs> a walking lie detector. What? So you knew Hajime was the culprit just from that one question? But yeah, I guess people probably aren't gonna believe her too often. She should have said at the beginning, though, so we would be like, oh yeah, she guessed it right the first time, so she probably knows what she's talking about. Miss Mitsume. That sounds like an even more magical ability than my own spells. I hope people don't target her. I cannot be completely sure of my deduction, naturally. But were I to narrow down my suspects, however... Granted, in Danganronpa, people don't generally, like, kill the smart. They're like, Chiaki, who solves all the murders, or, like, uh... Or Sionji. Hmm, who should I kill? Hmm. Hmm. I can figure out the answer by simply comparing the evidence to each suspect. From that, my deduction is that... Man, if Mikan really would have just killed, like, Hajime and Chiaki instead of, uh, Ibuki and Sionji, like, I feel like she could have maybe gotten away with it. Okay, is Hajime Makunobchi. Then Yuri's murderer, the person that attacked me, it was all him? Hey, hold on yeah. a damn second! Why am I the culprit all of a sudden? Don't you remember? I may fit the bill, but that doesn't change the fact that I was drunk. Okay. How do we prove that he had the uh, water one, though? The only person who wasn't drunk was Yoruko. Don't tell me you all forgot about that. Y yeah, that's true, but... Yoruko was the only sober person at the party. 
And even she agrees I was drunk. Hmm. How could I possibly have killed Yuri? You all said the culprit made serious preparations. Stuff like trial runs. Wouldn't that be impossible to do if you're drunk? Are you guys really accusing me as the culprit? Just because <laughs> I fit your little conditions? Just because I'm the most suspicious person here and I'm the only person that fits all the conditions? Come on! Because if you are, I'm about to get really mad. Oh, thank you, Rixer, for becoming a Sodanist. <laughs> nice. Now, if we assume that Hajime is the culprit, every puzzle fits right into place. I suppose we should discuss just how those pieces fit as our next discussion. Do do do. Weeby, I hate Mitch. Also, Weeby, all mod Mitch. <laughs> you're the you're the cool Mitch, okay? You're the cool Mitch. That's all that. That's what really matters. <laughs> There's two Mitches in my eyes. The cool Mitch, the, the lame Mitch. Out their crimes while drunk. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. So oh, yeah. they must have been someone who didn't consume alcohol. Right! Oh. There's no way Hajime's the culprit. Shinji. No. Please make judgments based on logic, not your friendship. There's plenty of reasons why Hajime is suspicious. I am finally... No matter how suspicious I am, I couldn't have done anything while I was drunk. Ask Yoriko and check yourself. What Hajime just said is true. Including Hajime, everyone who stayed to enjoy the party last night were completely drunk. Except me, of course. Are you sure about that? Did you somehow check their blood alcohol content? You do know you can tell if someone's drunk without checking that, right? Okay. I think probably, like Nadi said earlier, there are other reasons why Hajime is suspicious. Listen to what he says and look for a way to refute his argument. Okay, so I'm probably supposed to review, refute him. Okay. I think, I'm pretty sure it's leftover battles, right? The culprit couldn't have planned out their crimes while drunk. Was so they must have been someone who didn't consume alcohol. Right! There's no way Hajime. Shinji. Please, there's plenty of reasons why Hajime is suspicious. Ask Yoriko and check yourself. What Hajime just said is true. Including Hajime, everyone who stayed to enjoy the party last night were completely drunk. Except me, of course. Are you sure about that? Did you somehow check their blood alcohol content? You do know you can- Yeah, you know, I was like, you can definitely very easily pretend to be drunk. Okay, this is very- I was like, am I really supposed to refute his? I was kind of thinking I was going to have to refute um, Ryuko's, because I feel like that kind of makes more sense, but I feel like it's trying to tell me to do Hajime. <laughs> so whatever, I guess I'll just do uh, Hajime's. Let me, I want to read the leftover bottles thing. I just get paranoid, guys. I just get paranoid, man. Okay. Uh, empty and semi-filled bottles of liquor from last night. Looks like they were left behind a group that stayed. Looks like some of them are filled with water. Was it because someone wanted to have some water in between drinks? Or maybe... Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just try to do him first. This one he says, and I'll just try to do his Culprit first. Couldn't have planned out their crimes like while lying. drunk. So they must have been someone who didn't consume alcohol. It's highlighted, right? Okay. That doesn't sound right. Should concentrate and think. Okay, I just thought maybe he was implying that, but Culver whatever. Couldn't have planned out their crimes well, so they must have been someone who didn't consume alcohol. Right. No Shinji, please make judgment. There's plenty of reasons why. No matter how suspicious I am, I couldn't have done anything while I was drunk. Ask Yoriko and check yourself. Yes, it's Yoriko's. That's kind of what I thought in the first place. I feel like it was just what true. Sora was saying that. Do you think it was the other thing? Hajime, everyone Come on, okay. I was like, it's still highlighted, right? <laughs> nice! Okay, cool. It looks kind of like it was kind of off, but it's still highlighted, so I think it's good. Okay. <laughs> can never get a hundred in this game. <laughs> can never get a fucking hundred. Oh gosh, I gotta really focus on getting some stuff to help me out later. Everyone was completely drunk last night. I'm not so sure about that. Wait, Sora shares the same VA with Rissy from Shattered Hope. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, she has good range. What are you saying? I found these liquor bottles in the guest house, and some of them were filled with water. Water? At first, 
I thought it was mixed in during the whole mess of alcohol being brought to the party, but now that I think about it, it's possible that the culprit was just pretending to be drunk and drink water instead. <laughs> no way, impossible! <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't remember much because of my foggy memory. It'd be pretty easy to pretend to be drunk when like everybody around you was drunk too. Well, I guess um, you're always like the only one who wasn't. So I guess you'd have to pretend well in front of her, but everybody else would probably be pretty but easy. But are you saying that someone was just acting as if they were drunk? If Hajime was acting drunk during the party, he knew we would cross him off the suspect list. There's more to it than just that. I'm on the right track here. Something I heard earlier should further condemn Hajime. That something is... Uh... <laughs> um... So true, queen! Oh wait, is it Shinji's account that he left for a little bit? I don't think it's any of these, right? I think it's Shinji's account. I think so. Oh, he was waiting. He saw Yuruko. I think so, right? Just before nighttime, the remaining party goers made their way back to Rocky's. Then his own used the bathroom. We didn't go back with Yuruko. It's possible to try and pull up the target of Yuki. Okay, that was a fucking lie. <laughs> I think it's probably Shinji's account. Right, 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 right. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> did I click the right thing? I'm pretty sure I did, right? Let me double check. Oh yeah, it's not Shinji's account. We haven't done the staircase yet, right? That was a lie, so why would that even be anything? Oh, is it the bottles? I guess it could be... I was like, I already I did the bottles for the last one. I clicked the right one. <laughs> Apparently I didn't, man! <laughs> Gotta go, Weeby, have fun, and see you next Sunday. Aw, oh, thank you. Appreciate uh, you coming for the stream. Maybe it is the leftover bottles again. What? <laughs> I'm further condemn Hajime. It's <laughs> okay. What? I don't feel like she had anything really, um... I mean, remaining cargo is drunkly made their way. Maybe her account? Is it Kanade's? Kanade said this could be scale. Apparently, you control the link. Since it's found a way, no. Maybe Yuriko's account? Got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Yuriko, do okay. you remember what you told me earlier? You said Yuri left to go to the washroom before you all went back to the monocruise. Yes, I did. Didn't you also say that someone else left with Yuri at that time? You said you couldn't remember who that someone was. Oh. But do you think that person could have been Hajime? Okay, I forgot about that. How'd she forget that, man? Huh? Uh, give me a second to think. Well, um... Wait, I think I remember. That person told us to go ahead while he took Riri to the washroom. Man, he really just thought nobody was gonna remember that? <laughs> they told us they'd follow us back right after. They had blonde hair and bulky muscles. Oh my god. It was Mac! <laughs> hmm. It was Mitch! No, no, wait, no, wrong game, wrong game, wrong game. Yes, I believe it was. I wasn't paying much attention back then because I was under the influence. I'm kind of surprised Yuriko didn't remember that. The thought that a murder would occur had hardly crossed my mind that night. You both remember? Jeez, why can't I remember? Care to drug her or something? Even the drunk people remember what happened. Why couldn't you, Yoriko? <laughs> she hates her, man! Because your brain has more air bubbles than last night's booze. Oh my god! Girl, why do you hate her so bad? Uh, I can't take note of everything while I'm completely absorbed in taking care of drunk people. I guess that makes sense. She's like the DD, so she has to take care of everybody. Why are you being so harsh with me? I know, for real, dude. She hates her. Because your bad memory frustrates me. Like, you're just so fucking stupid. How do you remember? We could have pinned down the culprit much faster than we did. <laughs> I'm totally gonna kill you next next chapter, okay? But thanks to the testimonies from the others, I think we had got the culprit set in stone. Damn. 
<laughs> I guess like I do kind of see where she's coming from, but man, she was just so so Harry eager. must have been completely drunk. He couldn't even walk on his own. In fact, wouldn't he nearly be out cold, considering the fact that he didn't refuse help from a man like Hajime? Oh yeah, geez, that's true actually. I could not imagine him accepting help from a man. So Hajime lied about Yuri going to the washroom and left off with him, then never came back to the mono cruise. Okay. Uh -oh. Guys, there's a lot of other tan buff blonde guys in this killing game. I don't know if I should totally be suspected just yet. Considering Hajime as the culprit allows everything we've talked about so far to make perfect sense. Hajime, did you really murder Yuri? Gonna go on his aho moment. I'll extinguish oh no! No, Shinji, come on, please, bro. Wait! Oh. Please! Uh, Hajime's the culprit? That can't be right! Homie, it, it, it seems like it's pretty right, homie. Oh, no. Hajime has an alibi. Please, Ugh. let me explain. Dude, you're the one who said he left. I know fighting with words isn't my thing, but, but I'll have to do it to fight you, Sora. <laughs> Please don't go Ishimaru on me. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn you. Okay, I think it was S for this one. Spiral staircase. Hajime and I go jogging oh every morning. Oh my god. Okay. Let me pause it for a second. I need to take my. <laughs> Whew! How do I. I think I do. I think it's shift, right? Yeah, I think it's shift to go through. Okay. I'm just like. Let me try to take a second to breathe before I do this. Because I hate this mini game so much. I hate it so much! Okay. Okay, I'm like, S, let me just try to figure out how to... Okay, it's okay, it's okay, Shinji. We can, we can do this. As always, I was oh waiting God. for him this morning. Like I said, while I was waiting, I saw Yoroki leaving the mono Hajime did arrive a little bit later than usual, but... Submitting murder what? in that small gap is impossible! Okay, what was my... I didn't get to see my, uh, thing. I have a spiral staircase. Um, I might just try to go through this once and see, uh, what, uh, <laughs> see what, um, let's see. <laughs> let's see what he says first, maybe that'll help me. He's a cool guy! He's a cool guy! <laughs> and he's so handsome. You can't blame him for that. <sighs> okay. Shinji, don't you think the fact that he arrived late itself rouses suspicion? Hey. Hajime is pretty strict about time as far as I know. Even if what you said is true, something about his actions are strange. Yes. Hey. This is the only one we haven't used yet. It was like an anesthetic solution, spiral, staircase, and uh, the calf stab wounds, right? I don't think it would be that one. So they were definitely on top of the floor when they did it. Oh, okay, so I think it's the five minutes that's gonna make it, right? The stairs are the only way to get the top since the tower is quite tall. It'll take at least five minutes to get to the top, no matter how fast they are. Whatever the culprit did, they were definitely on top floor when they did it, so we can assume they got up with the staircase. So I think that's gonna line up with when Hajime left, I think. He's in Delulu land, I'll pay for his therapy. <laughs> You're gonna need to. You're gonna need to. Oh my god, Monkey. Me next, it's all me next, Kanade, please. <laughs> Oh my god, down bad. Thanks guys for the donations. Oh, we haven't used calf wounds yet? I feel like we have. I feel like we have. Wait, let Shinji win this one. I'm sorry, but he's too to Lulu. I can't, I can't let him win this one, guys. I probably accidentally let him win it anyway. Wouldn't have returned in time to meet with us. I'll hear those words. Oh, slay! <laughs> slay! Whew! 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 Ah, 100 points! Finally! Finally, I did it! Finally! Oh, it's a slay moment right there. I'm not looking forward to PTA, though. Sorry, Shinji. Hajime actually could have easily made it back in time. The body discovery announcement was made some time after Yuri's death. What? Of course. The announcement is only made when three or more people discover the body. Mm. 
There was no announcement when Sora and I saw Yuri's corpse. Okay. Monaco announced the discovery only after we ran to the top and met Yoriko and she also saw the body. So, did it go something like this? From Yuri's death to the body discovery announcement? Okay. The culprit had extra time to move around while Sora and Yuki climbed up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> As everyone who used the stairs during the investigation knows, it takes at least five minutes to get to the top. Yeah. Of course, the culprit was able to quickly get down safely by jumping off the tower using his fulcrum mechanism. Okay, that makes sense. So while they were going up, he was able to jump down. Oh man, that's smart, man. He's a lot smarter than Mitch, for sure. This is a small island. If you run fast enough from the bell tower to the Mona Cruise, wouldn't it be possible to meet with everyone else at the dining hall before the announcement? Then... Wait... But didn't Shinji say he went jogging with Hajime? Yeah, he didn't show up though, right? Yuri died at 7.30 a.m. If they went jogging together right after the morning announcement, how did Hajime kill Yuri? Shinji and I briefly parted ways while jogging. Oh man, we gotta use Shinji's words against him, that's so sad. But that was just to get your crow card that you left at the guest house, right? Right, bro, you wouldn't do anything wrong, bro, right? And even that didn't take more than 10 minutes! Executing this whole murder plan in such a short time isn't possible. There's one thing that keeps bothering me. Do we agree that the culprit attacked Yuko right after the door opened, and then they carried her to the top of the tower? Man, I gotta start memorizing her, uh, her nicknames. If so, they attacked Yuko and moved her to the bell tower at 7 o'clock on the dime. That is pretty quick. Returned to the monocruise and met with Shin, started jog parted with him, and went to the top of the tower again. That is pretty epic, man. Check that you and Rabar were there and murdered Riri by jumping off. <laughs> Jesus, that does sound like a really, uh, really overcomplicated plan now that I think about it. Dealt with the rope and the life vest and then came back to the Monocruz. So it's like, yes. Oh, thank you, Onyx Gilbert. Danganronpa, yes. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> Thanks All for the donation. such a short period of time? Shinji, at what time did you meet with Hajime this morning? Well... It was around 7.15 a.m. Okay, so yeah, time to kind of do that. Even if we say the culprit ambushed Yoriko at 7 a.m. Five minutes to run to the tower, five minutes to rush up the stairs, five minutes to rush back down, five minutes back to the cruise, there just wouldn't be enough time, even if Hajime buffed up his strength somehow. Oh, there'd be enough time, all right. All you have to do is remove a step, and all the pieces fit perfectly into place. I guess just going up the tower. Remove a step? Were the stairs the only way down? No. They could have slid down the rope. As if you were riding an elevator. Yeah, I thought we kind of already uh, established that. Didn't he already adjust their rope length for that? Oh. That makes sense. Yeah, the wires and stuff too. But wasn't the rope that connected to the life vest also connected to Yuri's body? Yuri died at 7.30 a.m. But if he rode the rope at that time, he would have killed Yuri after jumping. That's still a problem. You just had to get rid of the rope's connection with Yuri. Hachime could have simply yanked up the hook from Yuri's calf while he was carrying Yoriko to the top. Hmm. Okay. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Not a lot of people wander outside in the morning. And Hashime would be the first person to enter the bell tower. I <laughs> love that response. <laughs> it's like, you guys want me to go into extreme detail about how he <laughs> inserted the hook and took it out and how bloody and gory it was? <laughs> Vicky, oh my god. Thank you, Tyler, for becoming a uh, Omelander. Utsuro, please step on me. Down bad. <laughs> this whole chat is so down bad. Wouldn't everything be solved if we assume that he put it back into Yuri's leg? That's right. There's another wound on Yuri's body. Must have been because of that. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that, right? I don't know if I totally get how it connects, to be totally honest, but we'll uh, go with it. The wound he has was... It was calf and there was like a on his leg, right? A huge stab mark in Yuri's right calf his leg. Calf was penetrated by the hook, but what could have caused the wound on this leg? Okay, so what got this it. Leg? The mysterious stab wound on Yuri's right calf. Kanadi's hypothesis would explain how that wound was created in the first place. Okay. Initially, the hook was in Yuri's right calf, but in order to save time after moving Yoriko to the top. The culprit used it as a mode of transportation. In other words, the culprit took out the hook from his right calf to move down, then hooked it back into Riri's left calf when he returned? Ew! I agree with the Vicky. After meeting with Shinji, 
The only thing left for him was to take his plan into action. Okay. So when he saw Yuki and Sora making their way to the top of the bell tower, he jumped down to kill Yuri. Damn, this is such a complex plan. Like, honestly, uh... It's a really good plan. Like, uh... I feel like he did a really good job. He basically has, like, an alibi. If it wasn't for, like, the party alibis, like, I feel like he would have a pretty solid, uh... Pretty solid, uh, you know, case Wait, or whatever. Laura. You said a while ago that the culprit used wires to slow the falling and cushion the impact. But if he used the rope before the murder, like you just said, doesn't that mean there was nothing to cushion the impact? Ah, uh, that's true. The wires cutting Yuri's body would break the fall when the culprit killed him. But if he jumped with nothing but a small hook on the other side, there wouldn't be anything to slow him down. Uh, isn't this a bit problematic? <laughs> problematic? <laughs> Time to get canceled. I remember Miss Little Sis saying anyone who fell from that height would get their shoulders crushed. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a problem this time. Okay. I know this sounds like I'm contradicting my own words, but... Kanani is really helpful in trials. I gotta say, so far. She, she a little crazy, but you know, she does seem really smart. Unlike back then, we know for sure who the culprit is. The culprit? Are you speaking of Hajime? Earlier, I said anyone would end up with a shoulder injury because I didn't know who the culprit was. Okay, because he's like, cool. But Hajime's the ultimate boxer. Wouldn't he be able to withstand some degree of impact with his great physique? Oh, kind of connects to the Dying Rope another one, too, since it's like, it has to do with the talent. After all, no one cares more about their health than he does. The life vest also would have absorbed some of the impact, right? <laughs> but doesn't that sound a bit unrealistic? It's talking around, but don't think about it too much. And even if he could survive the fall, that doesn't explain why he would bother setting up those wires. Why waste time preparing a braking system when you can just endure the impact in the first place? In your opinion, whom amongst us would possess the fortitude necessary to pull off such a feat? Huh? Well, based on pure muscle, I guess Hachime would break bro. Do you see? The list of potential culprits has instantaneously been reduced to two individuals. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I get it. The fact that they were set up could be so the culprit could use their existence as an alibi. Hmm. If there weren't any breaks, the second that jumping trick was revealed, our first question would obviously be, who could endure the impact? Exactly. Of course, he also might have still needed a safety device to lessen the pain of the full impact. Oh, thank you, Boxin. Maybe the real Mitch was the friends we made along the way. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. The real enemy is more like it. Thanks for the donation, though. I appreciate it. Regardless of whether or not Hajime ended up enduring the impact, it's a definitive truth that the culprit jumped twice from the top of the bell tower, and therefore our conclusion would also be correct. Oh, for a second, maybe they were trying to say he was, like, somewhat framing, uh, somewhat framing Shinji, but I don't think so. Perhaps we should also examine Hajime's shoulders and see if we find any other condemning Ooh, evidence. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, the culprit would have had plenty of time at night to estimate the strength of the impact through experimentation. Oh my god. If I may interject, Yuki stated that he received a message from Yuri asking for assistance, but the existence of this correspondence in itself is extremely suspicious. Yuri, with his acute misinjury, Reaching out to another man on the verge of his own death, is it not a natural? Most certainly. Yuki even said that Yuri was delighted at the idea of being killed by a woman. Yeah, he was a little weirdo, huh? It's definitely not the attitude of someone who would ask for help, if such a thing had actually happened. The message was probably sent to Yuki by Hajime, using Yuri E Handbook Plus to create an alibi. Yeah, I was kind of wondering when we were going to finally talk about this. That way. He'd be able to make whoever witnessed the murder scene run up to the top of the tower to catch the culprit. Yep, that's a good plan. Now though. I see why he used a syringe with measurements on it to inject the anesthetic. It was to make sure that Yuri woke up the second Sora and I got to the tower. Wow, did he really plan all that too? So, Jimmy was really thinking that far ahead when he planned the murder? Jimmy? <laughs> What's that nickname? Hey! Why are you all so confident that Hajime's the culprit? It's okay, Shinji. Just stay to Lulu. So the culprit set up wires not only to cushion the impact, but to confuse us and set up an alibi. As long as you don't go full Ishimari mode. And then he used the rope to move down. I'd say that theory checks out. But why did he put the hook in Yuri's leg and then take it back out? He could have gone down the tower with the rope first and then put it in his leg. Could it be, perchance, that Miss Kabuya's interference threw a wrench into the culprit's machinations? Oh. Threw a wrench? 
Allow me to explain my reasoning. Being unable to enter the Monocruise once the slumbering hours occurred, the culprit was left with no option but to wait until morning. Therefore, it was crucial that they board the ship the moment the gates opened so they could play the part of the innocent. <laughs> Everybody gets the Jimmy part. I was like, what kind of nickname is that, man? Ha, Jimmy. <laughs> I was like, that came out of nowhere. It's like, I'm just going to give you a, a pet name right now. Now that we know you murdered somebody. I mean, it was Yuri, so who cares? <laughs> it's like, I was getting sick of him hitting on me anyway, so, you know. I'm just kidding. I love Yuri, by the way. <laughs> I'm just memeing when I but say that stuff. But, Kabuya stated that she exited the monocruise the instant the gates opened. Oh, that makes sense. I wasn't actually planning on framing her. It just kind of worked out to where he had to. Perhaps the two had a fateful encounter. Thus, the culprit had no choice but to ambush her in order to eliminate any possibility of her going to the bell tower. It would have completely jeopardized his carefully laid out plans, after all. I agree with Mikado. If you think about it, jumping off the top of the bell tower like that without anything to cushion your fall was just insane. It would have been a risky gamble. Even for Hajime, he wouldn't have done it unless he was forced to due to some hmm. outside interference. Okay, so she was the one that kind of uh, messed up his plan. But, like, why did Ruko even go out that early in the morning? It makes her super suspicious, you know? <laughs> Can I just like, um... Quiet, Ibiki. The grown-ups are talking right now. You don't even have to say anything. Ibiki, you daddy modo. I can't believe that Jimmy Neutron would do this. I know. I thought he was a good guy, man. I thought he was a good dude with all his little brain flat, brain blasts and stuff. It's like Jimmy, Mac, Mitch, and Jimmy Mac sitting in a tree. <laughs> what is up with all these nicknames for him, man? I told you already. Thanks for the donation, by the way, Jeff. I to get a head start on my investigation. With everyone's morale being boosted from the party, I felt motivated to really give it my all. But the murder made the whole thing pointless, of course. I trust you, wife. Well, I think we finally put all the pieces together. Is there anything we're missing, Hajime? I'm just so glad it's not Yuriko, honestly. I was, I was a little worried, man. Hey! Hajime! I still believe in you! Why are you just standing there? Tell them they're wrong! The Kaido vibes. <laughs> I still believe in you, bro. As he's getting executed. You didn't do it, man. I won't believe otherwise. Yeah. I admit, everything they've said seems to line up nicely. I'm not sure where to start. Maybe that's because you're guilty? <laughs> Even though I really wish it was Yuruko. That's enough! Don't you believe in your friends at all? You're all teaming up on me with weak, bullshit speculation. I like the idea of Hajime, like, in defense, he's like, guys, in defense, look at my abs. <laughs> he's just, like, the only one who has, like, his abs just straight up showing. Guys, 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 I have a, I have a very good argument. <laughs> Starts flexing. Hey, he's got a good point there. What do you think, sis? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think it's a good point. There's nothing else to say. Bro. Oh no, I was so scared. I hate this one. Video game Terminate Talk Shooting is about to- It was so hard in the last game, and I heard people saying it's even harder in this game. I'm just- I've been like, really, really nervous about it. Would you like to hear an explanation? Please, God. Shoot down the opponent's final art- Oh, you get to see his little art and stuff too. Cool. What a load of crap! Okay. Shoot down the opponent's final arguments. Difficulty rises every time a third of the opponent's health is depleted. <laughs> okay. Try shooting down the true feeling shown in. Trying to shoot down the true feeling shown in black will damage you. Oh. Okay. On the opponent's final. Okay, so he has like his true feelings. Damn it! Why they? <laughs> why they? Why are they accusing me? Oh god. Oh god. Everybody's saying that. Yeah, it's really hard. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Deep breaths. I'm in my happy place. I'm in my happy place. I'm in Mexico. Satsuki and Haru's wedding. Fuzzy rises every time the opponent's health is depleted. Try shooting the true feelings. Try to do that one will be bad. That's kind of cool though. I like that they added that. Decisive, decisive piece of evidence in order to defeat desperate opponent using irrational arguments to defend themselves. Before you can present evidence, you must break off the pieces of the opponent's armor one by one. The screen will display a total of eight lines and the opponent's argument will appear randomly on each line. Eight lines? Can't wait for Sora Protag switch to Hajime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's totally what it's gonna be, right? Oh, thank you, Soul Samurai. I appreciate I appreciate your confidence in me. Although I feel like it might be misplaced. The screen will display a total of eight lines, and the opponent's argument will appear randomly on each line. Move the cursor over a piece of dialogue and press Z to neutralize the opponent's argument. Can I do space too? I mostly just do space. Opponent's arguments have their own HP, which can be discerned by their color. Okay. The maximum HP is 5. The argument of HP with HP of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 will be displayed 
and gray. I'm not gonna remember that, man. <laughs> okay, gray, purple, blue, green, yellow, respectively. The clothes get stripped, really? You cannot move the cursor to the empty space in the middle. Lower screen will display your ammunition, which will decrease by one when you fire a bullet. You may reload by pressing shift, which has a short delay. No, I need Kazuna here. I miss her so much. I miss her so much, man. She saved my ass so much in the last game. I need to know who has that ability. You guys gotta tell, it's not a, spo it's not a spoiler if you tell me who has that ability. <laughs> So I can, so I can, uh, so I can have that for the next one, man. Occasionally, you will see a black argument on the screen. This opponent, this is the opponent's true feelings. Okay, true feelings are comments arising from the weaker parts of your opponent's heart. If you shoot them, you will take damage instantly. Should your opponent's true feeling arise, don't shoot and just let it fade on its own. After breaking all layers of your opponent's armor, you'll have an opportunity to press a final piece of evidence that will defeat your opponent. Okay, Hajime. Unusual. Wait. Unusual. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at this right now. Tell me why the hell I'm suspicious. For Hajime, for unusual. Unusual behavior for. Oh, unusual behavior for Hajime. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Can we practice this? Unusual behavior for Hajime. Okay, up, down, left, right. <laughs> you have opportunity to press final piece of evidence that will defeat your opponent. Oh, Setsuka has the ability? Okay, Queen. I'm going to hang out with you, girl. Use the correct arrow keys corresponding to the correct set of words to put together the evidence that will answer the given prompt. If you press them in the correct order, you'll deliver a decisive blow that'll destroy the last piece of your opponent's armor and clear the minigame. I feel like that last part, I always just like guess almost. <laughs> like, eh, 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 be on the bone last. <laughs> okay. Fair warning though, if you mess up the order, the final move even once, your opponent will regain some strength. You'll have to go back into their tirade. Oh no, I'm so scared! <laughs> Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Jimmy. What's the point? You've got no proof. Okay. Why are you suspecting me? That ain't convincing. I refuse to believe this. You guys really falling for this shit? Your logic is bullshit. You've got no evidence. Oh my god, no, 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 Okay, oh my god, okay. convincing. You've got no proof. Why are you suspecting me? I refuse to believe this! Your logic is bullshit! You've got no evidence! That ain't convincing! You guys really falling for this I shit? I refuse to believe this! What a load of crap! You've got no proof! Why are you suspecting me? Come on, bro. No, no! Okay, 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 okay. I refuse okay. to believe this! You guys really okay. falling for this Your shit? Your logic is bullshit! You've got no evidence! I like his voice acting. What's the point? That ain't convincing! You've oh my god, no! I totally fucked Why up there! You okay. Me? The guy's really falling for this shit! I refuse to believe this! The logic is bullshit! You've got no evidence! That ain't convincing! The guy's really falling for this shit! I refuse to believe this! What a load of crap! I miss you so You've much, Kazuna. No <sighs> okay. What's the point? What? Your logic is bullshit! What's the point? You guys really falling for this You've shit? You've got no evidence. What a load of crap. Why are you suspecting me? You've got no proof. That ain't convincing. I refuse to believe this. You've got no uh. evidence. What a load of crap. crap. It's over. I refuse to believe Come this. on, dude, it's Logic over. Just give up. Why are you suspecting me? You guys really falling for this You've shit? You've got no evidence. Oh my God. What a load of crap. Why are you suspecting me? You've got no proof. That oh my God, dude. Convincing. I refuse to believe okay, this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. A load of crap. Come on, no, 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 no. Okay. I refuse to believe this. Your logic is oh bullshit. Okay, okay, Why no. are you suspecting me? You've got no evidence. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much. Crap. Why are you suspecting me? You've got no proof. That ain't convincing. I refuse to believe this. You've got no evidence. What a load of crap. <laughs> oh my god, I'm totally not gonna get this. I refuse <laughs> to believe this. Logic is bullshit. Why are you suspecting me? You guys really falling for the You've got no evidence. What a load god of crap. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You've got no what? Why are okay. you suspecting me? Okay, I think it's just more. Logic is bullshit. You guys really falling for this shit. to believe this. You've got no evidence. A load of crap. It's over. It's over, man. Come on, just stop it. Just stop it. Logic is bullshit. A load of crap. You've got no evidence. Why are you suspecting me? I refuse to believe this. Man, you're just gonna go in your total underwear, bro, at this point. 
logic is bullshit. You guys really fall in line. You've got no a load of crap. That ain't convincing. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. So Your logic is bullshit. A load of crap. You've got no proof. It's so Come on, dude, it's point? over. Come on. I refuse to believe So true, it's Bestie. No What's the point? Why are you suspecting me? So Your logic is bullshit. Come on, bro. For this shit. Oh my god, no. Damn it. A load of crap. That ain't convincing. I refuse to believe you. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Oh god. Okay, Still unusual the hell behavior for Hajime. This is the end. Okay. No! Stop it! <laughs> he literally is naked. No, look at my muscles! Zorik, 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 come on, come on, baby, come on, baby. Look, look at the muscles, man. How, how could I do this? Your logic's bullshit! Oh my god. Oh my god. I need, I need you, Suska. I need you, girl. I'm gonna hang out with you every day next, next one. Whew. Save progress. Okay. That wasn't too bad, but it is really slow reloading those tree bullets, man. Hey, Hajime. Are you really going to insist that you were drunk? You, Hajime Makinochi, got completely drunk? It would take a lot for him to get drunk, honestly. Uh, cause he's like a big... He's a big guy, you know? That's not like you at all, Hajime. Uh, look into the abs, come on. Come on, I stripped down to my underwear just for you, Sora. Just, just for you, baby. To, just to convince you otherwise, come on. Aren't I so much better than Mitch? Come on now. Nobody in our group cares more about their health than you, Hajime. Oh, that's true too. I thought it was kind of strange that you were drinking at the party. You did say drinking a bit was good for your health. But you've made it sound like you drank way more than that. Yeah. And I just can't see someone like you not being able to restrain themselves from drinking. <laughs> it would have worked if, if Sora had a preference for guys. <laughs> good point, good point. That's true, she has a wife. So of course she wouldn't be looking. And I just can't see someone like you not being able to restrain themselves from drinking. There's a little thing called mood at a party, you know? I'm human just like the rest of you. Even I can cut loose and ignore my health for a bit. Ah, oh, Mac. Mm. I just remembered. You were the one who invited Riri to the party, weren't you? Oh, crap. I forgot about that. I need Setsuka too, but for a different reason. Don't worry, Jolly. I got you. I got you. She's a very, she's a very beautiful lady. <laughs> no, no judgments here. Thank you for the donation, by the way. <sighs> right. He suggested that we invite Yuri, saying he's not entirely a bad person. Damn, I should have known somebody thinking Yuri wasn't a bad person was sus. Even then, he hadn't forgotten to talk about the importance of hell. Damn it! Oh, Hajime, what the hell were you thinking? He's finally convinced. Man, Shinji, it's kind of interesting. All of his sprites have him smiling. I guess he's just kind of like an awkward person. Uh, can't really show like sad emotions very well. Maybe it's because he's like a firefighter. I don't know. I guess I'll dive into what I think his trauma is and all that later. Oh man, Hajime, how could you do this to Shinji, man? I'm not the culprit. Fine, have it your way. Let's review this case from the start. Then you'll have no choice but to admit to your crimes. Minigame, closing arguments, about to begin, yay! Closing argument, you have to recap the events of the case in a format of four frame comment strip. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. I love it already, the art of Setsuka with the, with the party idea. Summarize the case by arranging the cut pieces at the bottom of the screen. In chronological word order, you can read the piece's details by pressing A. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. In a closing argument, you have to recap the events of the case in the format for frame comic strip. Top left screen will show the total number of pages and you will have to complete a separate comic strip for each page. Some frames, cut pieces will be given at the bottom of the screen. Choose a piece with the left and right arrow keys and put them in order from start to finish. Press A to check specific, specific details about the selected frame cut, which should help you figure out its placement on the strip. As difficulty rises, more frames, cuts will be given. The product will still be a four frame comic. The fake frames, cuts will be present. Oh, really? Interesting. Once a page is completed, you'll proceed to review it. Okay, wow. If you think, I didn't think that they would have a uh, fake ones. Interesting. If you think you assembled the pieces correctly, press C to check the answer. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Time for the easiest part of the game. I know, whenever we get here, I'm just like, ah, finally, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Otherwise, you may reset the page by pressing X. Okay. There's no penalty for resetting the page, but if your answer is incorrect, your focus gauge will take damage and points will be deducted. Actually, knock on wood, <laughs> right when I say it's easy. After all pages are completed, the explanation will follow. Oh, thank you, Kate. 
the Kit King. Let's hope Yuriko doesn't find out you're planning to cheat on her with Setsuka. <laughs> she didn't hear anything. It's no, it's no worries. I mean, I'm just having a backup. You know, we're in a killing game. Like if she dies, you know, have somebody, have somebody else, maybe. It's no biggie, guys. Shh, shh, don't, don't say anything, okay? Sora will give an explanation. Sora will give an explanation of the case with the completed comic strip and ultimately reveal the identity of the culprit. Kind of like the idea of a <laughs> Sora two timing on them. <laughs> You have to start over from the first page, your focus gauge completely emptied during the minigame. It's like literally what I do in those like dating sims. <laughs> Always just like <laughs> dating everybody. So do your best to avoid that. Or any kind of dating option. Like Persona. I wanted to do it so bad in Persona 5. <laughs> I did not Persona 4 and I felt so bad. Okay. Uh. Okay, so let's see, select. Oh wait, no, that's not right. I came with a plan after hearing the party. I'm like, okay, let me reset, right? Okay. How do I, re I thought, I thought it was X to reset, right? Wait, how do I reset? God damn it. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was X, right? Wait, can't go up. How do I go up? Damn it! That's, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Yuki does look really cute though. Hi. <laughs> How do I go up? You reset once you select everything? Oh, okay. Okay, I guess I'll just read through these first. Okay, so let's go doing sign through a party. <laughs> You're looking all psycho. Yuri declares the girls may kill him anytime they want. Oh my god, so true, bestie. Wolfrit taking interest in Yuri's declaration, thinking they might be able to use it for the murder. Okay. I guess I'll just go ahead and start selecting then. Then I'll do it at the end. Okay. Right? Please don't. Okay. X cancel. Okay, cool. Okay, so the first one's gotta be, um... Oh my goodness, Yuki looks so cute, dude. I love him. I love him so much. Okay, so I think Yuri did his little crazy rant beforehand, right? I'm back. Why is Setsuka always winking? Does that mean she's lying, Kokichi 2 point? No, she would never. She's just flirting with me. <laughs> just letting you guys know. That's that's what it is, okay? She just, just flirting with me. She would never be sussy. But don't tell, uh, don't tell, uh, Yuriko. Okay, then the party, right? And then him thinking about, right? Okay. <laughs> Freaking Yuki, dude. <laughs> He's so adorable, man. <laughs> oh my God, party time. Party time. Oh wow, nine pages? Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Full parade helping to set up the party. I'm so drunk right now. You're so heavily intoxicated. Her began, the culprit is quietly observing the situation. During the preparations, the culprit sneaks in alcohol amongst the water and other drinks. Okay. So probably this one. Then this one. Try this one. Next. Her began. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry. That's the wrong thing. Then you're a drunk? I think so, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> Culprit injecting the anesthetic into the kidnapped Yuri and looking super evil while he does it. The sleigh tower. Culprit takes Yuri to the bell tower. Whoosh. Party went on until nighttime. The culprit pretending to help Yuri and sneaking away from the group. Yuriko is on speed dial. Girl loved. <laughs> Girl love defending yourself. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, donation. <laughs> or is it like girlfriend, maybe? I just see GL, GL and think of like a girl love. Okay, I think, um, oh yeah, try this one first, right? Party goes on at the end of the night. Then he uh, takes him, probably injects him first, right? And then takes him. He's so gonna have Yuri. Cobra takes Yuri to the bell tower. Or wait. Well, actually, he probably takes him to the bell tower first, then injects him with the thingy, since, uh, yeah, right? We will see! 
<laughs> Don't know if I'm right or not. Okay, party, drunk, bell tower. Okay, cool. For adjusting the rope length, installing wires, and preparing any other things necessary for the trick. Culprit's startled by Yuriko's unexpected appearance. See, she's such a queen, dude. Like, she is such a queen, she didn't even know. Oh, I see GL is making good luck. I just read a lot of manga, dude. <laughs> then the culprit started startled by. Oh, yeah, I was just saying she's such a queen that she didn't even know she was hopping the case, and yet she was. Preparing all the preparations, the culprit waits for the Monocruz gates to open in the morning. Yuriko walking out. Right as the gates of the Monocruz open. Okay. What was this one again? Wolfred adjusting the rope length, installing wires, and preparing many other things necessary for the trick. Um, probably this one first. Am I stupid? Let's see. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I think he did all that last night. It's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think, uh, I think it's. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Then she wakes up and then she walks out. Just making sure. Just talking about how this mini game was so easy, <laughs> so I want to make sure I don't don't fuck it. After adjusting the rope, the culprit carries Yuriko to the top of the bell tower. The culprit made the risky choice of jumping straight down from the top without any protection. The culprit ambushing Yuriko and injecting the anesthetic. Poor thing, dude. I will never forgive you for this. Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Damn it, I pressed Z on accident. Okay, let me just go back. Okay. Oh, what was this one again? When he stabs Yuri. Cooper carries Yuriko to the bell tower, then took out the hook from Yuri's calf to readjust the rope as a tool for descent. Okay. Okay, so. Let's try this one first, right? Try this one again? Yeah. The rope, Cooper carries Ruko to the top of the bell tower. Wait. I do get a little confused on this part. <laughs> okay, yeah. He did that after he took her up. And then, what's this one? Oh, wait. Is this one actually first? So maybe he did do that first. Carries Ruko to the bell tower, then took out the hook from Yuri's calf. Oh, okay, yeah. I think he actually did do that first. I think so. Right? Right? Or wait, no. No, wait, I think I'm still right with... Okay, wait, I think... Okay, I think it's this one, then this one, then this one. I think so. So he injects her. That's... He's taking her there. Now he's taking her up the stairs. Now he's jumping. So. Right? Slay. <laughs> Slay! Okay, carry out their murder trick. Clipper puts the back in Yuri's other calf. Aw, oh, Shinji, no! It's so sad, man. The culprit parts with Shinji with a made-up excuse. What a douche. No, I'm just kidding. He might be okay. Wait, I'll, I'll judge him after his, um, uh, <laughs> judge him after his, uh, trauma dump. Ready to put his plan into action, the culprit sends a me message to Yuki. Whenever he chose Yuki, the culprit returns to Monocruz and the shortest time possible meets up with Shinji. The culprit saw that Yuki and I arrived at the bell tower. Okay. What's this one again? We're gonna shrink the culprit. Let's look back into your other calf. Okay. I think he did this first, right? And then he meets up with him. How does he do that, actually? I'm trying to think. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did that wrong, anyways. <laughs> oh, well. I put on the wrong thing, anyways. I'll just reset it. <laughs> My bad. I think, um, I think it is this one first, though, right? And then we're gonna try to pull the books to head back in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that one first. Let's meet up. He probably texts first and then meets up with Shinji, right? I don't remember exactly. I think so. Oh wait, no, there's a wrong one in here. That's what it is. I was like, what is going on, man? <laughs> okay, that's why I'm getting confused. What is this one? I first saw the Yuki and I arrived at the bell tower. 
He did he, he did do that though, I think, right? I'm not slaying right now, man. I feel like I'm gonna get this one wrong. Maybe that is in the next one or something instead? I feel like he did do that though, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know if I'm overthinking it or not. <laughs> the one that I had before might be the right one. So is that, that then? Is that? Then that? Then that? I think so. The text meets up, then he parts ways, I think. No. Ah, I got it wrong! Damn it. <laughs> it is on 69. <laughs> that is so sad. Two, five, three. Um, let's see. I think he did that one first. I'm trying to remember like what exactly what happened with that. Maybe it was that. Then he did that, and then he met up with Shinji. Is that what it is? Okay. Maybe that. Then he uh, <laughs> skill helps closing arguments. I guess I could always try to get that later. Um, maybe I guess I'll think about it. I think I did one free time with her anyways, actually. Um, what was I gonna do? Okay, so he did that. Maybe he texts Yuki. Then he waits to see us. And then he goes to meet up with him. I was a little confused on this part, to be totally honest, on how this, like, all worked out. <laughs> totally different things. I think it's 11, uh, 0, 3, 7, actually. Is that it? I think it was he went down when they went up, right? I can never rest. Oh, God. Oh, wait. What was the last one? Was he here at the top or something? It's okay if you guys want to give your opinions or whatever. I always feel bad. Oh shit. God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I'm just gonna do a random selection. Okay. What do you text first then? And then do that? No, that doesn't make sense. Honestly, if you guys want to help, I don't mind. I just want the stream to be enjoyable. <laughs> Went up with them, then left, then put it back in, and then did that. Okay, so that was it. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> no, another one. I saw the Yuki and I arrived at the bell tower. Connect the culprit by the rope. Yuri, since the top of the culprit is falling. Culprit definitely returns to the monocruise and successfully joins the others before the body discovery announcement. Yuki reading the message you received from Yuri's e handbook. Safety devices on play, the culprit dump, jumps down from the bell tower. Okay. See, I think it was like he left, then he texted Yuki, so he should be like up here, I think now. So, maybe that one. What did he do this thing? Culprit with a rope, Yuri ascends the top, and the culprit is falling. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I think I got this. Okay, so he goes... Oh wait, actually, would Yuki be first then? <laughs> Maybe that's... I was like, I feel like all of these kind of fit. <laughs> oh man. Let me just... Let me just do some random stuff and then restart it. So yeah, I think technically he texted Yuki in the last one, so I think Yuki... Yeah, I think that's Yuki first. Then he sees us, right? We'll first saw that Yuki and I arrive at the Bell Tower. And then he falls and the bell rings, right? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Whew. Almost done. You can have discovered Yuri's corpse. Um, Culper disposes of possible and is incriminating evidence and dashes the Monic Bruise. While being pulled up by the rope, Yuri is savagely cut up by the wire set up across the stairs. Uh, so bad. Yuri falls down due to gravity when the rope is cut. Hope Yuki can explain gravity to us. The culprit cutting the rope after reaching the ground. Was he like falling last? Falling and then it rang, right? So we'd we not get cut up. The word is 11037. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong thing. I don't think it's the up one actually. I think it. I think that might be the one that I won't use. Okay. So I think like. We already kind of did that one, right? So I think we do falling down. Wait, I'm trying to think. Okay, so it gets pulled up. And then it gets pulled up and slashed and whatever. Oh, wait, I think we did Hajime getting, so. And we did Hajime coming down and then him getting pulled up, so never mind. I think he would get pulled up, right? Oh, thank you, cake cake. Sorry that I'm so slow. I think it's. I think it's this one first, right? I think he pulled up the rope. I'm trying to think how some of this makes sense, though, to be totally honest. <laughs> Culper cutting the rope after reaching the ground. Five, three, four, one. This case is kind of complicated. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, I think so. Nope. Damn. They cut the rope afterwards, then? I got confused on that part, too. <laughs> I'm cutting the rope. I feel like that looked right. was easy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, is it three? Is that it? I kind of got confused when the rope was cut. Maybe it was up there then? Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I was like, I'm tired, man. My brain, my brain don't work so good. <laughs> Cooper carries your code to the bell tower, then... Oh wait, so that's probably the fake one, right? That one's at least pretty easy. Definitely returns to Monocruise until so she joins the others. Believing that the culprit is the top of the bell tower, you can I climb the stairs. Culprit disposes of the possible incriminating evidence and dashes back to the Monocruise. By a discovery announcement is made and the culprit pretends to be shocked by the events. Okay, I think that's us first, right? Which one's this one? Okay, yeah. So I think that's us. 
Then him. Then that. Then that, right? Please slay. Please. <laughs> okay. Up. He's zooming. He's back. Please. Please slay. Um, please don't close. Please don't close the game on me. Please don't do this to me. Oh no, I closed the game on me last time this happened. Oh gosh. No! <sighs> Damn it. Should I just watch it then? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I did everything right installing the game. Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I crashed. I think it's probably just gonna do that again though. Cause like, I don't think I, it's saying I don't have that file. I don't know if I should just watch it. <laughs> Go to the subbed version for the next one. I don't know. Cause yeah, I'm gonna have to replay all of that if that's the case. I, like, I don't even think it's going to help me, honestly. I don't think it's going to help me if I redo it. Damn it. Man. Because it's saying it doesn't have that asset. I can try it again, but I think it's probably not going to work. If it's the issue that I think. Man, I was hoping that wouldn't happen again. I might have to watch, like, a video on it, of it, honestly. This happened to me and it worked this second time. Oh, it really did? Okay. Well, whatever works, I guess. Looks like this is the most recent one. 1036. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it. We're gonna do gonna do all of that over again. <laughs> Bruh. At least I can save after all these mini games. I think I saved after that, right? Please tell me. Okay, 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 cool. Let's, think. Let's just start. Okay. Okay, I fixed on the second time, that's good. Oh, okay, one more time, guys. Hopefully I'll remember all this. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, I think it was this one first. Yeah, it was that one, that one, that one. And Yuki being adorable. I can see why Kenjo fell for him, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Someone with the party, then he did the drinks, then he was watching, then Yuri was drunk. Slay. Okay. Which one is this one again? Anyway, it's just snowy at the party. What was the first one? The party! Takes him there. Takes him there. Takes him there. Slay. Okay. So just throw a blank, close wires, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, that one. Then he waits. Then she wakes up. Then he sees her and he plans his evil, evil dastardly deeds. Okay. What's this one? Here is your go. This one again. Hopper carries your code to the bell tower, then took out the hook from Yuri's. Okay, yeah, this one, this one, this one, and then this one. How many times do you go up and down that bell tower, man? Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Once again, you told the game to slay right before it crashed. No! Damn it! Not again! I don't remember the order for this. <laughs> oh my god. I think it was like, what was that? Like three? I think it was like, oh yeah, I think it was. <laughs> the game literally. What was this one again? I can't remember. Ah, uh, damn it. Was it this? And then. No. Is that it? I feel like it might have been that. It's a 
the game doesn't slay again. Please do not say, please do not slay game. Please do not slay. I was like, maybe I should just honestly, uh, <laughs> like double check over here what it was. And not six, nine again. Four, two, one, three. Okay, four, two. Okay, so we're right. No, four, two, oh, one. Seven nine. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. I believe in us. I think it was Yuki. Don't do not spam slay. I do not need this curse, dude. I do not need it. Hope for the rope stand stop keep falling. Hope it's all Yuki and I rely on the bell tower. Alright, so it was. That was him. See advice, Hope jumps down. It was Yuki. He sees us. Jumps down, and there's that one, right? Bye, Taria. Thanks for coming to the stream. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, yeah, I think it was this one that was kind of weird. It's another one that was a little. You gonna discover Yuri's corpse. He being pulled up the rope. Yuri is savagely cut up by the wires and across the stairs. Oh fuck. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Let me say 3152. I don't think so. <laughs> Guys, don't use this lay word. This one and then that one. Then the rope. That's the thing I got confused on. After reaching the ground. 3541. I think it was this. I think it was that. Okay, thanks guys. Slay it. Thank you, box Boxin. <laughs> Finally, somebody gets me. Who carries the rogue of the bell tower, then take out the hook from Yuki's calf. Um, what is this one again? Two, three, four, five, six, okay. Hey, Druko to the bell tower. Oh yeah, that was the one that didn't fit, right? Okay, I think we do that one. Yeah, that one. Runs. Meets up with everybody. Then he pretends to be shot. Okay. Oh, please. Please, game. Please, 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 please. please. This is please. the truth of the case. Thank you. Slay. No, don't. Don't. Don't slay. Don't slay. Don't slay. Slay it. It all began <gasps> when Yuri started it worked. I'm so happy. Weird stuff I'm so happy. I'm wanting to die for a single woman. Okay, I might just like write these down next time in case it happens again. He knew we were all growing desperate, so he offered any girl the chance to kill him and escape. Unfortunately, his words caught the attention of this case's culprit. If Yuri had been killed, everyone would suspect a woman of being the culprit. The culprit used this to their advantage in the murder. However, Yuri had locked himself away and only answered to women. You guys <laughs> saying slay, slay it, guys, guys, say slay it, <laughs> so they know, so the game knows not to, knows not to slay. Setsuka decided she wanted to host a surprise party to get everyone to cheer up. I should have known never to say slay, even to the game, because it literally slayed itself. It's like, oh, baby, you want me to slay? I'll do just that. Our culprits saw this party as the critical part of their plan. After getting himself involved with the party setup. He was able to convince everyone to invite Yuri. Yeah, I will definitely save. Don't worry, Modki. While preparing the party, our culprit took the opportunity to swap some of the drinks with alcohol. This was to make sure people would get drunk. It wasn't long after the party started when Yuri, a man who was fond of alcohol, had become completely intoxicated. And is really, really tiny. Both our culprit and the victim drank late into the night until they had to return to the mono cruise. Yeah, it is kind of like game one, case one, guys versus girls. It is kind of a similar setup. So uh, to make this part easier, get a Roja's ability. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. Once the party reached its end, our culprit helped Yuri and slipped away from the others. I heard Nikkei's uh, ability was really good too. I think like I'll probably hang out with Roja. Setsuka and Nikkei. As a result, both the culprit and the victim were left all alone at night outside the mono cruise. 
Once separated, the culprit took our victim directly to the bell tower. Since this all took place at night, there were no witnesses or interruptions that could affect them. Yuri was already passed out from being drunk, but to be extra sure, our culprit used a syringe to inject him with an anesthetic solution that would keep him out for a long time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would feel the pain even if uh, he was drunk, you know? Since our culprit had plenty of time until morning, he took some time to practice his method. <laughs> Fucking evil face, dude. It was during this practice that they made sure all of their measurements were perfect. Once the culprit was satisfied with their preparations, they had to wait outside until morning. Oh, his non-trial one is super helpful? Okay, interesting. Once the morning announcement went off, our culprit was going to enter the monocruise. However, as soon as the doors opened, Yoriko stepped out of the monocruise. If she had gone to the bell tower, this whole case would have been ruined for the culprit. The culprit had no choice but to inject her with the remaining anesthetic and moved her to the bell tower. He was kind of lucky that he still had uh, some more anesthetic on him. Although the decision was made in the moment, it actually ended up driving suspicion away from them. During this time, the culprit had become late to the morning jog with Shinji, so they had to hurry. So, they removed the hook from Yuri's right calf while moving Yuriko. Going both up and down the stairs would take too much time, so they decided to use the hook as a means of transportation. Okay. With Yoriko in tow, the culprit rushed to the top of the bell tower. With the hook detached, our culprit quickly jumped off the tower using their fulcrum method. Normally, they would injure themselves without the weight of Yuri and the wires to slow them down. But they decided to take a risk and put their faith into their fitness and health. Okay, yeah, I think it was that part. I was like a little confused on still. Luckily for our culprit, his talent was perfect for something like this. The culprit, Aww. who had shortened his travel time, joined with Shinji in the monocruise. <laughs> Freaking Hajime is probably like dead at this point. No sleep and having to run and all this stress. During the jog, our culprit made an excuse to depart from Shinji for a moment. Not that I can feel like too bad for him since you know he was the one who did the killing. Returning to the bell tower, the culprit rearranged the hook placement. They couldn't reuse the right calf as it had been completely torn up. So they inserted it into the left calf. This is the reason he had wounds on both of his calves. Once everything was ready, the culprit used Yuri's e-handbook plus to send a distress message to Yuki. As Yuki received the distress message, our culprit quickly made their way up to the bell tower. I can't, dude. Yuki's so cute. I can't. I can't get over it. I feel like I'm simping for him again. He's just so precious. Once the culprit heard that we had arrived and Yuri had woken up... It's so hard because the last game he was like literally the mastermind, but he's just so adorable! I'm like, how can he do anything wrong ever? The culprit jumped off the bell tower once again. Oh, Yuri, oopsie. who was connected to the life jacket via the hooks, was sent flying into the air. As Yuri flew up, he was cut by several sharp wires that had been set up by the culprit. The culprit, now safely on the ground, cut the rope, and Yuri was sent falling downwards to finish him off. Since there was nothing to slow his fall, it was without a doubt the true cause of death. Yuri, who we had just witnessed alive a moment earlier, was now a bloody mess on the ground. <laughs> Guys, don't tell Yuki to slay. He will do it, okay? He did it in the last game. He'll do it again. Guys, I totally, I totally believe that. But he's so cute. He just looks so innocent. Like a little party one. He was like, ah. I was like, oh, my heart. He's so cute. Ah, oh, thank you, Jeffrey, uh, for becoming an Omelander. Ah, oh, thank you, Boxonin, for becoming an Omelander too. A Roha cult leader. This so many is cults. the truth of Yuri's death as Yuki and I had witnessed it. Once we saw the gruesome sight, we decided to rush up the stairs, hoping to find the culprit at the top. While we rushed to the top, the culprit disposed of the life jacket and was hurried towards the monocruise. Doing so would give them an alibi when the body discovery announcement went off. Fortunately for them and their fitness, they were able to make it back in time for the announcement. Right after the body discovery announcement, the culprit made their way to the bell tower with everyone else. <laughs> hey, Kajime, why are you, uh, why are you, um, uh, laughing evilly there in the corner? No reason, guys. Look at my abs, guys. Don't, don't look at my face, okay? In doing so, they reacted innocently with everyone else and pretended to be shocked by the event. Oh, no, Shinji does like Yuki the second best, huh? That's just another person that would probably betray him because he's freaking Utsuro. However, 
This was all an act. In truth, they had been the one to kill Yuri. I gotta get close to Shinji to prevent that from happening. That culprit is without a doubt. Hajime Hinata. I mean, <laughs> the other Hajime. You, Hajime Makinochi, the ultimate boxer. Oh, his last name. That's where the Mac thing came from. Speaking of like Mac from uh, Always Sunny. Ah, the art looks so good, dude. Break. Hey, we got to restart, so I got 100 points because of that. It's over, Hajime. Oh, so what I can say the again. culprit. Well, I guess I can't argue against that. Wait, one more time, this or abs. She's like, I'm in love with a woman. Okay, never mind. Does, does that mean? It can't be helped. They got it all right. I'm sorry, Shinji, but I'm the culprit. Glad he's coming out and admit admitting it, though. <laughs> Good on him. No aho moments, at least. Now we got the 50 points. That was, a, that was not a slay moment right there. <laughs> See? <laughs> you gained 13 seven. Whatever. As long as I beat it, I guess. <laughs> Yay, Crypto Crow. You earned. Oh my god. I'm fucking rich now. Yes. You've earned additional. Oh, it was your rank bonus. <laughs> the C. <laughs> you got to see, Weeby. It's okay. <laughs> oh, God. Have we reached a conclusion? That wasn't nearly <laughs> as interesting as I thought it would be. Are you ready to see if your answer is right or wrong? As a warning, you only have one chance. <laughs> I will assume that you've had enough time and proceed to the voting. C for Slay. I'm dead. Ladies and gentlemen, use the panel in front of you to vote for who you believe to be the culprit. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What is it going to be? Nice. <laughs> well, whatever, I beat it, so it's all that matters. <laughs> C's get degrees. So true, besties. So true. I need to buy that pin. Uh, sorry, I was born stupid pin. I was beating you before this trial. I'll get it before the next one. <laughs> oh, little birdie. It's so cute. Ain't that just a little guy? C's for cool girl. Thanks, guys, for all the, uh, the copium. <laughs> no, C's great, Weeby. Totally. Oh, God. Hmm. Hum, your answer is correct. The culprit who killed Yuri Kagarin, it was... Hajime Makanochi. Oh, congratulations on coming to the correct conclusion. Oh, my God, C was for Monocro. That's so true, Daddy. <laughs> That's what it was. I just wanted, uh, I just wanted to get a grade that matched, uh, matched his uh, name. Hajime, how, how could you? Um, My bad. I'm sorry. What? Sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> Pulling out the shawi. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, wait. One second. One second. I'm shawi. Like you're sorry? What the fuck? It worked for Kenji. Come on. Sorry. You're the culprit. You murdered Yuri, and all you have to say for yourself is I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Wait. One. Let me. Let me do a cuter. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like. How do I, uh, how do I, how do I make it cuter? Why? Hajime, why would you of all people kill someone? That's... Right, please give us an answer. Why would you kill Yuri, Hajime? Uh, I... oh, um, I can't tell you. Huh? Huh, you can't tell us? Yes. You wouldn't understand. Even if I did, it would only make you despise me more than you already do. Are you serious? It's your fault we had to go through this whole trial mess in the first place. Huh. We'll see. We do all this and you don't even give us a straight answer? What? Well, to be honest, you weren't very... <laughs> For... Well, to be honest, you didn't really do jack shit, sister. I think Aroha was more helpful than you. I think Weeby was more helpful than you and that's really fucking saying something. I know. Nuck, please tell us. We just want to know why. Did you forget about the rules of the class trial? <laughs> The rules? Yikes. If the blackened identity is oh yeah, if the blackened identity is revealed, we will be punished. Listen. 
Right, Hajime, you're about to die now. Don't you realize that? Um, yeah, it was like, interesting. Indeed, those are the cruel rules of the class trial. If the Blacken is identified during the class trial, they alone will be punished. Since Monocro confirmed our answer, Hajime is without a doubt the Blacken that killed Yuri. And thus, Hajime won't be able to escape from the inevitability, inevitability of his imminent death. Yeah. He's right, Hajime. Right. We don't despise you, but we have to know what led you to commit murder. That's why. Was it because you wanted to escape? That's all? That's... It was the same for all of us. We have friends and family waiting for us out there. I've already heard the spiel from Mitch. It's not going to work on me a second time, buddy. We all have the willpower to hold in our desire to escape. It's hard to believe that Hajime would just murder someone because he wanted to leave. He's no Mitch, guys. I believe. To be honest. You must have had another reason, something that pushed you to commit murder. Mac, just tell us what it is. If you don't, I really don't know if we'll ever be able to move forward from this. My bad. I'm sorry. What? Dude, really? What the trauma dump, bro? I'm sorry, I still can't tell you. Hajime, come on, man. I want the trauma dump, please. Pause. I didn't even get to do your free time events. But you're right. I didn't kill Yuri just to get off the island. I had to commit murder, so I did. Is he have, like, a Kenji thing? Did he you can, like, uh getting like blackmailed by Monokuma or something? My decision didn't have a process. The only thing left to behold is the outcome. Whatever my true reason was, I killed Yuri. I'm not trying to make any excuses here. Hi. I just want to die the way I am now as a murderer, bro. Hashime. Come on. Die, don't just dump, jump to conclusions. <laughs> Come on, oh my God, Shinji. Shinji and Jalulu land right now, right now, bro. Don't just jump to conclusions. That's not decided yet. Just wait. I'm sure there will be another way. Huh. What are you talking about? There's no exceptions to the rules on this island. Are you turning to escapism now? Are you Delulu like Weeby? But wait. No, but. Sorry. Hold on just a second, Hajime. Oh, she know? Did you say you wanted to die as a murderer? Huh? What are you kidding at, Kokoro? <laughs> That's not what you're thinking at all. What are you saying? Huh. It's clear to me now. You cannot deceive me, Hajime. The emotion in your words just now. You're hiding something. Huh? What's the matter, Kokoro? I'll explain. While it's true that Hajime's words just now seem stoic, his thoughts betray something. His thoughts betray something. Portray, I think that's what they meant to say. Something else entirely. Hajime is under the belief that he himself will not die at all. Oh. What? Are you for real? What do you mean, Kokoro? Are you reading his thoughts or something? Aside from that. I know your mind reading is real, Coco, but doesn't it seem a bit off for Mac to think that way right now? Uh, I cannot read his exact emotions because of these because of those sunglasses covering his eyes. But I see that there was an abnormal reason for your murder of Yuri. What was that? Was he promised like a uh, promised like an escape just for killing somebody, not being like found out or something? What are you saying? I have no idea what you're talking about. I was prepared to die. I have nothing more to say. Come on, somebody take off his glasses. Monocro, just start your stupid punishment, daddy. <laughs> Mr. Makinochi, you may tell them, please. You have to trauma dump before an execution. Come on, you're not. You're not doing dog and romper right. What? What? Now then. You may tell them the truth. I suppose you are concerned about the consequences, but that is of no matter. Speak freely. Besides, I doubt he can hide this from Kokoro any longer. Better watch it. Hey, stop bothering him. Why are you trying to make that decision for him? This is another one of your conspiracies. Huh. Mikado, are you sure it's okay? Huh? Good grief. Completely. You are already aware of our abilities. Yes? While we cannot reveal everything at this moment, telling them your reason for murder should be acceptable. Okay, yeah, there was definitely some, like, colluding going on. With, uh, I guess, like, Monocro and them. I will handle the aftermath. Do as you please, Mr. Makinochi. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> There's two. What are they talking about right now? Um. Oh, I see. Really well, if you say so. Nothing's ever gone wrong listening to you. Are you guys, like, besties or something? Hajime, what's going on here? <laughs> My bestie, Mikado. Mikado Avocado. After finishing that sentence... So Hajime took a deep breath. Then he spoke. So, y'all want to know why I committed murder, huh? 
Is he evil? The answer is simple. It's because I was supposed to commit murder. He's in cahoots with them? His eyes full of madness, his mouth letting out a twisted tone of voice. The Hajime we knew is gone, now he was bitch in disguise! Damn it, Hajime, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt this whole fucking game, bro. This whole game, and you were evil the whole time. Hajime we knew is gone, and in this place was a Hajime we'd never seen before. So I guess they told him since he's like, working with them, like, uh... Since he's working with them, he's like, don't worry, don't worry, little little Hajime, little Hajime, you won't get executed. <laughs> this place, in this, in his, in his place, the Hajime we never seen before. Well, what are you talking about, Hajime? Oh, You're no. acting really strange. No, Shinji, he's gonna be so sad. Hmm? What's so strange? You all wanted to know why I did it. Oh my right? God, he's been mitchified. And it's just as I said, it was my mission to murder. I don't understand what you're saying. And something doesn't look right about you now. You're giving me some very, very Mitch vibes. It's all coming back to me. Oh no, the trauma. Sorry for keeping quiet. But since it's already too late, and Mikado gave me permission, I'd like to say it out loud to y'all. Freaking I evil don't... ass. Say what out loud? Careful now. Although this must be painful to hear. <laughs> oh my god, so it is that. Oh, thank you, Shinji Cult Leader Crow. Shinji will fix him, it's okay, we be gay boyfriends. So true, bestie. So true. I'm sure Shinji will join him in Mexico soon and they'll get married. And he'll be fixed and everything will be great, right? Oh, thank you, Amon. Hajime was secretly Hitch. Mitch is third. Oh shit, no, not. The Void, all the Void members are just different different versions of Mitch. <laughs> Damn it, I should have known it was all Mitch all along. It's always been him, dude. I must reveal that Mr. Makinochi is a proud member of Void. Okay, yeah, that was that thing he said at the uh, beginning. What? Uh, Void, what's that? This is... That's the name of the organiza organization Mikado briefly mentioned on the first day we came to this island. But... Huh, but didn't he say that that was for his false persona? What? It, it looks like that wasn't the case. So it's actually like an evil uh, organization. <laughs> oh shit, bro! Yeah, you look like a robot, bro. What's up with your eyes? That's right. I'm working with Mikado. Oh, he did have a bestie among us, though. At least that's good for Mikado, right? The master by behind the whole killing what? game. What the fuck? Wait, wait. It's a lie. This, this can't be. It's no lie, this fact perfectly explains Hajime's strange behavior. It was all planned from the start. What? Then everything he did, everything we know him for, it was all an act. Hey. I told you, didn't I? If, you, if, you, if I tell you why I killed you, you'd all hate me even more. I was trying to pay you all back for our past week together, when I was just faking being a cute little guy, but getting off the stage as quietly as possible. Hajime, were you really on the mastermind side this whole freaking time? I guess it explains why the murder was so like fucked up and stuff too. Yes. <laughs> Can I get over that sprite, man? <laughs> That's right. I've been on his side from the very first day of this field trip. No, before that even. From the very start of his plan. That's Are you for real? The world famous boxing star? Hajime Makinochi involved in a large scale criminal organization like this? I feel like one interesting idea, I might be just like, I'm just kind of saying random shit that comes to my brain. But like, it would be kind of interesting if we were like all a part of Void, but we like didn't know it. Like we had our memories wiped or something. Could be interesting if like Hajime was the only one that remembered it. But I guess we'll see if um, it keeps getting brought up later in the game. Damn it, normally this would have been perfect for a headline, but I'm, I'm in shock, I can't believe it. It would kind of parallel like Danganronpa 2 if that was the case too, you know? You, Hajime. Why? How come? What do you mean by supposed to murder? They likely coordinated this event in advance. Poor Shinji, man. He's the worst at choosing friends. <laughs> Somebody yassify Hajime. He's too far gone. <laughs> Hitch. Mitch's evil third brother. Damn it. You must kill someone to escape this island. It's easier said than done. The killing game could easily fall into a deadlock when its centerpiece is something as wicked as murder. I suppose Hajime's role to break the deadlock by committing the first murder, am I right? I'm impressed. Indeed, we had planned everything in advance. <laughs> Forgive Mikado, he's gonna go back in the next, in the next freaking chapter, he's gonna be like, why do you guys all hate me so much? 
don't, I just don't get it. Why doesn't anybody like me? I'm dead. No wonder he had that stupid, uh, shall we, apology at the end. Like, how has made you really do it? Shall we? <laughs> Shinji, I forgive him immediately. Oh, thank you, Flava. I can't believe Mitch is the culprit again. When will he stop? When will it be over? When will our suffering end? Thank you guys for the donations, by the way. <laughs> Indeed, we plan everything in advance. It would have been ser serendipitous for a moment to have occurred without Mr. Makinochi's involvement. But reality is rarely that cooperative. What the? That conversation at the dining hall yesterday! Do you remember when Yuri said that our motive to murder was weak? Back then, Mikado answered that the killing game was structured so that someone would kill. Is that what he meant by that? Hajime worked for the mastermind and hid among us in our daily lives. It makes sense that like the first killer would be like a traitor, you know what I mean? Oh man, I want a Big Mac too now. <laughs> Put them to the universe. And if a murder didn't occur, he was going to come out and do it himself? Oh, now that we've crossed this threshold, I believe we'll be best to drive the dagger of despair in even deeper. Allow me to reveal the more painful truth to all of you. In truth, Mr. Makinochi and I are not the only members of Void. What? Oh. Myself included, Void is an organization of five members in total. Okay, five members. So it'd only be some of us if that's the case. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm dead, dude, what the fuck? And all five of them are currently standing in this very courtroom. Oh my god, so we have like so many traitors, dude. So we're, we're screwed, basically. No amount of hope speeches is gonna help us like not have people get murdered. Oh my god, that's gonna make so much tension. That's such a good idea for a game like this. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Do you fully grasp the implications of what this means? No way. I'm saying Kanade is a member. I'm just putting that out there in the universe right now. That means there's more of us besides Hajime that are working for you right now. What? And no way, who are they? <laughs> Naturally, I cannot say. What if it wasn't already evident the late Mr. Kagarin is excluded from all of this? You think I'd have that little horn dog on my team? It is truly a tragedy. He would have made this school trip so much more interesting had he lived a bit longer. Damn you, Hajime, he was a crazy one. Either way. You know I'm a Kamida simp. I wanted straight Kamida in this game, damn it. I had no choice. It was to create a conflict of men versus women. Wow, they're just coming out and saying it right now. I had no choice. It was to create a conflict of men versus women for the exact recreation of the case. He really is just like an Utsuro, like, uh, simp, right? Mikado, he just wants to recreate Utsuro's, like, killing game. Is that it? <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? Yuri was the one whose death would be able to achieve that. He stirred up theories of a woman being the culprit just by being the victim of this case. Yeah. What, Hajime? Don't tell me that's the sole reason you murdered someone and disrespected women. Hey. You listen. I cannot believe I had to be the fucking bitch of this game, bro. <laughs> really, Mikado? Are you gonna do me dirty like that? I'm sorry. I had to do what was done. You know, you're tan, you're blonde, it just fits, you know? You listening, Shinji? My mission was to kill someone. All I had to do was choose who. Of course, I had to prepare the murder and all the tricks by myself as well. It was a load of work. I had a lot of weight on my shoulders. Oh. I tried my best to win, but I guess it was too hard for me to deceive the brain power of 13 people. I thank you, Amon. Mikado, here's your motive. Kill or avoid will. Basically, basically, yeah, that's crazy. That is a really good idea for this kind of game, though, because, like, it's going to make the tension so high. Like, ah, uh, that's so cool. I thank you for the donation, by the way. Not to mention, it would have been a whole other problem if I had actually won. Oh, Mikado would have been pissed, dude. You bastard! Huh? Big bro, no violence, no Shinji! I know you want to slay. <gasps> what? And able to repress his anger, Shinji ran towards Hajime. Bro, you fucking hit him right in the throat! Somebody slay Hajime. I'm ready, Monica. I'm ready. But Hajime easily overpowered Shinji. Someone taller than himself with a single punch. Dumbass. Are you nuts? Do you really think you could challenge the ultimate boxer? Oh no, he's down! He looks so cute too! So he's like crying. No, Shinji! Best boy! 
Mr. Makanochi, even if you are able to depart, violation of the rules under my watch is unacceptable. It's gonna be like the, uh, <laughs> that loophole. Now we gotta murder you. Oopsie poopsie. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Jeff. This is a really unbalanced Among Us lobby. For real. It basically is, man. That's crazy. Thanks for the donation. Yes. It doesn't matter. My job here is done. Shinji. God, he's out cold. What was that, Hajime? You hit Big Bro with your full strength? We've been together for a week now. I thought you saw us all as friends. Hopefully Yuki won't be on some bullshit about like, about like, no, we lost our friend uh, Hajime, our bestie. Yuki and Hajime hitting boyfriends with Kinjo voice. <laughs> that is so true. Thank you for the uh, donation. <laughs> It'd be like that, huh? Cursed voice. We've been together for a week now. I thought you saw us all as friends. Did everything that happened this week mean nothing to you? Uh, basically. Yeah, well. Well, it wasn't enjoyable to some extent. At one point, I really did feel like I had made some real friends. Hi. But why? Why did you bring us here just to make us kill each other? Kokoro, can't you read his mind and find out? I'm sorry. I'm not that OP, come on. Right, mean, mind reading is not perfect. It cannot be used anytime I desire either. I can only tell the general emotional state and the mood of the individual, not their exact thoughts. I can't just simply understand why you decided to decide with a mastermind. What I can tell you right now, though, is that everything Hajime said is true. My bad. Anyway, sorry for tricking you guys, but I couldn't help it. I can't live on without this plan. What? But what the? What does that mean? Hey, no. Pardon me, Mr. Sonoji and Mr. Makanoji. Spoilers, you guys. Every time you get for, every time you voids get the spotlight, I feel like I am reduced to a mere bird with no purpose. Don't worry, Monica. Everybody simps for you in chat, so. You will never, your role will never be diminished in my eyes or the chat's eyes. I have my roles as the teacher and judge and daddy. And it seems like the time has come for me to do my job as well. Oh yes, it seems that I was a bit too hasty in giving my surprise announcement. I was just so stoked, guys. <laughs> Without further ado, Mr. Monocro, please begin the grand finale of the class trial. Very well. Very well. I prepared a very special punishment for this case is blackened Hajime Makanochi, the ultimate boxer. Is he aware that he's gonna get he's about to get killed right now? Hey. Um, I think that's enough, Makata. You don't have to <laughs> He totally does not. Uh this is gonna go a little too far, bro. A little too far, bro. I think uh I think I think we can uh, cut it out now, right? You don't have to go this far, man. I don't need the punishment, so just tell me the way out and I'll be waiting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Delulu, bro. You didn't expect this, man. I don't need the punishment, so just tell me the way out and I'll be making my way. I'll be waiting there for you, bestie. Huh? Um, kind of hoping we get to like Starbucks or something. I've been dying for, uh, for Macchiato recently. I beg your pardon. I'm afraid I don't follow. Ducky Chen's my only friend. You are the loser of this trial, and therefore you will be executed. Hey. Whoa, whoa, stop joking around. I was supposed to leave after this. Surely you won't actually kill me, will, will you? Will you, avocado, avocado? I will. What? What? But. Forgive me, Mr. Makanochi, but even I cannot bend the rules of this game. Uh, um, shall we? Uh, don't use my words against me, man. Are you not aware that we, Void, are participants on the side of the students? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Mikado says that he's playing by the rules, so I assume that Hajime would be too. I'm certain you have not forgotten that the correctly identified Blacken must face execution. What are you saying? I said stop jo joking around, bro. <sighs> well then, shall we begin? Uh... Oh, I see. Oh my god, the... <laughs> the copium. The Delulu, Hajime and his Delulu era. Oh, this is just part of the act, right? You're just pretending you're right, <laughs> right, Daddy Crow? Farewell, Mr. Makanochi. I shan't forget you. Farewell. There is no need to cower in fear like that. Who knows? Perhaps if our plan succeeds, a blessing of fortune may be able to resurrect. What? Resurrect you? Maybe. Maybe you'll come back to life. What the? You son of a bitch! Do you think the other three are just gonna let you get away with this? Yeah, for real. I was like, I don't know if that's really gonna encourage them to uh, want to kill anymore. Also, yeah, I have the donations off, so it should be okay. Uh, I think I've just had them off, like, with all the Super Dark and other streams, because there's just been so many of them. I'll reveal the entire plan right now! Which I really appreciate. Oh, shit, here he goes! It's punishment time! Oh, shit. What about the other, uh, the other, um... 
uh, members want to like give away the plan though since they know that uh, they're not gonna get saved unless they're just already aware of it and Hajime is just like the dummy the dummy of the group oh he's so cute okay here we go Hajime has been found guilty <laughs> he's flying that's so cute little monitor oh whoa is uh <laughs> just freaking red eyes that's why he had the sunglasses on I love this song, man. Oh, uh, there he goes! No, the jacket! Van service for the execution! Super Makinoching machine. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Holy shit! He really is daddy right now! I got daddy fine. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Oh, he's getting hit like all over. Ah, shit. Pounded to death. That's not wrong. Oh god. Ah, oh, shit, man. Ah. Very Leon S. Oh my god. That's such a bad way to go. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, I feel like his head looked like it was about to pop off. Oh god. Oh, that was really freaking me out, man. Oh shit! Did not want to hear, hear those noise. I give you guys a little plush at the end. Oh, I'm so generous. Oh man, those noises, bro. That was gross. Bad bird. Bad bird. Oh wow, that was pretty brutal, man. It did kind of remind me of Leon's, you know, and uh, Mitch's getting like beat, beaten to death. <laughs> you are so damn bad. Bless Crow. God, I wish that were me. I love that so like buff. After all of our like micro daddy jokes, he really got daddyified for the execution. Oh my god. Monocro, don't turn him into a marketable plush. <laughs> uh, I will now be selling the Hajime, the Hajime plushes at the uh, at the supermarket. Come get one if you would like. Oh god, only 2,000 Monocro. Thank you for the donations, guys. Oh god, that was a really brutal execution, though, man. I really thought his head was going to pop off towards the end, but no, you know, I just got uh, disintegrated in the machine. You know, a lot, lot less, a uh, lot less uh, bad. Also, thanks guys for 2,000 concurrent viewers. That's crazy. Appreciate it. My apologies again, Mr. Makinochi, but you should have realized. No matter what may befall you, the void all have no choice but to obey me without question, and my simps. Farewell. Adios, Mr. Makinochi. Thank you for the entertainment. I got to show off my swoleness. What? What was that? Uh, I, um, um. Oh God. Is this real? Although he, he had sided with the mastermind and killed Yuri, the life of a person who had been breathing and alive a moment ago had vanished in another. As we witnessed the shocking scene, no one was able to let out a word about the sudden influx of new information. Hey. Hey. Uh -huh. Oh, have you finally awakened? Uh, I just took a really good nap. Just now, I sensed that some interesting stuff was going on. Can you guys rewind it? I want to rewatch. So let me get this straight. Anyways, oh, uh, thank God. Shinji was knocked out for uh, his execution. That's like the one good thing, man. Anyways, here's what you said. There are five masterminds among us, including yourself. Said masterminds are pre-planned to carry out murder if none of us do. And you guys are making us participate in this in order to achieve some kind of purpose. I oh, thank you, uh, Marceline. At least Shinji didn't have to see it. I know, I'm like, oh, it's my one uh, saving, saving grace. I was like, I care a, lo a lot more about Shinji's feelings than Hajime's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but so far I do care a lot more about Shinji than Hajime since, you know, he was evil and all that. I didn't get, I guess, the chance to like him as a, uh, to kind of get to know him, to like him more. He's not, he's not as bad as Mitch though, for sure. Well, <laughs> I just love to hate Mitch. That's basically it. <laughs> But uh, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. I'm gonna stab going on a tangent. You guys are making us participate in order to achieve some kind of purpose. Well that would be correct. Oh my god, you got that all while sleeping? So then, why'd you betray your allies? Um, so what? Like the boxer said, I don't think the other three are just gonna twiddle their thumbs and do nothing about this. 
What do you think? Careful now. Mr. Hashimoto, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is not your creed to stay out of the affairs of others. Lest it benefits you directly. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I do. It's just out of curiosity. Satisfying my curiosity would directly benefit me, right? Ah, shit. From the moment you reveal yourself as the mastermind on the first day here, I still have yet to figure you out even one bit. He do be a uh, pretty, uh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Mitch Gator. I'm shall we? <laughs> no! <laughs> please, please post that edit to the Reddit. I gotta see that up, up close. <laughs> In full, in full HD, I'm dead. <laughs> Guys, he said he was Sawi. What more do you want from him? Okay. <laughs> I don't, I can't really tell. It's like, I like, I think Hajime is interesting as a character for sure. But yeah, he did not seem like a good dude whatsoever. With how he killed Yuri and him being all evil and shit. Oh, man. Hmm. Uh, Void, our business is none of your concern. This applies to the remaining three members of Void as well. I can't understand that you may be confounded by my actions today. Now then. But as we have reached the conclusion of this trial, I ask that you please think things over carefully in your room. <laughs> I love that bitch. It's still such a meme when we're on the second game. <laughs> Whether this was an act of mere betrayal or a sacrifice for the greater good. Uh. After finishing his sentence, Mikado disappeared into flames. Man, I thought you weren't going to use your magic no more. I guess it's just not for killings. Aside from Shobai, the rest of us stood still in the class trial room without knowing what to, what or how to speak. I don't think Shobai is a uh, member of Void. <sighs> I would flip. Ah, oh, no, I hope it's not Yuruko. I could see it, though, honestly. I kind of feel like Kanade is a member, but I don't know if that's, like, too obvious. But uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I could see Emma being a member, too. I guess there's always Yuki, who's just, like, a huge sussy baka. I don't think Kokoro is. Aroha, I don't think so at all. I don't think Nikkei would be either, right? I'm definitely not Hashimoto, because he's, like, you know. I don't know. <laughs> he just doesn't really seem like it. He seems too sussy to be a part of Void. Well, great. Is it over? It's about time. I'm heading back. <laughs> I'm over this. I... Now then, everyone, let's head back to the Monocruise. It'd be sad if uh, Setsuka was a member, too. I know this is hard. Even Big Sis herself here is barely standing tall right now. Aww. But we need to move on. Let's return to the monocruise. Please don't be. Please don't be. Don't be evil. Let's go back and think on this. Oh dear. Right, shouldn't she still knocked out cold? We need to take we need to take to the infirmary. I guess like Emma, Setsuka, um, Kanade, Yuki. Those would be like my primary suspect. Oh, and Yuruka. No, Yuruka, dude. <sighs> right, Shinji still knocked out cold. We need to take him to the infirmary. Hey, hey. All right, Bicky, Kana, could you two help me out? Not happening. Don't touch me. I don't think a Bicky would be a part of Void. What? She seems a little too uh, immature. What? Go away! Stay away from me. There's three Voids among us, and they're all working within Mastermind. I hate Among Us. I'm terrible at it. I can't trust anyone aside from Kanade. <laughs> Girl, I would not be trusting Kanade. Get out of my sight. What the? What are you talking about? What's more important is... Sis. Oh, sis, calm down and think about this first. Shut up. Shut up. What's your problem? How dare you interrupt your older sister when she's talking? Huh? I'm sorry. Please. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> they're back to normal. What about you? What about you, Kanade? What if both you sisters are members of Void? Uh... That's not true! I would never do anything! I would never slay! That's just so not like me! Well, that's easy for you to say. Sorry, but just as a journalist, I suspect everything I see. Hey. Wait, then what about you? Do you have any evidence that you're not part of Void? <laughs> you know, it's also possible to think that you plan together with Hajime to intentionally muddy up the case. Yeah, I was like, the, I was thinking that she might not be suspicious because she muddied up the case, but I guess it is true that she could have been an accomplice as well. The both of you working together as fellow members of Void. What? What did you just say? Calm down. Calm down, you guys. Why are you suddenly fighting? We can't suspect each other like this. I'm... If Mikado and Hajime were speaking the truth, it'll be hard to put trust in anyone from now on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but... Carry Shinji by- Oh my god! Deuces, bitches! Carry Shinji by yourselves, fuckers! If you're going to act like this, I guess I can't trust you guys either! I... Hey, why is everyone- There's no use. Oh yeah, Sora could be one too, because she has like no memory. Ah, dang, that's so sussy! That is true. It's no use, Setsuka. Maybe this was how we were meant to be. We were all afraid of being killed by one another from the start. 
And now we know that there's three other masterminds in disguise. It'd be a miracle if things ever went back to the way they were before. What's wrong with you, you? Sure, Riri and Mac are dead. Yes, three of us are on the mastermind side, and we're all going to die terrible, horrible, gruesome deaths. But still, so what? Should we just give up on everything we've built up to this point and start killing each other? Don't you think that's even more ridiculous? Sorry. Sorry, I, I may have gone too far. But at least for now, no one's in their right state of mind. Yeah, Yuki does seem a bit more mature in this game, I think. Shoot. If only Big Bro is awake. This Aw, is... besties. Everyone's gone crazy. Roha, how about you? Uh, I, uh... I... Oh, no! Somebody protect her! Oh. Setsuka. I... Ra, Ra. Let's go. We should take Shinji to the infirmary. Oh, okay. Aw, poor Roha, dude. The dramatic scene was like a perfect summary on how an infectious disease becomes a pandemic. Some of our bonds were already unstable from the start. This class trial just hammered the final nail in the coffin. Even Setsuka, who was trying to encourage everyone, deep behind your words could lie some form of distrust in us. Our lives together will never be the same, thanks to this class trial. All that was left was the impact of a small seed, a small seed named Void, that Mikado had left behind. Damn. Oh, that's so cool, though. I'm excited. I can't wait to keep uh, assessing people about who is another member of uh, Void. After carrying Shinji to the infirmary with Setsuka, I silently left the monocruise on my own. Some time has passed and night has arrived, but the chaos still remains in the monocruise. A chaos where you can't trust anyone. A chaos where your only ally is yourself. The prevailing distrust that we were currently feeling could easily lead to a murder while I walk her along the beach right now. Is there even anything I can do about it? In my current state of affairs, all I can do is just watch as the chaos unfolds. To avoid being lost inside the turmoil, I strolled along the night, night seashore in silence. Who am I? Yeah, I was like, uh, poor Sora, dude. I'd be freaking out, man. I'd be freaking out if I was her. Don't remember anything about myself. There's a bunch of members of Void here. Who am I? To have to go through all these events at this place. If anyone out there knows the answer, please tell me. <gasps> Mikado gonna show up? I can tell you, Sora, baby! Huh? What was that sound just now? A E? Through the sound of the wind and the waves on the night sea, I heard a man's voice. Ignoring my overwhelming anxiety from hearing the sudden voice, I approached the original, the origin of the sound. Oh, Jesus Christ, there already somebody else that was slain. And there I found. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, slave! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Oh my god, I don't know how you're alive. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you did it, King. But I'm so happy you're here. I take back saying slay. I take it back. I don't want you to slay or be slayed ever again. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so, I'm so fucking happy, dude! Oh, I got some bad news about Ray, though, homie. I got some bad news. I told you guys he was alive. I didn't believe you. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so happy. My gay Teletubby, who is now hot, is back, baby. Ray. I can do the voice again for him. Oh, I'm so glad. It's that person. How was your trip to Mexico, Teruya? Did you have a good time? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. That was the hope that I needed to end this chapter with, man. The wolf smiles quietly in the herd. Oh, hey, that makes sense now. The wolf. I thought I was, like, referring to Mikado when I first saw it. But it makes sense. It's referring to Hajime. Oh my god. I'm so, I'm so glad he's back. And just in time for Pride Month. <laughs> oh, thank god. Voids remaining. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, that's freaking awesome. Voids remaining. Four. Remember, if there's no body, there's no death. That is true. That is true. Oh, the killer donation, by the way. He obtained champion's belt. But what about his underwear? Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. I guess I'll go back to one. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so glad. Welcome to Void Theater. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was gonna stop, but I kind of want to see this. 
Oh, watch out for Chiriotri, the 16th student. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad he's here. I'm so, so glad he's back, man. It's a win for the case. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Welcome to Void at Theater. Hey. Huh? Who am I? What? You should know by now. I'm Hajime Makinochi. Yeah, the same Hajime that did something so stupid that he got executed for it. <laughs> Damn, that sucks, bro. Is that the man, the myth, the legend, Teruya Otri? My comfort character is back. OMG, so I know. I'm so glad he's back, dude. Oh, oh my god, that made me so happy. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, Clover. He's so adorable. Me. That is so sad, homie. It's all his fault. If it wasn't for him. No. <laughs> I shouldn't blame everything. <laughs> okay, on <laughs> Moving around. After all, I'm the one who killed Yuri. As a void, I put everyone's lives at stake by tricking them into this killing game. How can I ever redeem myself? Through free time events, baby, and trauma dumping, and ab showing. Huh? How can you talk so seriously looking like that? Don't cut in when people are trying to reflect on things. I like uh, Hajime's voice actor a lot. What? You're a doll, not a person? <laughs> You really want to be punched by a doll. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so scary. Hey, don't look down on me. Damn it, Mikado. <laughs> Why'd you turn me into this? <laughs> oh my god, you really turned him into a... Oh my god, just so Ducky Chen would have more friends. Come on, Hajime. Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Mikado Sanochi. Uh, I'd like to see you try, you adorable little plush. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so cute. Is this Mexico? Mexico looks a lot different than I uh, than I thought it would. Uh, popped in at the best time. Boy Theater is the highlight of post trials. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna kill you, oh my god, it was an OG. Thanks for the donation, by the way. Hmm. Is something the matter? Mm. Oh, it's the other Void members. You guys a little you guys a little angry at me? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. You don't know what the prob- uh, You don't know what the problem is? I'm asking why you killed Hajime. Okay, Sora's probably not with them then, if it's them here right now talking to him. This isn't what we agreed on beforehand. You guaranteed us complete safety before setting this up. Hajime's death is a matter of grave concern that we must discuss. Is that so? To think that you came here at midnight only to discuss such trifling matters. Trifling? Are you aware of how risky it is to have three people come to the monitoring room at once? Even during nighttime? You guys are making yourself look really sussy. This area is strictly prohibited to all students, including myself. If someone were to commit murder while we're in here, all of us would be punished for breaking the rules. And that would suck, because you guys know you're not lit off from the rules, right? Not only would I be spoiled on the culprit in Case's tricks, but I would be violating the rules themselves. And I do not want any spoilers, guys. Come on. It would be straight up cheating. Danganronpa is my life. It's not a phase. Let us leave this place to Monocro and exunt ourselves out of this room immediately. Don't change the subject, Mikado. You better give us a reasonable explanation for why you betrayed and us. if I can't, what will you do? Kill me? <laughs> Something that I try to kill him next, man. Go on, then. I won't even put up a fight. Kill me if you'd like. Go on, do it. <laughs> Did you not want to avenge Mr. Makunochi's death? But you won't, will you? Because you know that if I die here, the entire plan will be ruined. Besides, it's not as though you can leave this island without me anyway. <laughs> Dang. Hmm. Very interesting. How to see how this uh, plays out. Humph. I was born for this very plan. Thus, I am prepared to die for it at any time as well. Are you Utsuro's son or something? I don't understand, man. But you three? You've been shaken by something as trivial as Mr. Makunochi's passing. If you are prepared to take a life, you must be prepared to forfeit your own. I must reiterate. Are you all prepared? Mr. Makunochi murdered Mr. Kagarin, but he himself was not prepared to die. This isn't, what we, this isn't what we agreed on. That we'd be dying for real. To die for real. All right. Let us suppose we proceed with fake murders and executions. Would our plan really succeed? From something so perfunctory? I don't really understand what their plan is. What if the plan fails because of it? What would you do then? This is our last chance. 
The foundation is already right on our trail. Oh, the Kizaragi Foundation. And if this plan were to fail because of your selfish desires to hold on to life, yes, you may be alive and well. But would you truly be living without his powers? Utsuro sama It's like... I'm trying to think, because he's like raised for this his whole life or something. It's like... Huh. <laughs> Not the bot. I know, that bot comes every day to visit us, man. I'm trying to think, though. I'm like... Like, raised for this? I guess he could have been like among... Like, uh... What was it? Like, the little ultimates? Like, Kotoko and like, Monica and all that? Maybe like, Junko got him from there and like, raised him? It just seems like, I feel like I see him more as an Utsuro simp than a Junko simp, to be totally honest. But, um, I'm not totally sure what this connection to Utsuro would be. I said son, but I was like, doesn't really make sense since Yuki's here. Unless that's also Utsuro's son. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm simply repeating what you've all told me. This plan demands realism. Even a fraction of an error should not be tolerated. Evaluate the matter carefully once more. But whether my actions were a mere betrayal or a sacrifice for the greater good. Now then, if you understand, let us leave this place. Even for a secret meeting, this place is dangerous. Hurry now before Monocro finds us. Do you do, do? I guess uh, Monocro would punish them if he saw that they were there. What are we supposed to do? We couldn't even get a word in, let alone fight with him. I hate to admit it, but Mikado's right. There's no future for us if the plan fails, regardless of whether or not we survive. But is it really worth risking our lives? It won't matter anymore if we're dead. Either way, we'll be facing death. Now's not the time for second thoughts. We joined Void on our own accord, and now we have to do our best in order to find, in order for this plan to succeed. Even if it means our death. So who's supposed to go next? Hey, maybe we can wait a bit. <laughs> I don't even know if we have to kill anymore, homie. These guys totally want to kill each other. If I kill now, I'll be dead for sure. I need time to mentally prepare myself. Oh my god, this is crazy. Thank you, Brian. Maybe they're trying to get Utsuro to come back and maybe help them survive the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh, maybe. That's what, what they were planning on doing with the killing game? Trying to get him to, like, come back to life? To get rid of him? Like, get rid of Utsuro for good? Oh, shit. <laughs> that is a spoiler. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Was that a spoiler? Rip. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I guess I know now. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, though. <laughs> but kill now, I'll be dead for sure. I need time to mentally prepare myself. It'll be nice if someone else murdered for us, but it, would it really be that easy? You know why Mikado united us? Agreed. It'll be the same regardless of how we die. Keep the order. Yeah, I was like, I don't mind, like, there's, like, certain things I don't mind too much in streams. I just don't want anything to be hinted at or, like, spoiled. Like, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if it was, like, maybe hinting or something. I'm not going to go back and reread it. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Hopefully, it might have just been, like, a hint or something. But we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, was like, I was, like, reading it and it got deleted. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, just try not to, uh, try not to hint at things. It might have been deleted because it, uh, like, uh, whatchamacallit. It might have been, like, hinting at something or, I don't know. Anyways, we'll just keep going. It's, um, but a speculation. Oh, a speculation. Oh. Um, I feel like specu- Well, I guess speculation's kind of hard. I guess we could talk about it more in the, um, uh, in the Discord and kind of, uh, figure it out. Not a spoil. Okay, just speculation. Because I don't mind speculations unless it's, like, obvious, like, you know, it's, like, with V3 people being, like, I think that Kaede is going to kill Rontar. I don't know. I just I just think it, you know. Like, if it's something like that, then that's when uh, I don't like it. But if it's just, like, I guess it's just kind of hard, though. Agree it will be the same. Anyways, we'll just keep going. <laughs> thank you for the donation regardless. Uh, thank you for the donation regardless, um, uh, Brian. Agree with... Uh, agreed. It will be the same regardless of how we die. Keep the order. I don't know if this will help, but I'll keep an eye on her. Tell why I'm the most suited for the task. Oh. Oh, I guess, um, Sora? Hey, just because it's not your turn doesn't mean... Please, we can't be here for long. Like Mikado said, everything's going to be ruined if someone sees us now. Wait. Ah, oh, yes. Taruya, best boy. <laughs> oh, best boy. Your... What's up, homie? 
<laughs> My gay child is back. If I remember right, the man with that mysterious woman the day we first came here. Makoto had launched him into the stratosphere after incinerating the woman. I was certain that that would be the last we'd see of him, and yet you cannot kill him, baby. He's got the power of pride. I'm are you all right? Please wake up. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, Miss Sora, please step aside. Mana, crew? This was unexpected. Oh, thinks that things would turn out this way. I cannot say I expected this. Raised to life for the power of friendship. Oh, this shouldn't matter too much. I should discuss this with Mr. Sonoji. Is he gonna become a participant? Monocro, who is this Hang guy? On. It's rather complicated. I will officially introduce him to you later. For now, I will take him with me. Take him up! And then he shoots off. Monocro lifted a man much larger than his side by his two claws and flew up to the sky. Well, there's no use in just standing here. It's late. I guess I should go to bed. <laughs> oh god, it's so good. It's so good to see him again. So freaking good, man. Neroi, Mono, good. Ah, oh, there he is! Ah! Good to see your handsome face. Love you, Teruya. Ah, oh, he probably will die this chapter, though. I don't think it's a good. I don't know if it's a good sign that uh, he's back. Well, I know a little more about what happened to the green-haired guy. I don't think I'll, it'll be any easier to start a conversation with anyone, considering what happened in the trial. Let's go to sleep for now. I should wait a day and give everyone the opportunity to cool down before talking with them about this. So true, Queen. I don't think I don't think it's gonna go very well though. Oh yeah, chef. Keep forgetting. Okay, I guess we can stop now <laughs> that we played a little bit. Okay, file two. Nice. Let me save again, because I'm paranoid. Paranoid as fuck. Uh, poor Teruya, though. Is he really going to have to play another killing game? That sucks for him, if that's the case. I'm so happy to see him again, though. Teruya, I missed you so much. At least somebody survived from the last game, besides Kenjo and Yuki. <laughs> Oh, man. But uh, thanks, guys, for coming to the stream. Um, I guess we'll conclude it here. And I'll get the Mitch fanfiction set up for the next one, because... Um, I don't have like, I don't have them on me. It'll just be easier if I have them like already loaded up. So I'll just try to remember to do it for the next one. The next one probably won't be as long either. So it'll be easier to uh, read it then than I think now when I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm not homophobic. I live to where you live. That's so true, Mikado. So true. Oh man. But thanks guys for the uh, donations and coming to the stream. I have liked the Chiaki video. I know I mentioned it last stream. I was hoping to get it up on like Saturday. I have it basically finished. It should go up this week sometime, probably like Tuesday or like Wednesday. I never know if I should post too soon after the streams or not, since I know these are kind of like a big backlog to watch. But um, yeah, I should have that up pretty soon. I just have to like really finish it and just like double check all my information is correct. But yeah, thanks guys for supporting the channel and coming to the streams. And I'll see you next time. Bye.